All right, am I live? Can everybody see the game? Can everybody hear me correctly? Just checking if audio is all right. Stable. Can you hear my voice well enough? Did I forget to unmute the mic? That's a possibility. No, it doesn't seem so. All right. Well, I am pretty much ready to go. Welcome everybody to SMT1. This will be the first in a uh, duology of SMT1, SMT2 back to back. It's not exactly, actually it is a duology. I am not lying, it is a duology. So I'm pretty much ready to go. Time starts on turning on the console. So that will be 3, 2, 1, go. And off we start to a run where nothing can go wrong. No, no reason to be stressed out. So, <laughs> welcome everybody, this is SMT1. Uh, this is the first Shin of the Megami Tensei series released by Alice in 1992. Um, this is the first challenge of the run, which is me learning how to type. And there we go, nice and smooth. So, uh, as you can see, this game's in Japanese. SMT1 and SMT2 were never released outside of Japan, except for the one time where SMT1 got released to iOS. And it's no longer accessible, so it's pretty much just not accessible. That's So, yeah, the game's in Japanese. So, as you can see, you know, the game doesn't really have a lot of cutscenes anyways, so... I'll be trying, or at least attempting to explain the lore to the best of my ability. So, let's start with the whole lore part of this marathon. As you can see, we're in somewhat of a dream sequence. This is because we will be playing as, uh, obviously, the protagonist, uh, really, really lots of lore too, uh, who was put into this dream and told by a weird entity that his decisions are going to influence the balance of the world and he should be careful not to tip the balance between law and chaos, which is not ominous at all. So I'm sure we have nothing to worry about in, in that regard. And then we meet these two characters, the first one who's said to be a follower of God, who do very lawful stuff, who as you can imagine will be the law hero, and then a, a, a weird chaos guy who will be the chaos hero. This is the best description that I can give for either of them. That will be our guy E and our guy KKKK. Don't judge me on the names. But right after that, we wake up, we're back in our room. Don't worry too much about that dream, nothing, nothing going on with that. And we wake up and our mother tells us that 
for some reason, uh, our district in Tokyo, Kishijoshi, has been put into lockdown. Because some weird things have been happening. People have been getting kidnapped. People have been getting hurt. Um, so, as you can see in a second, as soon as I leave the house, there's some weird, like, grease everywhere. But despite the ominous danger of, you know, going outside, our mother still asks us to go to the local mall, mall to pick up some coffee beans, so we do that. And as soon as we do, we get attacked by this guy who was, you know, a guy that got turned into a demon. Or rather, he got eaten by a demon. Said demon then tried to eat us, which he failed. And now we go back home. That's pretty, <laughs> it's pretty much the first sequence. So, you know, it was a very eventful day. And we're going back home and we're going to sleep. Because no more of that, please. So really, really lots of water has fallen asleep. And as soon as we do, we get another one of these weird dreams where we again meet uh, our, our boy E and our boy Kakakaka. And on the way of, you know, this weird dream dungeon, we meet another woman named Yuriko. Where's Yuriko? Come on, Yuriko. There's another human named Yuriko uh, that says she'll be our forever companion, will always be uh, by our side. Which, okay. And then as we advance in the weird dream dungeon, we meet these people who are trying to sacrifice this woman and we say yes to saving and not sacrificing this woman, which is not an innocent and decision that you should disregard. You see, as I mentioned previously somewhat, this game has two alignments, chaos and law, and also has neutral, I don't know why I said two, has three alignments. And there's various decisions that you will make throughout the game that will change the alignment. And this was the first one, which was uh, saving the mysterious woman in our dream. So that was a very eventful dream, and we wake up again. It seems that nowhere where we go, whether we're asleep or awake, there's always things happening. So our mother tells us that our neighbor, uh, who has a name, who has the same name as the woman that we just named in our dream, big coincidence, has gone missing. Um, so, I'm sure that won't be anything to worry about. And <laughs> that some weird guy has been seen hanging around the lower part called Inokashira Park. And so, because we are not wise and we have not learned from our getting attacked yesterday, we're gonna go there and investigate. And we meet this old man who says that we are about to face uh, an ominous danger in an undisclosed location. And he will now astral project us into said said location to see if we are ready to face uh, the foe. So now we are being astral projected and the game is playing itself, so I'll put down the controller. This is the best part of the game, so probably I don't have to do anything. But this is the, the true reality of SMT1 speedrunning. The game plays itself. Did I miss anything? I'm trying to think. There's a lot of things to explain early on. Oh, we got a, we got a, a random encounter. So as you can probably already imagine, uh, this game is a first-person dungeon crawler, and every random encounter is played in the first-person perspective. Um, and this is will be the foe that I just mentioned. He immediately attacks us brutally, and the man who astral projects is says that we are not strong enough to face the foe and we have to go and ready ourselves up. So we're going to do that. We enter the mall, we go to the shop, which is a healer. So there are uh, item slash healing shops for each of the alignments. And the healer is the neutral line, the neutral line shop. Uh, at the healer, we just bought three of these items called Hamias. Hamias are almighty damage, attacks that uh, whose damage depends on your magic stat, which is the reason why I put all of our points into magic for the law hero. Uh, is this your original Persona 1s and 2? <laughs> yes! <laughs> no, no, it's not. Um, we put all our points into magic for a law hero and chaos hero. And we also put, for our protagonists, we put all of our points into speed so we could run away from all of these encounters that we're facing right now. So at this point, we're not tr really trying to fight anything, we're not too strong, we don't really want to level up. There won't be too gr much grinding in this run. In this specific category, all bosses 
we actually have to grind at some point, but in the, you know, any percent runs and the, uh, whoops, bonk into the wall, the uh, credit warps, obviously we don't, we don't grind at all. So, we get thrown into prison because the police accuses us of killing that guy at the mall that um, attacked us. But we didn't attack him, obviously, we got attacked instead. And in the, in the uh, j what do you call it? jail cell that we got thrown into, we meet a wall hero, but this time the real life version of wall hero. Uh, he says that he's looking for his girlfriend, who coincidentally has the same name as our neighbor and the girl that we named on our dreams, and asks, to, asks for our help in you know finding his girlfriend. We say yes, because we're nice people. And then we also find this guy named Steven, who is definitely not an important character in the SMT lore, uh, who just gives us the Demon Summoning Program, a program that allows us to talk to demons so they can join us uh, as long as we can find a compromise, you know, between the situation. But that's a terrible description. Uh, as, long as, can, as, as long as we can recruit them is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so yeah, Demon Summoning Program, all good. And now we're going to try and, and leave the hospital. I mentioned we're in a hospital, that was a jail cell in the hospital. And the only way to leave is by pressing a button in the director's, uh, the director of the hospital's office. But he's actually a demon who's trying to brainwash us. And this is our first fight in which we didn't die. There was a possibility of dying, which happens when he put us to sleep, as he did in that first turn. If Law Hero, who's the guy who's, been, who's going to throw all the Hamnias because he has a lot of points into magic, if he gets put to sleep and doesn't wake up, then we can die. Thankfully that didn't happen. So that's one fight done. Of all the... I don't know how many fights. There's a lot of them. So we press the button, supposedly. We are now... Going to leave. So we have left, we are off the hospital, and the first thing we're going to be doing is heading to this room in the mall, the one where we got attacked, where we find this guy getting bullied by this gang leader named Ozawa. We're sure to encounter him later, but what's important is the guy that was getting bullied, who turns out to be the Chaos Hero, the one that we met in our dreams. He recognizes us as well from the dream, and decides to join us because he wants to become strong and stop getting bullied by the other guy. So that's cool, we head to another shop. This time it's survival shop, we're going to be selling basically all of the equipment that came with uh, Law Hero and Chaos Hero, which we can do directly. We're going to sell both of their swords, both of their guns, because for you know the strategy for this build run is to basically just use magic with every character that has magic. So we bought some equipment that we're going to equip on our protagonist, change some equipment around, and we are good to go. But we still need to do more shopping. So we're going to leave this mall and go to the other mall so we can buy more Hamias. Now how many Hamias do I need? I think it's 7, but I don't quite remember. Persona 2 run when? If only the games weren't expensive, then maybe there would be more runners. Maybe. Good game though. And so we have bought 7 Hamids. I hope you were all counting. Because I wasn't. So we're done shopping, we're gonna go back home because we've been through enough, we we're thrown into jail, we met a guy, we met another guy. 
mean, that's a long day, in my opinion. Oh yeah, sculptors are gonna have a field day as soon as the PS3 store closes. It's going to be fun. So we head back home, and we see that our mother is kind of acting strange. And it turns out that while we were gone, she got eaten by a demon. Isn't that exciting? So we use another Hamia. And yeah, goodbye mother. Thank you for raising us for the last 15 years or so. I actually don't know how long the protagonist is. I'd say 15 years. So we're still assigning points into magic for Law Hero and Chaos Hero, putting points into intelligence for the protagonist because we need that for a letter strategy. It's basically the main strategy of the rest of the run. Going to save because the next fight, so remember the foe that we got Astro projected to try and face and we were strong enough? Well, we're kind of strong enough now, but he can still kill us sometimes, so I had to safety save to possibly not die. Given that I've saved, maybe the fight will act a little bit nicer than usual. At this point, in this coming dungeon, we can start some of the recruitments. But usually I try not to go too much for the recruitments. Because if I spend too much time on them and then I die to the fight, it's kind of a waste of time. So we'll see. So we enter the, he the Echo building because uh, I don't remember who. I think it was the, the guy that ate our mother. <laughs> He dropped the key to the Echo building, and we remember the whole being astral projected. So we just decided to head here and try and find the place the guy. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some extra money. And this is one of the demons that we can get. This is a goblin. He will be basically the MVP of the run. Will he be nice enough to join us instantly? We'll see. So I could try and translate these negotiations, but they go by kind of fast. They basically go like this. They ask for a life zone. I don't have a life zone. Oh, they joined. That's nice. I can't. I can't get one of these. Though. They're an alternative for any percent kobolds, but not for this one. And so, we have gotten the thing that we need. Goodbye, kobolds. Leave. Cool. Great. Now we'll see if we're lucky enough to not die. To the fight. So, coming fight is Doman. Hello, Yuriko. Uh, Doman can bind us, and bind us is a status ailment that doesn't allow us to do anything. So, if he, if anybody gets bound, it's not good. Like that, you know, like that. <laughs> uh, I can actually use Patra, so maybe things will be okay. Mmm, probably gonna reset. Probably best to reset. So that's one of the things that can happen. I'd rather not risk, like, being sure on XP. So, well, that's the first death. We got a death. Which is pretty unfortunate because uh, I'd gotten that cheeky goblin. So no cheeky goblin for me. Get bound. See, if you hadn't said anything, Radio, I would have not gotten bound. But because he said something, he jinxed it. So everybody say thanks, Radio. So if the game was nice enough, it would give me another goblin that would just join instantly. Nope. Not really. Oh! Maybe. No, what a bait. So there's some messages that pop up where, you know, you say yes, no, and there's a possibility of them instantly joining. And that was one of them. But the game just decided to play hard again. So no instant joining for me. If they, if they take too long, then I'll, I'll just move on. Because... I might die to Doman again, so who knows. Oh boy. These ones are a bit harder.
Oh my god, the goblin just doesn't want to join. Oh my god! What? What? <laughs> we got killed by goblins? By goblins! Anyways, let's pretend that didn't happen. So off we go to the Echo Building. Uh, so the guy that ate our mother dropped the key to the Echo Building and so we're gonna go there. Yeah, that was a strong goblin. <laughs> Beefy goblin. See, remember the thing that I said that a goblin's kind of the MVP of this run? That That's why. That's why. <laughs> I'm scared of them now. Will you join nicely, please? should just I haven't learned from my mistakes okay they, they joined they joined instantly this time thank you game okay just don't give me a lot of encounters and now that's cool so this game has a very very high encounter rate you still haven't been able to get the full taste of it but as soon as we leave this area which eventually hopefully I might um, you'll finally understand the full scope of the high encounter rate in SMT1 they made it better in other games, it's almost just as bad in KMT and MT1, uh, but they, they fixed it after this game. So another attempt at Dome. Let's see how this goes. Oh my god. Oh my god! No way! <laughs> this isn't happening! I'm not- Can I not leave the Echo Building? The game said no, you won't leave the Echo Building. <laughs> I'm trying, desperately. I don't like when the game does the whole screen shaking thing. Okay, it's Law Hero. It's fine, whatever. It's just Law Hero. Law Hero is dead. I'm sorry, Law Hero. I just don't care enough. If it had been Chaos Hero, I would have had to reset. But we are past Dome. So I need Chaos Hero to get a spell. So if he died, uh, we would be too short on, on experience. But because it was just it was just Law Hero, there's no Law Hero rights in this, this speedrun. We can keep going. So Dome is dead, finally. Our good boy Pascal attacks this weird computer in the laboratory and gets sent into wherever. He just disappears and we follow suit. And now we try to find out where the hell we were sent to. So I'm going to save because the game is just really not being nice. We managed to get an encounter right before the first fight in this, this area. So we were sent into a laboratory in another part of Tokyo, in Sh Shinjuku to be specific. We're now about to leave and find out that things over here in Shinjuku are also quite hectic. But first of all, I'm going to talk to our friend Steven, which will heal us up. We can always use a free heal. Let me reorder the party before I mess up. There we go. We have left. We are in Shinjuku. So. Things in Shinjuku are also not very well. Uh, everything's locked down. Because there's somewhat of a civil war starting over here. So basically, this general named Goto has also gotten the demon summoning program and is trying to convince everybody that using demons for your own good is 
a good idea and that we should do that and he's trying to you know get supporters and get demons on the other hand the american ambassador and you always know this is about to get fun when an american ambassador joins the, the conversation uh, an american ambassador thinks that go to my start using the demons to you know uh control all of tokyo and then the world so he says that he's a possible threat and wants to take him down but goto thinks that for uh four men uh, the the american ambassador who's a human for man <laughs> is what i'm saying um he thinks that he has his own agenda and you know they're both kind of at war so an alliance has been created over here in shinjuku city uh, to try and put a stop to this and take both of them down because they think that both of them are in the wrong and we are about to join that alliance we went to that bar so we could get like a secret password to enter this area and we are now about to meet the leader of the alliance so this leader happens to be the woman that we met the, the woman that we named uh, in our dream she's very happy to see us uh, she will be very happy to have our help and we decide to help. There should be a yes, no question somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Yes, no. We said yes. But as soon as we say yes, Yuriko kidnaps her because she says, Haha, I'm working for Goto. I said I'd follow you everywhere. Well, I am following you everywhere. So I found the leader of the alliance now. Please, okay. It's not for so We should be okay. Uh... <laughs> And she kidnaps her and says she's going to execute her because the alliance has to be stopped. In Goto's point of view, obviously. So now we're going to try and look for her, see where she took the leader of the alliance. What did I name her? I forget. We'll see in a second. But first of all, we're going to stop by the Messiah in church. Remember when I said there would be a, um, a healer for each alignment? This is obviously the law alignment. Healer, I think you can say. I think you can assess that by the symbolism. Um, we're going to just grab a handful of items to make our situ, make the next fights a little bit safer. Hopefully, uh, there should be demons that you know we should try to recruit in this area, but I haven't found any of them. Cobalt's acting up. That's not good. Actually, gonna heal. I needed the EXP anyway, so I got a life zone. And there's the first one that we need to get. The Pyro Jack. Summon the friend, that's not ideal. These guys can actually hit kinda hard, which is the reason why we get them. It's not as fun when they're attacking us. Asking for a lot of stuff. But we got him, so that's cool. So we need one more demon from this area, if we don't get him in this area, that's fine. But he showed up anyway, so... Cool. This guy can also hit pretty hard when he feels like it. So hopefully he won't feel like it. Okay, this is another nice and stubborn one that doesn't want to cooperate at all. I don't know why I keep choosing the same option because I'm getting the same outcome every time. thing is when they ask for something you give them the set something oh he ran away how dare he run away after we talked for so long I thought we were friends wasting my time 
Well, anyways, we're heading back to the bar so we can talk to another member of the Alliance, which will tell us if we manage to get there that the leader of the Alliance has been taken to another site called the Tokyo Government Office. So we're gonna go there and hopefully rescue her. So I think you can understand the whole... Uh, there's a lot of encounters in this game. In this dungeon. Yeah, <laughs> that's all I have to say about that. There's definitely a lot of encounters. They can really stall you when they feel like it. So hopefully, hopefully we'll just get the, the demons that we need for the rest of the recruitments and not get too many encounters. But you know, that would be way too nice. The game doesn't really like being nice. But we managed to get here. We're about to start the next fight. So Yuriko uh, is about to burn the leader of the Alliance like a witch and we're trying to stop her obviously uh, but she has a whole horde of demons that she's trying to throw at us to put a stop to us so our strategy here will be use magic with chaos hero we need to use maragi which hits very hard because the chaos hero has all of his points put into intel uh, not intelligence into magic then this turn, these guys have guns, so we actually are going to use a backup item in case the Maragi fails. Uh, you see, Chaos Hero sometimes just doesn't like to look at the enemy before he attacks, so sometimes he fails, like he misses them. This time he happened to not miss, it might be because I'm making fun of him. So he felt insulted and decided to prove to everybody that he doesn't actually miss, but believe me when I say that he does. More points into intelligence, more points into magic, and now we have these turns where we're going to be using Kamea on the left guys, Maragi on the right guys, because they count as two separate type of demons, so we have to use two separate people to defeat them. We use the Hamias on the guys with the guns, because the guys with the guns, the guns are dangerous, is all I'm trying to say. The guns are really dangerous. And one more turn, same strategy. Look at all those Mothmen. Too bad there's no Mothmen in this game. You have to wait for nothing. And there we go! We have defeated the uh, horde of zombies and Yuriko has retreated and so the leader of the alliance is now free and we are good to go. Okay, I was hoping that would be one of the demons that I need. So now before going back to to Momo, I think is what I named her, um, I'm going to take a little detour to a side quest of this game called Defeat Ozawa, the guy that was bullying Chaos Hero. Okay, we have left the, the random encounter. Defeat Ozawa, the guy that was bullying Chaos Hero. He's staying in this little house. And two of the demons that I still need to get my spawn here, so that'll be pretty handy. And the strategy for defeating the guy that was bullying Chaos Hero, Ozawa is to burn him alive, or rather burn the demon that he uses. We're not actually gonna burn the guy. The Chaos Hero would like that, but it won't happen. And there you go. Easy as that. And now he does not... Oh, never mind, this is Lock Hero. <laughs> so I was very confused as to why. Okay, he still hasn't gone to level 13. I need Chaos Hero to go level 13 so I can get a Stoma, which is a, a spell that repels all encounters. Before I go, I should probably use the time that I have that's still not full moon to see if I can get the demons that I need here. If I don't, I'll leave. I'm getting all the demons except the ones that I need, which are Imp and Dryad. Okay, hello Jack Frost, cool to see you. I don't need you though. 
Yeah, Goblin. I know, we've seen a lot of you today. Okay, that's one of them. Okay. These guys are still not cooperating. Don't put him to sleep. Oof. That's dangerous. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> Don't die. Uh Finally we got to a negotiation option. And they joined! Whew! We almost died in the process, but they joined, finally. Still need Dryad, so I'm going to see if I can get one. But if not, that's okay. Where are these? I'm, I can talk to them, which is nice. Turn to full moon, so never mind. We go back to Shinjuku finally. So we actually still don't have a stoma, which normally we'd want to use, but I might just get it right now. A nice miss. We just missed everybody. And another one. And now we use a stoma. And the stoma is a spell that's recurrent throughout most Megami Tensei games, but in this game it has a, a particular characteristic to it. Some people call it a bug, some people call it, call it a, a glitch. I call it a very nice feature. So normally, a stoma will last for a full cycle and it will repel all encounters that are below your current level. But in this game, it will simply last for as long as you're in a dungeon and repel every encounter. So for as long as we have a stoma, we are basically, this is basically an encounterless speedrun, which proves to make the speedrun a lot faster and a lot nicer. So as you can imagine, I'm a big fan. So, we have talked to Yuriko. She was very thankful by the whole saving her life after she was almost executed. Uh, and she decided to join her, promising to always be by her side, which is a very nice sentiment. On the other hand, the Law Hero and the Chaos Hero were kind of done with the whole staying with us, saying that they had their own things that they wanted to do. Uh, so they went on on their own uh, life, I guess. Do their own thing. And we are off to try and deal with Goto and Thor, man. To, to see what's up with the whole conflict and see if we can put a stop to it. So at this point I'm buying a lot of charms. Charm is an item that I haven't used so far, but I will be using a lot in the future. Basically the whole strategy of this speedrun is to use charms on the boss fights. So charm, I'm off. I'm just going to the healer over here. Whoops, where's the healer? It's this one. Uh, 
because of possible complication that I might have with one of the coming boss fights. I just put it like that. So, charms. Charm is a status effect in this game where for as long as you're charmed, every attack turn you will be attacking yourself or your team instead of, you know, the enemy. The funny thing about charm is that you can inflict charm on boss fights. So you can charm boss fights and make them attack themselves, which as you can imagine, is very useful. So that's basically the strategy of this game. We put all of our points or as many as is needed into intelligence because intelligence makes the accuracy, la accuracy rate uh, get higher and the higher the accuracy rate, the more likelihood we have of hitting charms. And then we just attack the boss fights while they attack themselves until they die. And that's it. But that's still in a second. First we, we need to First we need to survive on the way to the boss fights. So first off we're going to the American Embassy and I found a dryad finally. That's one of the ones that I needed. Hello dryad. How are you doing? Are you nice and healthy? Would you be so kind as to join? Oh, I don't have a bead though. No, 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 I forgot about... Okay. I messed up slightly. <laughs> that was my bad. So here's the thing. Up until now, we have just autoed to try and get past the one turn where the, the demons get angry at us. Uh, so we can advance the turn and then they talk to us again. But as soon as... As soon as the, the heroine joins... Uh, she has a sword, so when you auto, the automatic action for the heroine is to attack the demons. Uh, yeah, I forgot about that, so I killed the dryad. <laughs> we'll have to... We'll, we'll have to... Find out. Are all the bosses vulnerable to charm? Great question, no! Two of the most annoying fights in this game are not vulnerable to charm exactly. Exactly because they are not vulnerable to charm, that's why they are annoying. So in this turn I can actually sword. Or you know, I can be put asleep. And silenced. This is a good boy who's only good if he joins us. Who I need, really need him to join. Finding him on the way to floor is actually pretty good. So if, if he were to join, that would be pretty cool. Come on, Houston. He's just asking for things I don't have. That's a lot of money, bro. That's a lot of money. I might kill them if I attack, so I have to play it safe. Yeah, I thought I didn't have one. I was just making sure I didn't have a life zone, because if I have one, that would make this a lot easier. Cool. Stop asking for life stones. Don't ask for gems. Why are these unreasonable demands? That rhymed for some reason. Oh my. Oh my. He joined. Okay, we got the, the dog. We The dog's pretty important. And if you wasted a lot of time. Okay, we're now going to heal before we die. And we are off to talk to Foreman, the ambassador. Here's another one of these. Hello, Kusif. If we could find a dryad on the way, that would be basically all of the recruitments. So I would just be missing one. I did get an imp, didn't I? I think I did. Yes, I did. It took ages, but I got one. Actually, let me get one of these things first. Okay, now we got some money, which is good, because I still have two more- oops, I don't like these ones, and I run away. Oh, then you'll die. This could have been a nice encounter. You chose that? What was I saying? Oh, I still need- I still have two more recruitments. One of the ones which is pretty important, which is Azumi. 
which is a fish. Do summon all of your fish thoughts. You can have them. I kind of need them at this point. So what we'll do now is we'll get the dog, and I can showcase why the dog is so important. So the dog has a spell called Triesto that just warps you out of a dungeon, and that will save a lot of time in going through the dungeons because as soon as we're done with them, we can just summon Qsif, warp out of there. So we talked with Thorman. And he explained that Goto is wrong, Goto is evil, and Goto is getting demons, it's putting everybody at danger, he's just trying to make what's best for him. Orphras or Cerberus? No, Qsif. Orphras and Cerberus are both bad dogs. No good dogs. Actually, Cerberus is a pretty good dog in SMT2, I'll say that. No Orphras, though. So we are now in... Um, oh, here's the fish. Thank you for summoning all of your fish spots, I appreciate it. It, ha it has worked. Never mind. Never mind. Apparently the fish didn't like singing. You should have specified that this was a singless fish. I wouldn't have sung. What was I saying? <laughs> we have arrived in uh, Goto's headquarters because we're now going to talk to him. So we can hear his side of the story. And then assess who are we going to join. Who is in the right. But before I do that, I need to get the fish. Okay, there's another fish. Okay, we got the fish. There's a lot of fish in this specific American, not American, uh, go to this headquarters. So we got the last, not the last, actually, we need the right, but we got almost the last <laughs> recruitment. And so we can go on and face Goto. I mean, talk to him. We don't know what, what's gonna happen. So Goto says that actually Thor is wrong and he has a, I mean Thorman, <laughs> he is wrong and he has a, 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 an agenda and um, <laughs> and so we should go and stop him. And here's the thing, this is all bosses, so we're going to stop both of them. So I'm going to summon the demons to fight now, I'm going to get Pyrojack out, Goblin out, and Azumi out. Where is Azumi? There he is. Turn back to Goto. Say no, we don't want to join you, and now he fights us. So we're going to Aguilar the guy on the left. Let's defend, defend, use a full water, but it's full water on the other guy. And whoever hits it first, boom. That one's dead, that one's dead. Awesome. Pointing to intelligence still. Defend these people, full water. Holy Water. Holy Water is a blessed type attack. That's not a good bounce. That's very rude. That's actually not <laughs> convenient at all. Thank you. Uh, what's the name of that guy? Baycock or something? And now we face Goto. And it would have been cool having the spell that I now don't have because he kind of... He kind of, you know, screwed it up. Um, so I'm going to Tarukaja and I'm going to use our first charm which hopefully will hit. Thankfully it hit. Because if he hadn't, he would have kicked my butt. Uh, no, no, I need another Tarkaja. I'm going to defend you. Do you have Pimpatra? You do have Pimpatra. Cool. Now I just need him to not get unbound. And I think I used two Tarkaja, so I should be able to auto. So I'm using Tarkaja Goblin, which will up my strength stat. And as soon as we are nice and strengthed, we can auto and just sort him to death. Kind of didn't die though. But he got to fit it. So that's Goto. This is actually a dangerous fight, and that went pretty well. So cool. I'm going to return all of my demons, and I'm going to use the dog exploit, which will be what summoning Cusive will be referred to as from now on. We get the dog, we leave. We return the dog. The reason why I'm returning my demons before leaving, because I could have just kept them summoned. Uh, is because we have very little chance of running away if we have demons in our in our party. And if we don't run away, we kind of get trashed by the, the random encounters. So ideally we don't want that. 
despite our very high uh, speed stat that is. So now we're going to talk to Thorman and explain to him that Goto is dead, but we also don't want to kind of like, don't want to side with him because we feel like, you know, maybe he shouldn't be um, interfering with foreign policies. Despite being an ambassador, like it's kind of not his place. Okay, this dryad is very good. But we got the dryad, we have gotten the last recruitment. That's all the recruitments for the speedrun. And that's very good, that means we didn't have to hunt for anything. Which is the ideal situation. I kind of want to try something. I've been have hopefully I'll remember to do that after the coming fight. I think I've been thinking about what will happen if I use Qsif. Probably will, probably the spell will fail, but you'll see in a second. I have a backup save file in case I screw up the save file or something. Of course, yes, Sinti One has fusion. You just don't use it. <laughs> Actually, we will use it. Kind of. Oh, we got a beat. Too bad we don't need it anymore because we are done with recruitment. So we're going to summon our demons again. We're gonna get Jack Frost, no, Jack Lantern out, Pyro Jack, whatever you wanna call it. We're gonna get Goblin out. And the Thorman is very happy after we informed him that uh, Goto is dead and turns out that he was the god Thor, the god of thunder who's trying to bring about the thousand year kingdom or whatever, he's following god's orders uh, we say no we don't want to help you uh, especially now that we found out that you have a you know, god following agenda and all uh, so we charm him, which works first turn, that's great we use Star Casual once more he's still charmed, that's good Aguilau is missing quite often And there we go, easy fight. Put two, okay, one point. Strength, one point two magic. Yeah, he was four all along. I totally didn't let that slip. I know, kept the secret very well. You should all be proud of me. Okay, I'm using just the items that I've collected, trying to up my stats. I'm now going to do something that I've never done. Which, I don't know if this will fail, but I'm curious. What happens if I try Esto? It fails. Okay, that makes sense. So, uh, the world is ending because Thor, Thor, who's not a man, got very upset by the fact that we didn't join him and decided to send the nukes that he had pointed to Tokyo anyways. Because his, his plan was to actually just blow up Tokyo. So yeah, uh, the world ended. F to the world. Yeah, Willy Cypher would never would never do us like that. I'm a big Willy Cypher simp. I will not stand for any Willy Cypher s slander in this chat. <laughs> Thank you for the GGs! So, what actually happened was... Um, the heroine... Uh, you know, she said she'd always be with us. Uh, she actually used Trapport and warped us out of here to try and, you know, survive. Make us survive, rather. And we ended up in this place called the Kongo Shinkai, or the Diamond Realm. Which is a place between, uh... How do they say it in Persona? In mind and matter or something. It's like, it's a place between the real world... Hello, Nakamura. The, the real world and the demon world. So he said, actually our friends also made it here, and that's including both the demons and the humans. And he asked us to go, he he is the guy who's hosting us by the way, and Alonzo. Uh, he explained to us the whole situation about, uh, you know, the world's changed a lot, you were warped into here, but a lot of time has passed. So, uh, get, go get ready, because the world outside is now kind of different after the whole nukes. So, we're getting... 
Do you know Japanese do you learn what squiggles apply to which monster? I know Japanese. But you also can learn just which squiggles apply to which mon monster. You don't actually need to, run to learn Japanese to run this, it just helps. Uh, so we're getting everything. Getting everybody, and now we're going to talk to Endo Onzo again. He says, I'm going to test your strength. Uh, and to do that, I'm going to ask you to do a fetch quest. So the world, you know, this area, Kongo Shinkai, is a whole big maze, and there's a Soma fountain. Soma is an item that heals you up both your HP and your MP completely. There's a Soma fountain at one of the corners, and we're, we're, he's going to test our strength by seeing if we can make it to the Soma fountain. And usually, this is a bit of a challenge because the encounter rate in this area is very high. But guess what? We have a Stoma because Chaos Hero is back. So this is basically just a stroll. We walk to the Soma Fountain, we get the Soma, we get the Fountain, we leave. Negotiations are random, yes it is. But there are some options that work better uh, than others. So there's like a pattern of, you know, answers that usually return good results compared to others. That you know you should always keep in mind, but usually you can kind of just do them randomly. Oh, and there's others that will usually make them hate you, so you should avoid those. Something like that. Oh, and after we got one of the somas, uh, Enonzo asked us to go and get another, so we're going to take another nice stroll. Played the first Pokemon back in the day. Yeah, that's that's how I played Pokemon too, but the squiggles were actually English. But you know, turned out well. I learned the swiggles, so I'd say it's worth it. If you're trying to learn Japanese, just speedrun SMT1, I can promise you, it makes a world of difference. You get so used to having to reading very fast, so you learn Katakana and Hiragana very very quickly. Uh, and you know, it's you learn some nice words, it's cool. So I'm going to save you because the next two boss fights are the hardest of the game. And I mean this very very seriously. If I manage to do them without dying, that will, that will be very, very lucky. I think I managed to do that next, like last Monday when I was zero-rusting, and that's not standard. My last marathon run where I ran this, I died five times, I think. And that wasn't even that bad. So, I'm going to do... There's another challenge, and this one actually involves fighting. So I first need to find out where's Azumi. Okay, there's Azumi. So I think I have everybody. So now I need to face two big foes, which are both Law and Chaos Alliance. These are the Blue Phantom and the Red Phantom. Both of these are strong, we can use charms against them, which is basically the main reason why they're so strong. Uh, Blue Phantom especially can bind us on top of being, uh, you know, outspeeding us most of the time and being very strong, so we'll see how this goes. It is likely not to go well, so we'll see. So we're relying on using Zeo. Uh, Zeo is a spell that can shock, just like this. If it hits, it will shock the enemy, so he'll lose a turn. But most of the time, you'll get outsped. So, I'm actually... Actually, I'm not gonna jinx it. Uh, whoops, not return. I'm gonna use a Hamia, I have a good amount of Hamias. Uh-oh. Okay, cool, I well, died. Another home here. Oh, not the miss. No, not the miss. Okay. Uh, Makakaja, one more. Just one more Agewao. Nice! We defeated Blue Phantom. He's the hardest. Okay, that's very, very lucky. So, I managed to outspeed him most turns. Usually, he'll just Zanma first turn and kill whoever. But there's another. There's another of these phantoms, it's basically the same. The main difference is that instead of using Zanma, it'll use Agilao, and he can't bind us, so the fight is... I kind of don't want to jinx it. The fight is something. Try to guess what it is. I feel like if I say it, it will, you know, come to fruition, so I'm not gonna say anything. I'm walking to the next one. 
at the, you know on the way I'm picking up all of the demons that we got they're kind of spread about oh and the reason why we fight these is because you get a, a reward of a sword for each one we don't really use this for uh, the, the swords you can just sell them but you have to get them anyways especially because it's all bosses so you need to fight all of the bosses <coughs> so I'm summoning the Azumi that fell that's why I went back to heal him up there's one more the fight is Mothman if only so we'll see how this goes this is not easier than the other like there's you're just as likely to die is what I mean <laughs> So I need this to go well. Need this to go well. Cool. We're landing the Zeos. That's very good. That's a key to success. Use a Hamia. Uh oh. No, no, don't miss. All good. We managed to do this first try. That's very very impressive very impressive this is a big time save which i'll probably need because things are bound to go bad at one point <laughs> so there you go we made it past these fights very exciting can't convey in my voice how actually incredible this is these are the fights that just kill every run these are the fights that make people not want to speed run this category that's how bad it is so, I'm gonna heal up once more, I'm going to talk to all our people, now that we've proven ourselves and we had to prove ourselves by ourselves, you know, we couldn't have Law Hero and Chaos Hero. Um, I'm gonna give SMT2, don't even mention SMT2, I'm not even thinking about that game, I'm not even thinking about that game. That's a, that's the next one, okay? There's too much to go, that could go badly with SMT2. Anyways, I've saved just in case, we have our people back. And we are now making our way to leave this place. Because we've proven ourselves. We're strong. We're ready to face whatever the world's ready to throw at us, I guess. But there's one more challenge. The two caretakers of this place. You know, the two lackeys of Goto. Uh, and Onzo, rather, not Goto. Uh, want us to prove ourselves to them. So we're going to do that by using a lot of magic. And nice miss, Law Hero. We charm the guy on the right because we can. And if we can, we will. Okay. The guy on the right is dead. The guy on the left is dead. It's not like you can lose a manip for Zane. Before Zane? Dude, I'm worried I'll lose the manip like for the first 10 minutes. <laughs> Anyways, I don't want to spoil SMT2, okay? SMT2 is still in two hours or something. Two hours if I'm lucky. So, we proved ourselves. We are strong enough. And the ones is like, just prepare because the world is very different. Which is a, an ominous message. And the last of the world is indeed different. So, uh, guess what happens when Tokyo gets nuked? Gets destroyed. The world is not in a great shape. Most people die. This old man asked for some money. We are good people, so we are willing to give him that. And then he says, Oh, what is this weird currency? Don't you have any maka? So, after 30 years, the currency changes. When, when the world gets nuked, that is. So the world is now ravaged by demons. And the demons still like you know to keep let me advance it oh never mind oh what oh never mind i was i was really confused what this was <laughs> i was like how am i getting an encounter i just is stoned sure some masakado funny you say that uh but anyways i'm just advancing the moon cycle just to play it safe yeah this should be okay um so we enter shinjuku the same city but now 30 years have passed world kinda got nuked. I wonder what everything's looking like. Need to first of all go into the shop that wasn't here before because this guy is an alien, it's not even a human. He willingly willing willingly 
wait, what's the word? He willingly exchanged us. That's what I was trying to say. I don't know how I crammed three words into one. Uh, some gems. And the reason why I do that is because I want to sell something. One of the one of the items we're going to use, but the other I want to sell. So I'm going to sell all of the swords that I just got. They sell for pretty cheap for legendary dream swords that are in the dream realm. Sell this, and I'm now going to buy a Himuraya, which is an event item, so we won't use it. It's usable, but we won't use it. And I'm going to buy two gold pills. And gold pills are revival items in case somebody dies. And boy, will somebody die. So we head to the bar just to talk to this old man who collects old currencies. So we give him all of our old bills of yen. And he changes, you know, he exchanges us for some maca. So now we have some more money. And these cops um, inform us that they are, you know, keeping control of the situation over here in Shinjuku because they are following the orders of a man named Ozawa. What's the yen to maka conversion rate? Uh, one maka for a hundred yen. I think. I'm not even making it up. I think it's actually like that. Um, so we talked to this shady old man who explains to us that Ozawa is now the leader of this area. In case you remember Ozawa, he's the guy that bullied Chaos Hero that we defeated but now he's struck a deal with a demon that's very strong and he keeps control of this entire area. He now has his own private police to make sure that everybody obeys him. And if they try to run away, they get arrested. And if they disobey him, they get killed. Which is a way of dealing with your own little city. I will Bobo, who am I to judge? Aka's about a buck. No, it's about a cent. Because 100 yen is the uh, same as about a dollar. I think. No, never mind. <laughs> no, I'm lying. No, you're right. A mock is about a dollar. Yes. Because 100 yen is a dollar. Sorry, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm not over here criticizing real life's currencies. But I'll criticize Maka. Maka is pretty hard to get. And we're going to try and get a lot of it. Matthew's hard, shut up radio. It's late. Anyways, we go and talk to Ozawa and Chaos Hero is not happy about seeing him again. Especially because he now looks old but is just as annoying. Uh, but as soon as we try to fight him, he summons his own little demon, you know, Takemi Nakata, who attacks us and is pretty strong. Chaos Hero is not happy at all about getting defeated by his old bully. So he says, you know what? I'm fusing myself with a demon. And so he does. We head to the Heretic Mansion, and one of our demons gets chosen randomly, quote unquote. Uh, and yeah, he's getting fused. It's happening on screen right now. So the the, cho the choice isn't actually random. There's like a hierarchy of which demon is more likely to get fused, which is why I get Imp specifically because I know the, the, the algorithm, which is which is Imp. And there you go. He fused himself, and he's now a cool ninja. I don't condone f fusing yourself with the demon, by the way. This is just how the game is. Um, but you know, he's very happy. Which, more power to him, I guess. <laughs> I'm going to advance the moon cycle a little bit. So I can get the fight to go at a, at a full moon. That should make it slightly safer. Whoops. That is true, you can fuse him with random assigns and guidance. Okay, I, my moon cycle is kind of lower than I want, so we're going to just take a nice stroll over here. Think about life. Think about one of our friends who just got fused with a demon, you know? Totally normal occurrences. But getting nuked is also not very normal, so I guess this is not even the, the worst thing that's happened. And now we're going to fight him. We're going to fight Ozawa. He summons Takemi Nakata again. Sure. And this time we are ready. Because, guess what? When you fuse yourself with a demon, you get really strong. I'm talking really strong. He gains a lot of spells, and they hit very hard. 
So as long as he doesn't miss, we're good to go. And we're also using Makakaja, obviously, to make the strong spells even stronger. Always worth it. Just shocking him for safety. And there you go, easy fight. Uh, 28 and... No, never mind, not 28. Points into speed. Points into vitality. And now we defeated the uh, Ozawa's demon. And we are given the choice of killing Ozawa, to which we say no. On the other hand, Chaos Hero does not approve of our being very nice to Ozawa, you know, his bully, and says, you're all weak, I don't like you. Oh, he killed Ozawa anyways. Uh, he like, it doesn't matter, our choice, Ozawa dies. Uh, he goes, you're all weak, I don't like you, goodbye, and he leaves. So we are one person short in our party, and this is why um, all bosses get specifically different from any percent, in which something that never happens in early SMT speedruns is about to happen, and that is uh, grinding. We're going to have to grind to level 28 because usually when you're fighting boss fights, you're pretty underleveled and the XP scales up to, you know, match... How do I explain this? It just scales up, so if you're... the lower level you are, the more the XP you get. The more you level up. But because we end up fighting more boss fights, we get more XP, so we get... We get less XP, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> we, get, we get more and we get less. So we have to grind one more level. And these fights can sometimes be a little bit dangerous. I'm going to take one safety save over here. Good thing that I remember to do that because last time I almost regretted that. Or not doing that, more specifically. So yeah, uh, we have now arrived in Shibuya. And as you can see, we are now fighting a new brand of encounters. And these are the Temple Knights. Totally not based on real life Temple Knights. And the Messiah Temple Knights, as you can imagine. Oh, actually, no, you can't imagine because I haven't mentioned the Messiah and the Guardian Church at all. So, there are two churches that are closer to each of the alignments. Uh, these are the Messiah Church and the Guardian Church. The Guardian Church um, defends, you know, total free will and somewhat anarchy. They praise Lord Lucifer, who's going to free everybody, and don't want rules and restrictions. And the Messiahs uh, follow the rules of God. That will ensure, uh, you know, uh, you know, their rules. So you know they're kind of restrictive, but they ensure safety to everybody, so everybody can live peacefully. Um, and the Messiah specifically, the Shibuya over here is their hub. And as soon as we find, as, as soon as we arrive here, we find out they're trying to construct a building called the Cathedral. The Cathedral is being made so they can bring about the Thousand Year Kingdom. Which is a name you'll be hearing a lot in the next six hours. So the Thousand Year Kingdom is God's utopia, where every where the chosen few could decide to obey him and give up all their free will to live in God's, you know, utopia, just like I said. Uh, those chosen get sent there and it's like a, it's pa paradise basically. So they want to make that a reality. So they are overworking the messiahs, the people who follow their church. To try and make it, you know, to try and make it, really, to try and construct it. It's a very big tower, it takes a lot of manpower. The Chaos is Mad Max Law is 1984. Kind of scarily accurate, yes. Yes, kind of. That's not a, a bad idea at all, I like a better a way of putting it. And we have leveled up, so that's great. I put my points uh, tier problem, and this is the reason why. Oh, I got an emerald. Nice emerald drop. Not that I'm going to change it, but it's a free rare jewel. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to fuse the second MVP, you could say. Check for Arguable between Goblin and Kushinada Hime. So the reason why I want Kushinada Hime is because. She has a stoma, so you know Chaos Hero has just left, he was a, a stoma guy. So as soon as we fuse uh, Shinada Hime, which is a Megami, uh, Megami race demon, meaning she has a lot of HP, a lot of 
MP can use a stoma for a very long time, and she's level 28, which is why we need to be level 28. And so we get here. Now that we got here, we can actually traverse the dungeon, because we've just been hanging around here. Should be able to summon it right away, cool. I have plenty of money. Going to get my goblin out, going to get my Qsif out here, probably. Use a stone and we're good to go, we are now encounterless. So you know, as soon as we traverse through here, we find out about their plans. But most important, we find out that their messiah, the messiah of the messiah church, very catchy name, um, is currently being plagued by a demon that entered her mind and, you know, is about to consume her mind. She, you know, it's like a parasite. So they're kind of desperate, trying to figure out what will they do. We're about to go in, you know, talk to them if I didn't, you know, get lost. Hello? Yes, I found my way. <laughs> I didn't get lost. And there she is, just kind of controlled, not looking very well. Oh well, the Messiah is back for our help, and we have something in mind. Now, I forgot to say this earlier, but one of the ways that Ozawa controlled people was by brainwashing them. He had a guy in a, in a jail called a Psycho Driver that could uh, control people's minds. And hypnotize them. And that's the best way to get people to obey you, to literally hypnotize them. How many of these do I buy? I don't remember. I think it's like eight? Yes, it's eight. So I'm buying some more attack items I will be using later into the run. This is one of the main ways of dealing with fights. Uh, it's just throwing attack items. I lost count. I don't know how many I've bought. I'm going to buy one more. Hopefully I didn't buy too little. Cool. We are now about to use for the first time the terminal. Actually, it's not the first time. But it's the first time that we do it willingly. We are going to tr transfer to Shinjuku. I didn't actually go to the terminal as soon as I arrived in the new world. You know, post-apocalyptic Tokyo. I don't know why I'm saving. <laughs> no, why I'm saving. Uh, just for safety. You're, ne you're never, never too safe. And we are about to go and get the Psycho Driver guy, because who else can enter the heroine's mind, literally, and get a demon out? Hopefully, it wasn't like a metaphor for a demon and there's an actual demon over there, because if not, that would be kind of embarrassing. Oh, but there's this guy, you know, standing guard at the door to the thing, so we have to defeat him. You know what I mean, right? You know what I mean by my very vague words? And well, he's dead, which is more important. And there's a psycho driver. He's very excited by the fact that uh, Ozawa is dead, so he doesn't have to stay here anymore. And he's very thankful, so he decides to join us and go save uh, the heroine. Also, you're not gonna believe what the heroine, you know, the Messiah of the Messiah, the Messiah of the Messiah Church, is named. Yes, that's right. She has the same name as every other girl that we've encountered so far. Momo. What a big coincidence. Very popular name. She's not even the same person, by the way. <laughs> she's a new, she's a whole new person that was born in post-apocalyptic Tokyo. That just happens to have the same name. So off we go. I saved, as you might have noticed. That's because the coming boss fight can be a bit challenging if it feels like being a bit challenging. It will rely on charms hitting and that's basically it. We need the charm to hit or else we can get bound or charmed ourselves, which is not as fun as when we charm other people. Um, or put to sleep or a whole array of situations that will not be pleasant. But I'm spoiling the situations. I don't want to spoil the possible disaster that's incoming. 
I will simply showcase. So the psycho driver has put us inside the heroine's mind, and um, because the human psyche is very complicated, you see, uh, <laughs> SMT1 did it. This is where the inspiration for Persona 5 came. They just made the the human like the human dungeons very flashy in Persona 5. Uh, but this was like the, the ground, like the base, the roots. Here just looks like a labyrinth. Which I can relate to. So, we're going to traverse the labyrinth. And this is also one of those dungeons that's very challenging because of the encounter rate, but Estoma. I feel like you can actually appreciate how good Estoma is in this game by how little encounters I'm finding right now, and by little I mean none. Wait, what do you mean trees mines? <laughs> You're going to a trees mines? Tree trees don't have mines, silly. By the way, don't spoil Breath of Fire 2, I've never played that game. But I'm planning to, using the Nintendo Switch Online service, not sponsored. Anyways, let's face Arachne. Here's Arachne, she's the fight that we need to fight. Hopefully we'll fight it and she will not kill us. We're going to be using um, charms to charm her and hopefully charm her and not miss the charm. And she somehow outsped me, it's not supposed to happen. Uh, but it doesn't really matter because the people who are asleep don't really matter. All that matters is that she got charmed and the charm didn't last. I'm assuming. Yeah, the charm didn't last. Okay, well, thanks, Arachne. I'm going to use another charm. Okay, I think the, like, the order must be messed up or something because this is not going incredibly. Well, she's charmed now. Hopefully she stays charmed. I like the thing where you attack yourself, that's very nice. Oh no. Law Hero! Stop missing! Just aim! She's right there, there's literally nobody else in this room. This should not be a challenge. Arachne, stop uncharming yourself. No, don't miss, I'm dead. Wait, no, I'm not dead. I'm running out of charms, however. Oh my god. He hasn't hit at all. <laughs> oh no. Uh... Oh my god, and now I use- I just- Ah! It's not going incredibly, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but I'd rather not reset, so I'll take it. No! I'm using all of my charms! I have two charms left! I missed! I have one charm left! Will she kill herself before she kills me? No, stop using Dormina! Use the attack where you attack yourself! Yes! <laughs> she died! <laughs> she died before I died! This is an ultimate win! So... That was a little bit eventful. So, <laughs> I'm out of charms, meaning I need to go back to Shinjuku and uh, buy more of them, <laughs> which, is, which is fine, just slightly annoying, but it's fine, I'll take it. While well, he was over there dying, my entire party is dying, but it doesn't matter because we made it. 
It just says plans. Easy. Dungeon's very pink. Yeah, except for when it's blue. I went for those, you know, two color combinations. Sometimes it's also a gender reveal dungeon. Sometimes it's kind of orange too. Oh, okay, I'm, now I gotta really think about what I need to do, because I'm kind of in a situation. I'm out of Hamia, so I should kind of buy a Hamia. Uh, out of Hamia, so I need to go back up. I'll buy a Hamia. I'll go to Shinjuku. I'll buy a couple of charms. That's it. It's cool. We survived. We didn't die. In fact, that was a easy, easy, easy fight. What's up, heroin? <laughs> it's good to see you. Releasing you from your mind prison? Totally uneventful. Okay, I don't have any swords, just making sure. Oh, Kusif died! Okay, I gotta walk back. Ah, uh, that would be fun. Okay, I know, I know how to traverse this dungeon. Right? No, no, wait, no, it's not here. Wait, it's somewhere. I know there's an exit. Wait, maybe that was the exit. Okay, I'm lost. Wait. I'm not used to having to walk through here. Uh. Yes. Okay. It was a long time ago, Radio. I don't remember. Okay, now we're going to fall. We have successfully fallen. I'm going to this start over here. I'm going to buy one more gold pill to make up for the last gold pill that I had to use. I don't have that much money actually. I thought I had more. <laughs> I thought I had more. Uh, I'm going to use the gold pill on our guy. Uh, Kingdom. Cool. Going to heal up. Kind of expensive. Going to buy the one Hamea. Yes. I'm going to summary Karm, because he has summary Karm, which is very useful. No summary karma fails, that's never fun. Now I can summon everybody back. I need to reorder this party, so we need to do this. Now finally, I'm going to distribute with Makatora. I'm going to distribute some MP because Law Hero, I don't want to spoil what's coming next, but let's just say that it doesn't really matter what condition he'll be very soon. Now I go to Shinjuku. Oh yeah, it's much, it's much faster. It's like the difference between buying something that's you know built already and DIY. DIY is cheaper, but it takes effort. You gotta go to the store. You gotta use the item. Okay, I have summoned everybody, so I can kind of spend all the money that I have currently on charms. So normally you wouldn't buy these charms, because you, you don't usually use like 8 of them in Arachne. But I was just lucky enough to have such an incredible fight. Alright. I have the, the luxury, the luxury of, of buying a bunch of charms now. So, this should be enough. I'm sure. I love being proven wrong anyways. So now we are finally doing, you know, the makeup for what happened in that fight and we are good to go to the next dungeon. 
So the Messians were very thankful with the whole saving the Messiah of them. And she joined us because she was also very thankful. She, sh she said that she'd be with us forever. Wonder where I've heard that before. And now, because we don't really have anywhere else to go, we're going to Roppongi. Now Roppongi, in the disco, you know, the disco in Shinjuku, we heard that it was a very lively town where a lot of people lived and seemed like a paradise. And most people in Shinjuku want to go there, but they couldn't because of all being imprisoned by uh, Ozawa. So we're going to see what's going on. As soon as we arrive, we know that there's a big uh, space. What do you call it? Force barrier, a barrier, a barrier. There's a barrier around the city. So, I wonder what's that about? Is there a barrier around the city? Is there just you know the last remains of human society that managed to survive and are now being here protected by whatever? Who knows? We'll find out as soon as I s stop saving. Uh, I need to say it because the next boss fight has mood on. And if you've ever played a SMT, any SMT game or any Persona game, they also have mood on. You know how it's very fun when you get mood on. So as soon as we arrive, we meet this very nice young uh, lady with blue eyes and blue uh, blonde hair named Alice, who's totally a human and not a demon, who asks us to be her friend. And we have no really no big reason to say no, so we say yes. So let me use this. And you. Okay, you're good to go. And as soon as we enter the dungeon, we find out that turns out the city wasn't live wasn't very lively at all. It was not inhabited by demons. It was actually inhabited by uh, zombies who used to be demon who used to be humans that survived the apocalypse, but whose souls were stripped by something. I was like, you would die for I'm not sure I will, but she would like that. So we traverse the dungeon, kind of. We actually just take the elevator. Which is very convenient that every city has an elevator. I think um, if you're a mayor of a city, my advice as a, a city inhabitant, construct elevators in your cities. So, Alice asks specifically to meet us, and the first request of her is to bring her a Hinraya, which is one of the items that we got earlier, so she just takes it from us. And the second request is for us to die for her, uh, which we say no and she gets very upset. So one of her butlers transforms into, uh, what's, Belayo. I forgot the name of the demon for a second, Belayo. But conveniently we found the ceiling pot on the way here which traps Belial, who's a fight that you can't win, so this technically counts as winning the fight, by the way. This is the, one of the bosses in all bosses. And Alice fades away. Now, ne uh, I mean, Black Butler, <laughs> who's not a demon, uh, Black Butler is very upset by Belial getting trapped and Alice fading away. She, he says that um, he'd be doing everything to keep Lady Alice, I guess, Young Alice, very happy. Now we turn up and she fades away like, what is this? So, to make up for it, he wants to strip, you know, steal all of our souls. And he tries to grab us, but while he wrote, what a good guy, gets in the way and saves us. I wonder if he's okay. And so we arrive over here and we find out that Black Battler was actually Nebros. So now we need to fight Nebros. Going to return Kusif. I shouldn't have returned Kusif. No, maybe maybe it's okay. I'll have enough money after this fight. Uh, charm hit. This is also a charm strat battle. As are most of them. I'm going to return Goblin now so that it doesn't die. Now I'm going to auto and please don't move on. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. calm down. Okay, he got hit by another charm. Easy. Nebros is dead. We are good to go. Now that Alice is Alice was the one who was keeping the barrier around the city and who was in that way blocking the passage 
to the crossroads to you know that let us get to other cities because there's more cities in Tokyo surprise surprise uh, so now we are good to go to go to them good to go to go to them that's quite a sentence that I just said there There's some accuser. Oh yeah, no, I do, I do need accuser. Never mind. Okay, I'm just healing up and leave Triesto. Uh, all bosses in a, is a neutral ending speed run because you need to fight all of the fights. You need to fight all of the bosses, which includes you know ending up in neutral ending. So, I hope you look forward to all of those fights, because there's a lot of them. Now, we're starting to arrive into all bosses territory. Up until now, it's the same for any percent. Except for the grinding. The grinding was different. So now we're at this crossroads, and we meet the spirit of Law Hero, who tells us that there's some weird things happening over at the police headquarters, which is just up ahead. But we don't really care about it for now. We'll go there later. Now we have different things to do. So first we're going to take a turn right. We're going to Ginza. We're going to bookmark this terminal so we can come here later. We're going to save. The saving part is important. We're going to leave. And then we're going to go the other way. The other way is the way to Ueno. Now, on this way, we, we meet Chaos Hero. Remember Chaos Hero? He says, Yo, how are you doing? You wanna fight? Haha, <laughs> just kidding. I wouldn't fight my friend. Uh, but don't go this way, because over this way, it's where Ikebukuro is, and their lord, Lord Yama, judges everybody that passes. And if you don't pass his judgment, you'll get arrested. So don't do that. Sounds like something we'd want to avoid, right? But... This is where we're going to be doing one of the exploits that makes the glitchless quote-unquote speedrun not actually glitchless, but rather no major glitches. We're going to do something called the Triesto skip. So basically when you use Triesto, normally you'd expect to be put in front of a building, but Triesto puts you on top of a building instead. And the, the um, trigger point to start the getting judged by Yama event is one tile off of in front of that building. But because Triesto puts you on top of the building, you can just walk to the right, or to the left rather, and bypass the trigger and avoid the whole, all that sequence in one go. We will go back because we need to fight those fights, because this is all bosses. But for now, we're going to be doing other things. We'll come back there when we are a lot stronger. So now we arrive in UNO. First thing we're going to be doing is buying some items over at this convenient shop. These are items that I'm going to start using them now. Which are some of the items that I've been collecting up until now that I haven't even mentioned. Now, before I do one of the fights that I need to do in this dungeon, I need to go and bookmark the terminal slash save. As both of the coming fights can kill me. As can most fights, let's be honest. Oh, so what's going on in this dungeon? Not much, actually. It's kind of one of those places, just ruled by one demon called Ladon. That's about it. Not much going on here, really. People are just chilling. Uh, people, most people here are Gaians, compared to, you know, Shibuya in those places, which were mostly uh, Messiahs. That's about it. So, 
pulling to me one of these guys, which are called the Devil Summoners. So the Devil Summoners are people who just like us got the Devil Summoning program, have been using them to survive the post-apocalyptic world. And this guy wants to fight us, so we'll, we'll fight him. We'll fight him. We want to fight, we'll give him a fight. I'm going to use my one of these. Okay, very good turn. The guys on the right usually can kill us, so if I didn't die, that would be pretty cool. There's no death game. Okay. Miss, miss. Alright. We are done with the Devil Summoner fight. This Devil Summoner gives us a piece of something that we won't be using, so it doesn't matter. And off we go to the next fight. We're now going to fight Ladon. Uh, the reason why we fight Ladon is because he's hoarding an item that will allow us to go through a bridge. I'm going to summon Goblin. And now we need to rely on the power of the charms. Hello, my good friend Lalon. Hello, charms. Don't miss. We need to be using about four Tarotages and hoping that the charm lasts for as long as possible. Okay, and now we auto. Oh, immediately, immediately, the charm wears off. We played kind of safe and go up once more. Okay, cool. That was actually a very good fight. And we got the item, and this item called a golden apple. And you'll see in a second why we need the golden apple. What is the thing? I forgot to summon the dog. I'm forgetting my own strategies. So now we're going to go through this mansion, we'll be coming here later. These mansions are guarded by the four deities, or the four heavenly kings, which are fights that we need to fight. And I'll explain what they do later. By now we're just using their, you know, their points. They're using their, their house as a point to traverse through the entirety of Tokyo. And now here's a very big bridge that I mentioned. And who is guarding it? It's actually Cerberus, who was our good boy Pascal, who got fused with the demon. But he gets, you know, lured away by a golden apple. And because we didn't fuse him ourselves, he doesn't actually join us, so goodbye Cerberus this time. For good, we'll never find, we'll never see our good boy again. Uh, let me bookmark the terminal. Pascal the dog is here, yeah, he was. Goodbye, Pascal the dog. So 
So we are now in Tokyo Destinyland, which is not inspired by any Disney line, Disneyland like um, amusement parks in real life. I guarantee you, it's not. Uh, Tokyo Destinyland is the hub of the Gaian Church, and their leader, Echidna, is you know leading. The guy in church here. I don't know what I was. <laughs> I don't know what I was following up with that sentence. Um, we're going to go, in, go and talk to Ikina, however, so we can hear what the guy in church's real objectives are and what they're thinking and why they want to. Why are they fighting the Messiah in church mostly? Uh, this dungeon is a big teleport maze, so this ooh sound that you're hearing is us getting teleported between fours. Yo, fa Radio, thank you for saying that because I wasn't cursed yet, but you had to say it. Now I'm cursed. Thanks, Radio. Don't even say that. <laughs> Don't even say that. So we talked to Akina. Don't mention that because I feel like it's gonna happen again. We talked to Echidna. Do I have Trapper yet? I do have Trapper. And she explains to us that the Messiahs are being enslaved and lied to by saying that if they work themselves to death making the cathedral, then they'll get a free pass to heaven and that God will love them. But, uh, you know, they're just being exploited. And the guys want to set them free and stop the exploitation. So, yeah. And to do that, she asked us to go and defeat Hanyo, who's the leader of the Messiahs. And said leader is in Shinagawa. Whoops. So, in order to go to Shinagawa, we have to traverse through Ginza. First, I'm going to grab a special item. And heal this curse, because the curse makes moving pretty hard. So I want to get rid of that as soon as possible. It also makes it virtually impossible to move in the overworld. Do I have enough money? Yes. I'm also going to heal. And I'm going to buy some attack items somewhere. At least four. I should be good on charms, but I'll buy just one more. In fact, I'll buy one more of these too. Can never be too safe. The game really likes... It likes, you know, putting you very safe. Make sure you're very comfortable. And then striking the next moment. So, I'm not gonna allow that. So, one of the things, it's kind of side quest in this game. Is that when you go around through Tokyo, saving people, defeating other people, you know, doing, doing your thing. Uh, the sending cycle. Um, some parts of Tokyo get reconstructed, and these reward houses pop up, and they usually have really good items. Some of them are especially good at certain moon ages. So I'm going to for the there's no I just got a magician's mask, which is a pretty good equipment item. I'm not gonna no, I'm not gonna risk it. I've seen this I've seen this before. Um, I'm going to this one. I need to enter at two out of eight moon, and I was, sh I was sure that as soon as I stepped into that house, the moon age was gonna change to three out of eight or one out of eight, whichever it was, because I've seen that happen, and that completely messes up the entire run. In fact, I have to reset for that one. I have to load up uh, a save, so can never be too safe. The game really likes, like I said, the, ga the game likes making sure you're very comfortable. The next moment it strikes. Not gonna give them that opportunity. So we got the items, one of them is a very good sword, the next one, the, the other one is a very good equipment item. And now we're going to traverse through Ginza. You know, this is a wrong, this is a wrong song, I just realized it's not the Ginza song. But anyways, in order to go through Shinagawa, I have to defeat this guy who wants to fight. Whatever, I'll fight. I don't care. I'm strong. 
I'm confident. I'll be using my Tamagairis, which are Hama type, you know, blessed type items that have Hama, or I think it's Hama on actually. Uh, so these demons just die instantly as soon as they're hit by the item. Because we have such a high intelligence stat, we can just throw items at them. Final one, I'll use instead an item that's curse aligned. I'm going to use Mazio. Didn't really work very well there. One more of the fights. Oh yeah, this game, uh, it's another one of the features, which is if um, a, like an electric type move spell or a, a nice type spell hits any enemy, including boss fights, it shocks or freezes them respectively. So they lose a turn, so all you need to do is outspeed them and use one of those attacks and they're done for. However, they can also use that on you, so you have to be, you no, know, have to account for that. Because if you get, if you get shocked or frozen, that's not as fun. I'm going to the armors. I'm going to buy all of the armor that I'll be needing for the rest of the speedrun. Uh, first thing I'm to, going to do is sell that magician's mask item that I got. That's very expensive, or rather, it's very it's, uh, it's worth a lot. Now I'm going to buy a lot of items, as many as possible. That's it. I bought this, right? I think I did. Oh, whoops. I didn't want to leave, but it doesn't matter. I'll just equip everything outside. So, for the heroin, I'm going to equip... Oh, I actually didn't buy the other item. I need to go back and buy it. I'm going to equip the sword and all of those other items. I'm going to... For the hero, I'm going to equip all of the dragon armor. Took longer than three hours. Yes, yeah, so that is the, the standard for casual playthroughs, I'd say. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay. Now we're going to traverse through the dungeon. Hear what Hanyo has to say. Fight Hanyo. And then fight one other fight. And that's it. Shinagawa is quite a long dungeon, has a lot of turns, a lot of trap floor tiles, that's what I meant to say, trap tiles. Uh, but I know exactly how to avoid them, so it's not really stressful. Even charm or sleep, it, you, you just risk it all. You gotta risk it all. <laughs> That's the way to do it. <laughs> That's what makes it fun. I'm going to return the keys. I'm going to summon our boy Goblin. Still at it. Level eight demon. Still over here in endgame. 
And Law Hero, look who it is, it's Law Hero. He's been reincarnated as the head messiah, I guess you could call him that, of the messiah in church. And he asks us if we want to join Hanil because they want to bring about the Thousand Year Kingdom, you know, whole spiel. Uh, we say no, and Hanil gets very upset and shows up. And I don't want to shock him anything, I'm going to charm him, however. He got charmed first turn, very cool, very nice. Um, I'm going to use one more charm and... And all one more charm, one more Tarakaja, and hope that he doesn't get out charmed. Easy. <laughs> Not even hard. Not even hard. Such a quick fire. So Hanyu was dead. No Thousand Year Kingdom for him. Well, he was very disappointed. He says, You just don't know what you're doing. You're confused. But this is not the way. You should side with the Messiahs. We are doing the right thing. You know. Lying. We don't care. We just move on. We have one more fight to do. We fight this guy. This is another of the Devil Summoners. This is our third one. And to just defend these guys, not you. He's a honey. You. This one we want to fight him because he's holding an item called the Four Door Chain. So remember when I said that at one point we'd go back to those mansions where the four heavenly kings were? This is the point. At that point when we went through them, we couldn't even enter the you know the room of the four heavenly kings because uh, they were locked. The doors were locked. Because we didn't have the four door gem. And now that we have the four door gem we can go there and you know talk to them. With our sword. Rambles in Lost Beach. Yeah, basically. That's basically what he did. Going to use Tamagari, going to use a backup. I just use a backup sword. Uh oh. No, don't kill Goblin! Ah, he didn't kill Goblin. He didn't kill Goblin. He missed everything. Love to see it. Easy fight. Tamagari's are OP. Gotta love Hamo on when you're the one using it and not getting ammo on instead. There we go. So do I have Tressy yet? No. So I need to get the dog out. Oh dog. Good to leave through here. Now we're going to visit our first four heavenly king. So why why are we visiting the four heavenly kings? The short answer is because it's all bosses, but the long answer is because the four heavenly kings are holding up a barrier that doesn't allow either God to descend to the top of the cathedral, which is currently still being built, but it's almost they're almost finishing, they're working very hard because of the whole lying to your workers and exploitation, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, so a barrier that's stopping God from descending to the top of the cathedral and stopping Lucifer to ascend from hell, I guess. Um, no, it stops both. <laughs> Can you date them? No, unfortunately, you can't date Lucifer. I wouldn't recommend dating God either. Uh, I feel like there would be some kind of power imbalance that wouldn't make that a very healthy relationship. But I wouldn't judge you if you decide to do that, anyways. It's not my place to judge. Uh, what was I saying about the forward, the barrier? <laughs> what do I do now? Right, we'll go to Tokyo Desolate. Um. Right, they're holding up a barrier. Holding up a barrier, and we need to bring it. We need to like destroy the barrier because if we don't, we can put an actual stop to both the messiahs and the guys. The way we want to do to put a stop to them is to kill the gods. It's not to just stop them. It's to kill them. So that's what we do. So we are back at to kill Destiny Land. Um, we are now about to kill Echidna, because you know we've killed Hanyo, now we kill Echidna. Gotta make it fair. Are you using two uh we're using charms. They're called charms. Oh no, not to those. We're using Tamagairis. I forget the name. It's probably something ball, because Tama means ball. I don't know what the Gairi could possibly mean though. Um I don't remember how they were translated for the English patch. Um did I didn't buy the guns. I just remembered. Oh, I forgot to do something. I'm, I'm not doing the things. I forgot to go to Ueno. Never mind. Forget that I've come here. 
Just spend, spending my money having to now go and get a kill curse. Whoops, I got ahead of myself. Forgot about a thing. I need to go kill more heavenly kings. Doesn't even know they're out. SMH. What is this? <coughs> okay, Weno. There. So we go to Weno because it's a it's a middle point between two of the mansions of the Heavenly Kings. We have Bishamonten to the left, we have Jikokten to the right, and we have a reward house, which is the final one that we need that we want to go to, right in the middle, right below this door. So I don't know how, what this cycle is looking like. If it's ascending, that'd be cool. Forgot to use the sound. What's up, encounter? Let's have, let's chat. Let's see if I can use my nice talking skills. Yes, I can. Look at that. It's not even hard. I sent him away. Now I can use this though. <laughs> Getting encounters here is pretty dangerous, not gonna lie. Okay, cool, it's an ascending cycle. I went to enter this reward house at full moon. Here we go. Now we get another of those magician's masks that are, sell that are sold for 75k, which we will sell to get two guns. Which, if there's something that SMT speedruns teach you, is that if you want to kill God, use a gun. Here we have Bishop Mountain. This fight in old route used to be very dangerous because we had we basically had to rely on luck. But now we use the power of items. And items always almost always hit. Use item change in the dead frog. Even if you don't item change the dead frog still works. Death frogs is recommended. Don't kill frogs though. I'm just saying. I don't condone the killing of the frogs, I'm just here to inform. So I think I'm currently Chaos. I don't remember. I think that's Chaos. So the way to tell is when you're in the overworld, um, your like cursor will rotate Counterclockwise, I think, when you're chaos, clockwise when you're law, and it will just wobble uh, if you're neutral. So I hope I remember that correctly. So all we're, be, all we're going to be doing is, I'm done with this. I have the money. Um, the chroma is not in this game. The chroma is, however, in SMT2. And that's where we actually kill God. The radio, stop spoiling my next run. <laughs> so I'm going back to Ginza. I have the item that I want to sell. So I'm going to sell it. Going over here to this very convenient store. Sell the next magician's mask. Where is it? There it is. One sword for each of them. Back to Tokyo Destiny. I'm going to save. No way, I still need some. I forgot Shibuya. Never mind, we, there's still one more. <laughs> there's still one more for Heavenly King. Uh, where's. There it is. We need to go to Shibuya to defeat one more of the dev, of the Heavenly Kings. I don't know why I keep forgetting to go and defeat the Heavenly. I can't even speak anymore. The Heavenly Kings. There's one more. There's four Heavenly Kings. That means that we need to defeat four of them. I've only defeated three of them so far, which means there's still one more. I especially need to come here because I need to buy uh, these items, Tamagai Reams. Which I need to use for the next fight. 
I have notes in front of me, so I have no justification for forgetting these fights, but I still did it. So we're back to Shibuya. The last mansion is over here, it's hidden away. I'm I'm fighting all the bosses. All bosses is all bosses. Me. No, don't kill Goblin! He, see? He shocked me. It's not as fun when you're, you're the one that gets shocked, isn't it? How is he outspeeding me? Why is he outspeeding me? Never mind. You know what? I'm going to play this save. Okay, cool. Survive. And Goblin didn't die, which is pretty handy. Because I didn't want to go and revive him. But now we have actually defeated all of the Heavenly Kings. The Tokyo Barrier is down. We're still not going to encounter it. It's not really visible. I'm going to save again. I need to. And now I'm going to buy the bullets for the guns that I bought. I still haven't equipped them yet. And now I'm going to actually traverse through this dungeon. I'm going to get cursed right here. Actually, I didn't. Equip the guns. One for this guy. Pause the uh, bullets. This guy is a girl, actually. Awesome. So we have the last level summoner to face on the way to Echidna, and then we have Echidna. And I might as well preface by saying this. For some reason, this cartridge sometimes gets a bit messed up, where after this fight, you're supposed to be neutral aligned. But for some reason, sometimes, it'll lock you in law, and it won't change from law. Now, if that thing, weird thing happens, that means that I'll need to reload and go fight another fight and do this entire thing again. So hopefully that doesn't happen. If it does happen, then at least I know we're ahead, at least we were ahead of schedule, so I won't feel as bad for going over estimate. In fact, I'm pretty sure both of my estimates got combined, so that means that I'm, cer I'm definitely going to go over estimate because it's SMT2, but anyways, I won't feel as bad in case that happens. Hopefully it doesn't. My last time that I ran this on a marathon, that weird thing happened. The game just glitched out. Anyways, another Tokyo Devon look. I forgot to return all my demons. <laughs> Whoops. That's not reassuring. Um... So Tamagari on the right, Tamagari on the left. It would be cool if everybody could get returned. Either that or nobody dies. Yeah, push. Okay, at least these two got returned. Uh, I'm going to restore these guys. I think I still have a, a gold pill that I can use on on Goblin. Goodbye, Goblin. I'm going to use a curse item on the left, curse item on the right. And hope I kill them before they kill me. Thank you guys on the right for missing every single one of your shots. Oh, I forgot to say that the bullets that we bought are bind bullets. 
and that's how we're going to deal with the later boss fights that can't get charmed. We're going to bind them, or at least hope to bind them. Bind bullets, they don't work as well as charms, uh, because, you know, they don't bind quite as often, but they work well enough that it's worth doing so. It's worth trying this. See how, you know, the, uh, the icon on the top changed because the thing got bombed. Actually, guys, it just got bombed. Oops. That's not good. Please don't bind the other one with me. Bind is another one of those status effects that is very fun when it's being used. When you use it on other people, but not fun when you're the one getting bombed. Anyways, we survived the Devil Summoner. That's very good. I'm going to use a gold pill that I still have. Goblin, please, please, please. I'm going to knock on wood. I'm going to cross my fingers. Okay. I don't I don't think it was a revival fail. It wasn't a revival fail. Okay. But I need to summon him anyways, because I need to uh, do I have a I don't have a Soma, so I need to get Shinada out as well. Damn, that's right. I'm chaos now. Oh well, so I'm doing the next fight without Goblin. It should be okay. Because I'm pretty strong at this point. Yeah. If I... You know, if I got Revival Fail, I would have go, I would have gone to Ginza and I would have gotten a... Uh, <laughs> Hobgoblin. <laughs> so it wouldn't be the end of the world, but it's not very cool. Also, Bound first turn, that's pretty cool. So now I just need a Kidna to die. So, we defeated the Kidna as well because we didn't agree with the anarchy that the Gaians want to bring about. Um, and by now I should be able to summon Shinoda. Yes. I'm going to now use stress though, which I should have on you. Yes. And see my alignment. I'm neutral! Phew! I'm neutral. That means that I have to reload and do a bunch of stuff that I didn't want to do. That means the game, the game didn't glitch out. Everybody's going, everything's going according to plan. That's good. That's good. Okay. I'm gonna go heal over here. Now I'm going to. Okay, now we're going to do the extra fights. So first off, we're going to Ginza. We're going to save in Ginza because Ginza is like the perfect middle ground that allows you to go to all of these places that you need to go to. Remember when a uh, law hero. I said that there were some weird things happening in the police headquarters that we should go there and investigate and we didn't because we don't care about him. But now we're going to finally go there. Also, I'm pretty sure I didn't use a stone. I hadn't. So the police headquarters is right over here. You just take this nice elevator up and you're here. Bonking on purpose. Don't bully me. I'm gonna go up to the fifth floor so we can fight this crazy guy that has a defense machine. That's I don't remember what he does, but I don't trust him. So we're going to defeat his little thing. Got to study the plot of this game beyond the things that we do on any percent. So, kind of don't remember what he does, but it doesn't matter. He, you know, he uses his, he summons these machines. We gun and sword them, which is the way to deal with everything in life. Kind of. I don't condone violence. So yeah, gun and sword, and then big machine pops up. We bind the machine 
because that's that's what it works. That's how it works. Actually, you just constrict the machine, and you know when people make those post-apocalyptic films where the robots turn into the to pe turn you know turn against the people, they could have just thought of you know binding them because it seems to work very well. So yeah, that's my advice for all of the po post-apocalyptic people who are living in those worlds. So now we go to the first floor, and we're gonna go outside, because we're going to Tokyo Tower. Tokyo Tower is where we're going to face the one fight that I couldn't fight the last time. I forgot to summon Shinada, whoops. This Tokyo Tower it kinda looks like a cone from the outside. But it's a tower, I promise. And here you have like a whole TV line, I guess you could say transmission. It's a transmission place where the the guy not the guy and some signs are lying to people. Um, and we come here to try and intercept it. End up fighting one of their angels, Casfio. Hello Casfio. How are we doing on this fine day? Don't bind me! Okay. Uh oh, don't charm me! Ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah! Uh. That's not, that's not nice. Don't do that. That's not nice at all. Maybe I should bind him first. Okay, he's bound. I mean, yes, I did mean a broadcast. Thank you. Cooler Hanyo, kind of. Well, anyways, now that this is done, we're going back to Ginza. Gonna save. You can never be too... too sure. That's when the game strikes. Like I said earlier. And now, remember <laughs> remember when Chaos Hero told us not to go to Ikebukuro because there would be a guy that would judge us there. And we uh, bypassed it using an, an exploit of the game by using Treasto. Uh, we're now going to go to Ikebukuro so we can do the fights there. And the reason why we do them now is because we are strong and we have guns and swords. And we don't need to throw items at everybody. So this is what will happen if you didn't use stress. So take one step to the left, and Chaos here will be like, Oh come on dude, I told you just not to come here and you did exactly what I told you not to do. Like come on, what's up? Uh, now you gotta get judged by Yama. This is, you know, my neck is on the line too, and Yami's like, <laughs> will you serve me or will you not serve me? And we say no. So now we get thrown into jail. So now we kind of just talk to Momo. No, I did the wrong thing, whoops. Just talk to Momo. And she's like, Oh, what do we do now? We're kind of stuck here. But somebody comes to our rescue. It's Chaos Hero. And he doesn't like the fact that we got thrown into jail. So he rescues us, despite that going directly against the orders of the guy that's kind of commanding him. So now we can leave. We wanna go downstairs to fight Yama, get, better, get back at him for the whole arresting us, but on the way we found this guy called Nayo, cause he's making sure that nobody escapes from the prison, and we use a nice charm on him, and GG's, that's it.
Okay, cool. Thanks, Nayo. I appreciate your getting in the way. Now, I don't remember if I use a stoma. I returned Shinada, but I don't remember if I used a stoma. I must have, right? If I didn't, I'll find out very soon. Go to the second floor. Now, we're going to fight Yama. Now, Yama has a very cool spell called Mudon. And we just need him to not use that first turn and for us to bind him. And if that happens, that's cool. Okay, we bound him, that's cool. No mood on either. So, as long as he stays bound. Awesome, cool, easy fight. Okay, we are done with this area. This will have changed our alignment, even though we are already locked into neutral. Alignment works in interesting ways in this game, where, you know, even though you're locked into one ending already because you fought both Echidna and, and Hanyo, uh, the alignment can still change around after this, but as soon as you traverse, um, as soon as you traverse uh, and enter the cathedral, it will get set to neutral automatically because you are in the neutral ending. And now we go to Ginza. Because normally, if you sided with either Law or Chaos, you would defeat uh, Hanyo... Uh, no, you would defeat uh, Kidna and Hanyo respectively. And the other one would open up the way to the cathedral. They would like, open up a bridge so you could get there. But because they're both dead, you don't have anybody to open up the bridge for you. But there's a secret passage through the undergrounds of Ginza that allow you to get there and that's exactly where we're going. Oops. Nice bonk for luck, there's a lot of interesting fights coming up. There's still a lot of fights left. We are winning, indeed, Electra. We are. And so, that's actually, I think that's the trigger to change the alignment back to um, neutral. So now we are officially neutral, ready to start the end game. So, we all the things that the messiahs were killing themselves over. How, I wonder how it looks. I wonder if it's a cool dungeon. Hopefully it is. And there we go. We are in the cathedral. As soon as we arrive, uh, as soon as we arrive, we have um, law hero over here, shouting at chaos hero. As soon as we get here, there's a huge earthquake. Remember the whole thing about the Tokyo barrier. <laughs> So it wasn't just stopping, um, it wasn't just stopping the gods from ascending or descending or wherever. It was also stopping a great calamity, you know, another one because it already one that. Whoops, this is another one. There's already one that happened, uh, and what happened was as soon as the barrier is the barrier fell, Tokyo got flooded. So now, outside, the entire thing is flooded. So all of our teleports, completely flooded. Everybody that were in those underground cities, flooded. Not looking good. So basically, the, the only humans alive are the ones that were at the cathedral, or who were conveniently at very high up floors in buildings. So how, how are we going to get through Tokyo now, that the entire thing is flooded? We're going to rescue this octopus that was about to be sacrificed by the messiah in church and use it to swim. RIP everyone, and indeed. So, 
What's more in, in, the, in the agenda? We're going back to the Tokyo government office. Do you remember the Tokyo government office? Where uh, Yuriko tried to sacrifice the original heroine who is dead, who died in the first apocalypse. We're going back there because it's apparently being used as a site uh, to help the descent of God. Uh, so who is the guy who's like siding with God? Oh, Vishnu is trying to help the descent of God. But their enemies, Ravana and Ishtar, are trying to stop Vishnu from uh, helping the descent of God. So we need to go there and kill all of them. Nobody's going to survive. We don't want to side with either of them. So we're going all the way over here. We're going to use Trap Word because by coming here we have set our Triasto spot as that dungeon. So when we use Triasto we're going to be sent right over there. However, Trap Word is here. So we're going to go through here. We're actually on the Chaos side of the Cathedral. Did I mention that the Cathedral has a Chaos side and the Lost side? So the Cathedral is so big that the North side has been um, like overtaken by the Gaian Church. It's like their hub. And the the south side is the hub of the, uh, the Siren Church. So this is where Law Hero asked us to go help out Vishnu in the Descent of God. This is where Chaos Hero asked us, asked us to go stop Vishnu from the Sending God and to instead help uh, Ravana and Ishtar. And I'm going to just save. The coming fights are not dangerous, but can never be too safe. So now we're going to Triesto. And there we go, I'm going to do a risky move. I regret my risky move, I shouldn't have done it. I got an encounter. Hello, Siren. Let's talk. No, I don't want to become friends. Odos, Nanaru, goodbye. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to use a Soma, so no more talking with demons. Enough of that. Return Kushinada. Now we're going to ascend to the Tokyo government office. So, just kind of like the cathedral, there's two sides. You have the elevator to the, to the left tower where Vishnu is, you have the elevator to the right tower where uh, Ishtar and Ravana are. Uh, we're gonna first take care of Vishnu, then we're going to take care of Ishtar and Ravana. No reason to do one before the other, just because I'm used to doing that. Also, let me pull up my maps, because these are like basically the dungeon, like the only dungeons that I don't really know the layouts off the top of my head. Alright, same strategy, we're going to try and bound it. Didn't work. Didn't work. Work now. And now we auto. Isn't it nice? I like speedruns where like the last fights are just us autoing and seeing the beauty that is the game playing itself. RIP Vishnu. Did a good job, kind of. Now, we Tresto, so we can get to the bottom of the tower again. Another risky move, this time it worked out! See, this is why it's worth it. Some again, return Kshinada again. We don't want to have Kshinada for the fights. No one Kshinada to die. Oops, wrong 
Wait. And one more. Okay, we find. Who is it first? Is it Ishtar or Ravana? It's Ravana. So we have Ravana over here. I think it's Otto. Easy. Follow up fight is Ishtar. Ishtar is slightly harder, but just. Just as like. This isn't Ishtar. <laughs> this is Indrajit. Why am I saying Ishtar? That's a completely different thing. Ishtar isn't even this game. That's in SMT2. Never mind, this is Indrajit. I don't know why I was thinking of Ishtar. Well, anyways, Indrajit is dead. Now, we can actually start descending the cathedral. Summon Kishinada, going to trap words. Stoma. Save. The usual. <laughs> That's what it was. We go back to this corridor, we talk to Law Hero. He's very upset that we killed Vishnu and says that we're going to pay for that. Chaos Hero is also very upset that we killed Ravane and Indrajit says we're going to pay for that. Uh, but now that they're both dead, we can actually enter the heart of the cathedral, which is the way to get to the rest of the cathedral. Remember this guy? Uh, he's the one that showed us the way to, to you know enter the, the cathedral, the secret passage in Ginza. He now tells us that. Our decision is going to be very important, but we need to defeat both of them. We need to defeat both the, the law guys and the chaos guys. Choose whichever one to do first. It doesn't matter. So we're going to go chaos first. We're going to descend the cathedral right to the bottom where the... the I can't even call it a leader. Like, one of the gods is there, you know? Like, the leading god. The one that's like... Operating the whole Lucifer ascending and such. But on the way, we need to feed the other semi gods, the gods that are also god, not as godly, who are spread about in each of the floors of the cathedral. First one, Cert. Hello, Cert. Cert is somewhat of a harmless fight. Yes, you do want the chaos first because of Yelzeba. Yes, you do. Let's try not to spoil Yelzeba. <laughs> Well, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> there is a secret fight that only unlocks if you go Chaos first, uh, which is why we do Chaos first. But if you don't want to do the secret fight, then you can do whichever first. In an old route, because of my stupid oversight, we actually used to do Law and then Chaos. So what we do is we go to the bottom, like we go to the sixth floor, which is where that side quest unlocks, and then we trap ward, we go fight Beelzebub, and then we do the whole thing again, which was a big waste of time. Um, which I don't know how I didn't think of fighting Asura first. By the way, we're going to fight Asura. Um, fighting Asura first, and then fighting. Be I don't know why. It's, I think I was following a different route, and I completely forgot about that. Anyways. Thankfully now we don't do that. This 
is an optimized trademark speed one. Second one, this is Astroth. Astroth. This guy can charm us. So, if he could not do that, it'd be pretty cool. Okay, got bound first turn, that's very good. Say, it's world record. Oh, good question. I don't remember. Is it a 256 or something? I think it's a 250 something. have my splits open or else I'll tell you. Anyways, what Astroth was great. Sometimes he charms you when the situation gets complicated. He didn't disarm, so thank you Astroth. I'll see you in SMT2. Okay, this is everybody's favorite floor where everything is dark, the, the lights just went off or something. So we have to traverse the entire thing without seeing where we're going. Still lost. Give me another second. Uh, oh, okay. I see where I am. The game just finds a way. Finds. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> we managed to make it. wasn't very It wasn't very smooth movement, but it doesn't matter. So here's Ariok. Um, the funny thing about this fight is that he it doesn't get hit by physical attacks, so I need to use guns specifically. So as soon as he's stuck, he's bound. I'm going to just summon goblins so I can use some target to make this fight slightly faster. As long as he stays nice and bound, that'll be cool. I'm going to return Goblin. Thank you, Goblin. Now I can call it. What's up, Simi? So, Ariok. Good fight. Going well. Going smoothly. We can now descend the rest of the cathedral and face the rest of the foes. There are not a lot of <laughs> there are not a lot more foes. Only have the final ones. Uh, we're going to get poison right over here. There are some poison tiles that we going to use to get poison. This is actually enough. Just the heroin poison is good enough, but good, even better. The reason is because the next fight. Um, both of the people that we're going to fight have bind and charm, and as we can, as we've seen by the fact that we use it, both bind and charm are very effective and very strong. Not nice at all when it's being used against you. But what happens is if you already have a status ailment like we currently do with poison, then you can't get bound or charm. So we get poisoned, and we avoid that completely.
Here's Louis Cipher, the totally human who's very nice and tells us about um, a weird remote island where a weird demon is hanging around and this is where you unlock the side quest for the ultimate boss, the special boss fight, Yelzebub. And we're going to be doing that right after we finish with the chaos side of the cathedral. I'm going to take a little detour over here, grab a Soma, you can never have too many Somas. And there we go. And who do we find here? That's right, it's our friend the Chaos Hero. And he's still angry at the whole we betrayed him thing. But he can try his best to bind to Charmus and to defeat him. To defeat us, but we'll bind him first and now that he's bound, it's it's over. I'm sorry, Chaos Hero. I'm sorry we have to kill you. It's just how it is. So with Chaos Hero dead, we find out that Yuriko, the woman who said would be by our side forever, right from the beginning of the game, is actually with Lilith. And Lilith also tries to defeat us because she's very upset that we betrayed uh, Chaos Hero and we didn't side with her. And well, she's also dead, so whatever. <laughs> After trying her again, just didn't it exactly. I told guns ultimate power so we have one more fight to do over here on the chaos side and that's the big the big uh, boss guy the leader Asura. So Asura tells us, how could you betray your friend? You even killed him just to side with God? God doesn't love you, he's just using you. Why would you do that? Oh no, no, Asura. Asura, no. Why, what is this thing? Uh? Come on. Okay, so... Okay, the Stenga didn't work very well. Uh, uh, do you have any spells? I'll try. I'll try some in this thing. Maharazanma, <laughs> Tinta. Okay, you're useless. So here's the thing. Usually. We summon goblins so we can use Tarukaja, we use a lot, like 6 Tarukajas, which makes this fight a lot better and a lot faster. But Asura just decided to be really mean and get bound one turn and then the bound wore off and he immediately attacked and killed the goblin. In SMT1, you can't revive demons in battle. So goblin is dead, I don't have a hog goblin or anything else that works the same as goblin. Uh, so I, I would just have to do the fight slowly to see how this goes. I didn't get any Tarukajas in. But thankfully we're pretty strong at this point. So maybe it won't be as bad as it would normally be in like any percent. They don't last long at all. This will end eventually, don't worry. Bullets are infinite, don't worry. <laughs> I 
There we go. He's dead. We love to see it. Alright, I'll set us down. Yeah, 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 whatever. Now the other guys are like, okay, cool. Uh, you need to take care of the others, and I will. First of all, we need to unpoison ourselves. Everybody, pray that the goblin does not. Okay, no, no revival fail. That's cool. We we want that. I'm going to use trap words. And I'm going to save because now we're going to take care of Beelzebub. Let's just stop by the guy over here so I can heal. goblin mostly now we are going to swim to Beelzebub's little island prepare for the ultimate special secret boss fight There he is! What's up, Beelzebub? Be cool, okay? No move ons. To try and bind him? Nice, got bound. Not even gonna send a goblin. I'm confident. Easy! And that was a special boss fight. Alright, we're going to ascend the cathedral now. We're getting to the end of the game, finally. Oh, I'm poisoned. Whoops, forgot about the poison. Yeah, no fly form, only human form. Final save. And now we begin the ascent of the cathedral. So just like in the lower part of the cathedral, we're going to be fighting a handful of fights on the way to the big, big, big fight. These fights are slightly more dangerous than the lower counterparts, so we'll see how this goes. Wouldn't be the first time that I almost died to those. Meanwhile, the, the the chaos guys are usually pretty okay. So we'll see, we'll see.
a little casual you think more of the play? I'd say so. Um, definitely has its elements that are aged, but I think it's definitely worth playing. I feel you like it's still a fun game, has fun, du fun dungeons, fun boss fights, and obviously if you're used to the other games there are some things like the lack of demon compendium that are probably a bit shocking. But I feel like it's, it's pretty... I think it's worth it. Okay, here's Yurio. My best friend, Yurio. That ba... Yurio! We've been through this, Yurio! Okay, so... Me and Yurio... We have an interesting relationship, you see. Oh my god, Yurio, stop. So here's my profile picture. We're supposed to be best friends, but every time I fight him, it seems that he's getting like worse behaved. So if you not act up, I would appreciate it. It's always your, it's always your real. You would think like Raphael is worse. Gabriel reflects physical, but it's always your real. Anyways, we survived Uriel. Just to be with Uriel last time. Wasn't he also, like, mean? <laughs> oh, this game doesn't require grinding at all. So if you don't like grinding, um, it's fine like the game is made so you don't have to grind that's why the xp scales up you just need to uh you know think of a, a good strategy or something the only reason why you'd want to grind is to just fuse demons but the best way is to fuse demons as soon as you level up like if you make the side quest you get you get the xp and like the game is really not made for you to grind even though it has a ridiculous encounter rate yeah, the cathedral is huge. I, if I could give some advice for anybody that's thinking of playing this casually, which again I highly recommend, uh, get a stoma, so you can use a stoma as soon as you want, because the encounter is just insane. So get a demon with a stoma. Okay, so Gabriel reflects physical. It's kind of like the S drop counterpart that I just chose now. Um, so we're going to try and bind him as soon as possible. Okay, cool. Momo has unfrozen herself. Now we're just going to gun him to death. Yeah, the follow-up encounters were definitely a decision they made when making this game. Which is why I I recommend a stoma. Cause imagine, you're you're just got you just got to a, a dungeon. It's already hard enough to traverse through it because you're gonna get lost. Cause it's your first time there. If you just a stoma, you can explore around. You won't get any encounters, and then you just warp out or go somewhere else. And then you can like fight the encounters and get the demons that you need. Uh, because you know you already know your way around. Am I doing 1 damage per hit? No, I'm doing more. I think I was doing 16 with the bullets. Okay, this guy is really annoying because usually he'll use spells like shock, like this, that will shock and freeze you, so you lose your turn. It's basically what we've been doing so far, but then he does it, and when he does it, it's not fun. I'm going to try and bind him. Okay, he's bound, cool. That way I can... Maybe I should summon Goblin just to help out a little bit. And I can heal too. Kinda need to heal. Before this gets faded. Just one Tarukaja can make a difference. Uh oh, goodbye Goblin. It's fine, you did your job. Thank you Goblin. Okay, 
cool bond again. Since you want no stomo, why would I do that? Why would anybody ever do that? I don't hate myself that much. Okay, that's Raphael, that's the last of the angels. And we can keep going. We're in, now we're actually on the end game. Oh yeah, thank you. I was I almost forgot about Goblin. Whoops. I can just summon him and use a summon, it's fine. I have enough summons. Was the last Soma, turn Shinada, and we go through the last floors of the cathedral. Nice poison. Is there to annoy me? Oh, by the way, I think I've never mentioned amulets. So amulets is some items that we bought at the Gaian shop. Uh, they deactivate these trap tiles. So I can, you know, you actually gotta walk through them and you get hit because you're neutral. In the upper cathedral ones, if you're, you only don't get hit if you're law. And in the lower cathedral ones, you only don't get hit if you're chaos. In neutral, you always get hit. So we use the, the amulet so we can, you know, nullify the effect. Here he comes, our good friend Law Hero. It's time to fight you. Nobody saves the wrath of our guns. I don't know why. I don't know why I tried to gun him twice. I'm gonna just use my very effective sword that's going to thoroughly kill him. The strategy is the same. He can try his best. He's even more useless than Chaos Hero because it doesn't have bind or charm. He just tries to Zanma and, Ma and like Hama, but Hama doesn't doesn't work on the protagonists in this game. So easy. It only works on demons. I'm sorry, Law Hero. You didn't stand the chance. Goodbye. R.I.P. And so we walk to the last four. comes Michael. So Michael's like a stronger version of Asura. I really need to bind him so I can summon Goblin and use Tarukaja. If Asura is annoying without Tarukaja, and Michael is even more annoying without Tarukaja. Of course I'm <laughs> give me if you what am I supposed to name them? Richard? Okay, he's bound. Um Yes, he's bound. Just stay bound, bro, stay bound. I need an extra turn. Pentagram. Cool. I need to use as many tower cards as possible. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. Oops. That's six. Very good, Michael. Good boy. Now, you'll get destroyed. Eddie Chavo. There's like, uh, English character. Oh, 
like the Roman alphabet. Oh no, my bit rate is going down. Not at the end of the speed. And there you go. That's the last fight. GG's. GG's, that's all of the boss fights in however long it was. I don't have a timer. Uh, so... Uh, that was pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Stream dies near the end of the game. So, we have defeated both Flaw and Chaos, and now... The Messiah, both the Messiahans and the Guidance, their plans have been put a uh, stop, and it's now our job as uh, the real Messiahan um, to reconstruct Tokyo. And. 258.22 Are you serious? That's pretty close If that's real, that's pretty close to my PV It's their job to like reconstruct Tokyo and make it like a good place again So, oh wait That's 258 <laughs> Of course, uh, this is uh, JRTA So that's the current time But the real time is only after the credits So my PV is uh, with credits uh, but it's still a pretty good time. It's the best one I've gotten so far. So yeah, I'm going to do my shoutouts. And then I'm going to go to the bathroom and make some more coffee. Because it's getting late. And uh, the next guy... Happens to be me too. So I kind of need to be ready for the next one. So, I want to first of all thank... Uh, really, really lots of war for accepting this run, obviously. I'm always happy to showcase this messy speedrun that has a lot of things that can go wrong that some somewhat didn't go too wrong today, I've got to say. Probably the best all bosses runs that I've done so far. Uh, as always, I want to uh, shout out Mitsushima, who's like the the god of SMT1 speedrunning. Uh, shout out the SMT speedrunning community. If you're interested in speedrunning Shin Megami Tensei games, Go to any Shimigami Tensei game over on like speedrun.com and join the Discord. Uh, for SMT1, always always feel free to ask anything, always being willing to help. I have a lot of fun helping people learn this game because I've run it a lot of times so I know too much about it. Um, so yeah, uh, shouts to everybody in chat who was here the whole time, giving me emotional support for everything that happened. And... Yeah, because the t I don't think the time will stop, because I think both of the estimates were like joined together, so I might just let the ending play and go make coffee now. <laughs> it might be because of a low beat rate. I might. I, I'm going to ask like Zell if it's better if, if I disconnect from the server and reconnect and maybe that'll make my be very better so I will be back in a second
Okay, I haven't gone anywhere yet. I'm gonna... Okay, and this... Time, technically. I don't think the timer is stopping though. <laughs> because it's like going to be together with SMT2. But this is where the time stops for all bosses. Uh, I think my bin rate is getting better, so I might just leave it. I'm going to switch to SMT2 so you can watch 302. That's very good. That's very, very good. That's barely not sub free. So I'm going to switch to SMT2 so you can watch the very cool intro. I can redo the shout outs if it's needed, but I'll probably say it again later. Okay, I'll be back in a second. Let me switch the game. Okay, I think my bit rate is stabilized, I'm like the normal 3k that it, it was throughout the entire thing. Is this the one that did more? 
<laughs> Is this the one with Hitler? No. <laughs> That's Persona. Okay, so, welcome to SMT2. SMT2 is a direct sequel to SMT1 that follows a neutral ending, which coincidentally is the one that we just did. So, I forgot. I'm going to have a co commentator, possibly two, for this run, and I need to get headphones for that. So, forgot to do that. Whoops. <laughs> basically the same game. Yeah, basically. Got my headphones over my earphones. No extra commentators. Yeah, not yet. Do mainline SMTs have any continuity between the storylines? This one has SMT1, SMT3 doesn't, SMT4 doesn't, SMT4A has to SMT4. I think that's how it goes. So. Let's see if I can get Sim on the line. Hello, Simothy. Where is he? Where is the thing? Where we call him? You were very organized. Uh, so. Uh, what's up, Filthy? Uh, I'm not getting any audio. Let me see if I can get the audio from the Discord. Where will this go? Here? Yeah, I, I, I didn't hear myself on the thing, but I hear you. Okay. Sh audio should be going for now. Oh, yeah, I hear myself now. Let's go. Okay. The audio might be a little high. You got home early enough to catch the catch the run let's go obviously i'm going to need a lot of support for this one so here's the thing here's the thing that's empty too uh so i have two commentators introduce yourselves i'm going to send it to the organizers who you are but introduce yourselves anyways uh my name is filthy blasphemer i am a cyanius enthusiast that's why i'm here Sim is not alive. I, we, this run is in his memory. I met Sion and Kichi Joji in 1990X. <laughs> it's true. I was not born in 1990X, but I was there in spirit. <laughs> What's up, Sim? I can hear you now, Sim. Okay, welcome, Sim. Introduce yourself. <laughs> this thing is SMT2. SMT2? They run similar to SMT1, except the recruitments are harder, more unreliable, and so there's a manip. So first thing we need to do is hit the frame for the manip. I can explain everything as soon as I hit it, but first, it needs to be hit. So I'm going to start the run now. I'm good to go. Let's go. It's time to get the frame. Easy. First try. Let's go. So the introduction here, I might as well explain the intro. The intro is saying that, to uh, is that um, a lot of years have passed since the ending of SMT1. And the place where the cathedral was became a site for a new city called Tokyo Millennium, where the center uh, of the city, very well named the center, um, is where the cathedral used to be. Because what happened was, uh, the world was so destroyed after the flood and the calamity and the apocalypse and all of that, that the messiahs rose to power, even though they were technically defeated by us defeating Michael. But everybody was so desperate for, you know, comforts and faith that, um, <laughs> that uh, the Messiahs rose to power and they built this city called Tokimu. That's like the, the beginning setting. 
I am in SMT Portugal. I'm in that very specific uh, part of my country. Okay, I'm going to start now. Uh, are you guys ready? Yeah. All right. So time starts. Time's already counting. I'm pretty sure, but whatever. Time starts. Three, two, one, go. So this frame can only be hit on soft reset. So I'm going to mash through here, soft reset the console, and hopefully hit it. Sometimes the game is very unreliable, so let's see how many attempts I can get. So who prepared the lore for this run? Oh, I, I, I was hoping, I was hoping to get home early enough for SMT one. I mean, I, I know the lore in this one, but it's, it's been like a few months. Yeah, here's Okamoto. There is Okamoto. Sim. Did you prepare the lore for this run? No, okay, so that's not the not... You're the lore guy. <laughs> we are not the lore guy. <laughs> what are you talking about? Okay. Turn up Filthy a bit. Uh, I think I can do that. Dude, should they so turn we up? Mi we missed it already. Okay. Should they turn up? I can turn you up on the Discord call. Try to lower my voice. Because I'm, I'm already... I'm, I mean, I'm looking at Digimon lore, to be honest. <laughs> So Not Digimon. <laughs> okay, I'll, I only want to explain the. I, I guess I could start explaining the lore while I'm trying to hit the frame. So basically, I only know if I hit the frame. Uh, this is not looking good. I only know if I hit the frame uh, based on the first encounter that I get right after I pass through the first door after talking to Okamoto. Well, I can explain. Oh yeah, sure. Exploit the frame because you're familiar with it. Yeah. So yeah, you have to hit new game on a specific frame for manipulation of encounters, which you would be using it later too, right? You'd be using more manipulation later. No, no, not for this one. That's for chaos. Okay. So, yeah. It's yeah. not good. It's not good. So we're hoping just to get this one fight at the beginning here. It makes the early game uh, really smooth. And it makes it really easy. Why it's is it only chaos? Is. Why only chaos? Um, you don't get we technically don't use it later. Um, uh, yeah, we got to fuse Anubis for chaos. And so we try to get a cell kit. It's not exactly manipulation, you just abuse the fact that RNG doesn't really change too much after you save and reload. Mm, okay. But it's not technically manipulation. Yeah, depending if you play lore or chaos, you'll get a yeah, certain, um, like a certain person join your party. And the chaos one is nowhere near as strong as the lore one. Oh, we're not gonna spoil it? Okay. No, not yet. How, how, how was your SMT1 run, by the way, Sion? Uh, it was good. Low, actually. Are you both of you? I can turn up like directly. God, I'm just hoping I can hit this frame. I don't want to do this manipulus. No, don't. That would be it's terrible. Right. Just keep, keep trying. It's probably worth it to just uh, be here for like 20 minutes than to try and do a manipulus. So, It'd be more well, boring, how many, but. How many fail times now? Is it three? Oh, it's this. This is the one. This is the one. We got it. We got it. This should be the one. Okay. Oh yeah, you probably are. You probably are. Okay, I'm going to turn you up directly. Okay. So, welcome to SMT2. So, we start off by being a completely different protagonist named Hawk. Hawk has, is some guy that doesn't know who he truly is. He just woke up in Valhalla, uh, which is the name of one of the cities of Tokyo Millennium. Uh, Tokyo Millennium is divided in five cities, I think, if you count the center. And he just woke up one day and was taken in by this guy named Okamoto, which is a guy that I've talked to uh, many, many times while trying to hit the frame. Um, and he just asked us, he saw that we had potential to be a warrior and signed us up for this competition where gladiators take part in. And if they win, they can become a citizen of the center. So the center, again, is one, another part of the... Um, is like the main city of Tokyo Millennium. It's the one where everybody has the most privilege because it's the one where the Messiahs live. 
So that's basically the beginning. Right now we woke up, we were asked to go practice, so we're leveling up a little bit, putting some points into intelligence for the first recruitments, which are manipped, so we don't have to worry about them. We have to only have to worry about doing them correctly. Um, and we put another point into speed, because again, we want to run away from encounters and all of that. Uh, to answer mute, yes. You, you basically have to make sure that you're doing the same thing in every encounter. But, but this is usually just auto, so it's not too hard to remember. You have to say, when you're talking to demons, you have to talk, uh, say the correct things. Yeah. Otherwise the manip will fail. So what should I name this guy? Uh, we can... You want me to give them the real names? We'll just name it, give it Shiner. He's the first the first name that came. Shiner? What is the first name I saw? Okay, in chat? sure. Name, Where's the S? Name people uh, after uh, chat. Uh, Sh 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 I'm Agumon. not gonna call him Agumon. I'm not Agumon. gonna call him Agumon. Well, Last do. time? Oh, that's the max amount of uh, characters. There you go. Well, there you go. Oh, it's Shiner. It's like five characters, apparently, the maximum. Okay, so we're going around the city, and apparently, this guy named Shiner was looking for us. Uh, so I wonder what's that about. We're going to the virtuals now, which is another training center, and as soon as we arrive here, we find out that it was interjected by, look at him, our good friend Steven, he's back, and he's ready to give us the devil, sum the devil summoning program again, because oh. things are about to go down. Yeah. First, first time I saw him, I thought it was hilarious how he's like zipping by, <laughs> just rolling by, oh, there he is, there he goes. <laughs> Love that. Also, I forgot to open my notes, rolling. so I gotta open that. Which room? Hey Sim, do you want to raise SMT2? Right now? No, not right now. <laughs> right now. No, I'm done. Freeway fine. race. Cyan can though, I'm sure. Of course. Yeah, he's not beat me. He... Of course, that's the whole point. <laughs> he's literally hot. And I'm, I'm Okamoto. It's I like am a hot. contest. <laughs> So we happen to pass by the fortune teller, which asks us to go in and asks us if we are familiar with this name called, um, this name Hiroko. We say no, we don't remember the name Hiroko. And she just says, remember it, it'll be important. So I wonder what's that about? Wait, you're not naming the uh, character either? You're not naming Hiroko? You can name it, it's, it's, it messes up the alignment. Yeah, because you get points. If you change the name or the other way around. Oh yeah, I haven't mentioned that, but yeah, um, yeah but the I naming of the characters the changes the alignment. It does, oh. of course it does. Alright, alright, okay, my bad. Okay, let me open my manip notes, can never be too safe. Okay, we're so, back to the virtuals. So for the manipulation, the movement in uh, non-encounter areas, and you can tell that there's no encounters because the bar in between the screen and the party list is blue and green. It means there's no encounters. So as long as he doesn't advance the moon cycle, he can take like an extra step and be fine on the nip. Because Radio just called me a coward, now he gets to be Gimmo. Yeah. I hope you're Radio happy about yourself, Gimmo. Radio. Very, very on the nose. I think, wait, can I do, there you go. Yeah, it just about fits. There you go, Radio. You get to be Gimmo. Aren't you happy about yourself? Very so this is another another character that we're astral projected to try and name. Uh, if that never happened to you in real life, I don't know. Probably have a very weird life, you know. <laughs> I get astral projected and asked to name people all the time. And that's the last thing that we need to do in this uh, town house in Valhalla. So now the real manip starts. Yeah. And this is where things get serious. So, do you want to explain how the manip works, Sim? Do you happen to know? Because it's a little bit different from glitched. Uh, I'm not sure. So there's I'm a glitched category that also has a manip. This category because I don't run this category, but I will say that yeah. the, the movement in the 3D world here is much harder than it looks, actually. Because mm -hmm. you have to move constantly diagonally, and it's kind of hard for the manip. And hey, it's knocker. Yeah, that's knocker that we got automatically. Uh, we just talk to him, we mash A, and he joins us, and that's yeah. that's what you want. These refer to all manip. Yeah, that's what I was about to say, they're all manip, yeah. Yes, this is all. Now I, I'm going through all of these encounters because I want to get a high pixie. This is the the steps that I chose to get a high pixie. Um, the thing about the manip is that 
it's technically not hard to keep it you just want to do everything always the same you know just need to pay attention it's really the overworld movement that's very unreliable that makes it hard so i need to be very careful uh not only so there's two types of tiles you have the tiles where the encounter bar is orange and red and those are the ones where the rng advances uh, and then any action in battle advances the rng as well so here's the high pixel i'm going to talk to I'm going to just smash it like before and there, there's also steps, like tiles, where you don't get any encounters and those don't advance the RNG, but they add to the step counter that advances the moon cycle. And the moon age influences the behavior of boss battles. And if, they behave, if boss battles behave differently, then that changes the RNG. So basically you have to be moving exactly the same every time. Yeah, kind of a... Regardless of whether it's not on a, a tile with encounters or not. I hear the mechanic, sort of, in uh, SMT2, and if... Is the what depending on what the moon is at, the bosses will either be stronger or weaker. Uh, yes. Not sure if it's important in particular for, but it is important for some bosses because they can only be fought on particular moon phases. Yes. Uh, but and if it's quite important too, because they can be like 20% uh, stronger than they usually are in some cases. In some cases, even stronger and weaker than them. It's kind of crazy. the Colosseum. Football Stadium, yeah, this is the Colosseum. So remember the whole thing that I said that we're gladiators? We are at the finals of the local um, the competition, I guess you could say, contest, whatever you want to call it. Um, and this is the final, and for the final battle, we're going to face this guy called Red Bear, and we need to go through this labyrinth up, you know, before we fight him. So we're going to get one last level up, put some points into speed, and thankfully, this labyrinth is actually quite convenient because there's a lot of equipment that we can get on the way there. It's our pre-quiet. Oh, I forgot to turn you guys up. Hey, the funny thing about Red about Red Bear is uh, Red Bear is based on how Scion's uh, dressed right now, so it worked out. <laughs> exactly. You just can't see it, but you have to imagine it. So yeah, again, yeah, all these all these encounters are pre pre-planned. We know that these are coming. Up some items here in order to help us uh, fight against Red Bear. But yeah, uh, real okay. quick, because uh, we didn't really speak on it too much, is uh, every character technically has a name. Like, they'll ask you, oh, do you remember the character's name? And if you, what is it? Like, if you say no, the alignment points go up. Or they say the same. I, I don't recall, but like, you, like every character you have a chance to name uh, affects the uh, the alignment, whether you do it or not. And it kind of it kind of plays into the story. Like later on, when you um you get like a big kind of info dump uh, about two thirds to the game, and once you once <laughs> don't spoil the info dump. I mean, you get a lot of info dumps, but like, you get like a pretty important one. Like, <laughs> most people. Most, uh... Most video games have like a big info dump before Act Three. This right. game really Push gives you one. Speed. So let's ask him. Who are we naming this first? Oh. Who are we naming him? Uh, uh, uh Sim, you get to be Dalif. Uh, oh yeah, Zeno gets to be Dalif. Yeah, yeah. Be sorry, Zeno. Oh, please, still there. This is somewhat offensive, I consider. There you go. We got one more. Oh, Zeno. So, fellow Japanese enthusiast, let's go. <laughs> fellow SMT1 speedrunner. So here it is, the Red Bear fight. Very hard. We're going to auto. Yeah, this fight on the is a bit scary. Yeah, I've seen this. I've seen Sion's attempts. Yeah. You can just <laughs> die here and be like, oh, well, I'm going back to the beginning, I guess. There's a lot of fights like that yep. in the non minute. Thankfully, Manip takes care of it. So, Red Bear over here saying, Oh, if only I won more, one more fight, I would have gotten the center citizenship and I've gotten to meet the Madame. So, here is the thing Madame, 
in the dom. So most other cities are controlled by the center, and the center controls them directly, orders them around. But Valhalla is the one that's the most free of all of them, which is why a lot of people come here to like go to the disco and go drinking and like live freely. Uh, there's just the added danger of there's a lot of demons running around. But there is one person that's controlling somewhat the city, which is the madame, and we'll get to meet her now. And as we are on the way to meet her, we have the chance of bringing another person along, and this woman shows up, her name is Hiroko, remember when I said that you want, need to memorize the name Hiroko? She says that she's come to Valhalla to look for two scientists, Makara and Hanada, because she thinks they are behind the uh, a big incident that happened in the center, uh, where not only did Makara run away, he also took her baby. Hmm. So she asks for help uh, finding her baby, her baby, and she wants to go ask the madame if she knows any information about these two scientists. So we decide to bring her along because we're very nice. We actually don't. We say no to both of her requests because of alignment, but she bring she comes along anyways. Yeah, we gotta make sure we're more aligned for the run. Very Excuse important in FT. Scheme is actually we're chaos now. <laughs> it's all later. Scheme is cool because like. I know all these kanji, nice. <laughs> yeah, it's nice feeling when, it, isn't it? It's, when everything. They're using the easy. They, they know. must have done. They must have done one in county up to my level before they made this game. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Okay, we bookmarked the terminal over there, so we can go come back here later. Yeah, need to bookmark terminal in order to teleport back to them. We'll be back here later, so Silent's just going to. Do that real quick. Move on. Hey, uh, real quick, what's the estimate on this uh, this one? Uh, four hours, ten minutes, I think, okay. or five minutes, something okay. like that. I'm gonna have to bounce in like also, a little less than one hour. Uh, that's fine. We're also ahead technically of because of this, the other speed run. I think we should be ahead. And after this, you missed the cringe. After this, you're doing if. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, totally. I'm totally doing if <laughs> after this. So we have arrived at the Madame Mansion, and just as we have arrived, there's another character. This is like the last one, pretty much. So who, who else? Uh, we should go with whoever next types in chat. So. Z kill. Z kill. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Z K L L. This is p probably like the the best option because. <laughs> Uh, Wait, no, you get to be Beth. <laughs> You'll get to be Beth. What an honor. Nice, looks just like him. Glad 1262118. That would have been interesting. That name breaks the manip, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now the madame, the madame is like explaining uh, that the, she's looking for these two scientists, Mikata and Hanada, because they're both dangerous, they're considered both dangerous men by the center, and because we're the champion, uh, we're like the, the, the yes man of the center now, pretty much. Uh, which is very convenient, because Hiroko was also looking for these people, so uh, would you look at that? Worked out well. She lands a Cerberus, uh, who's a very strong demon, so that's also very cool, and off we go. Uh, we are supposed to go look for them at this like outskirts of Valhalla called Slum City, and they should be there. Unlike that lame run in SMT one, we actually get Cerberus in SMT two. Yeah, we actually get Cerberus. Because he's coolest demon. Yeah, because even like on a casual playthrough of SMT one, by the time you get Cerberus, he's not that good. Like he's okay. Because I think he's level forty three, and you're like in the fifties by then. <laughs> But uh, yeah, this yeah. game Cerberus is too too good, too good. That playthrough, like, because the cart I got of this game, the guy's at the end of the game and he's still using Cerberus. And I'm like, eh, all right, he's good. I don't I don't know about any other SNT runs, but in SNT two and SNT F, Cerberus is, Cerberus is very very useful. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I, yeah I, in your world record run of it, you use Cerberus on the final walls. And uh, he's also useful in KMT1 as well. And MT2, I think? MT2? Like, uh, or, okay. Yeah, we're going to MT2. 
I haven't seen. I've only seen the beginning of uh, uh, Kuzan's world record run. World record <laughs> run. Also, on the on my casual playthrough of it, I, this part I couldn't find because you have to you have to go behind that building. I was wandering forever. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I mean, they did say it's like hidden away. Mm -hmm. I was like, what? It's indeed I, hidden away. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the movement that I made up until here is very stressful. It's probably like the most stressful movement in. It's one of the. Mo it's not the most. Yeah, it's one of the ones. Uh, that's intelligence. Because the overworld movement is terrible. Oh, the one. Okay, I put him inside here. Yeah, no, not the dungeon movement. Dungeon movement is easy. As someone that hasn't ran this game yet, but will probably very soon, what? Yes. What do you mean by the by the world map movement? Is it the diagonals that's hard, or what is it? Um, there's a delay in your inputs where hmm. it will like move you in one direction instead of the diagonal. So you'll be pressing like up. Ref to go uh, up right to go diagonally right, right? Um, and if you just like if you're stopped and then you try to do that, it won't uh, like move you diagonally directly, it will move you up first. Um, so you have to be continuously moving, and it's like very easy for the like the controller to slip. Oh, by the way, here's another we found him. Yeah. He's trying to open a portal to the Makai uh, by using some. Oh, yeah, that's, that's and. Look. <laughs> uh, we're going like just that? going to auto for this fight because it's an easy fight. Oh, the hole behind him kind of looked like his hair at some point because he's got black hair. <laughs> I forgot about that. I was like this wondering what the hell we were talking beard. about. Look at that, Neo. Nice beard on that demon. Indeed. Now he's dead. I'm going. I'm just doing like all manip stuff. All of these fights are manip, so I can get Alp. It's the last recruit that I need to get in this area. So, Sion, I know this is a little bit unrelated, but you're just doing manip right now. But when is that margin ten stage you run? Yeah. Everyone's asking. Yeah, there's a lot of people Everyone's asking. asking right now. Oh, is that so? I appreciate your interest. I will make sure to. Add that to the list of things that I need to do. In fact, it was already there. But another Bible speed. I've already speed ran another Bible. Oh no! I'm glad that's not here. Imagine, imagine having to explain the lore of that. So here we are. <laughs> the lore of another Bible. As you can see, the book. We're gonna attack the book. Oh my god! <laughs> that would have been the funniest thing. <laughs> As you can see, the final boss is a book. Yeah. By the way, spoilers for another Bible. I'm sure everybody's very interested in. Um. This, like the lore of another Bible, but this this run might contain spoilers for that run. True. Shout so, out to another, if you to another Bible, the worst Megaton game in existence. I don't know how long it's been for this SMT 2 1 run in particular, but just to prove how like, bad it is on the nip, it took me like 20 minutes to get an Alp once. Uh, just kind of free up a bit. It just would not oh, spawn. Yeah. And when she does, she charms you, and it's so annoying. The manip is just such a. It makes the, the category yeah. way more of these ones. As long as you can get it down. Nobody wants to see another Bible in really, really long of fun. Not only is it not that long, it's not good. It's terrible. It is worse than Ronde. I will stand here and say it is worse than Ronde. TMS, I will run because TMS is not as bad as another Bible. Yeah. It's a, a game. Yeah. Another Bible is barely a creation. Of course, I'm gonna run TMS. Why? Of course I'm gonna run TMS. Why? Why not? It's... Because I haven't even played the game, but I'm like I'm willing. Games out there that you could run. That... But I'll run all of them. That, that... I will run all of the games. That... You saying, oh, I haven't played it yet. That's why I'm, I'm like, okay, that's why you're playing it yet. Because <laughs> <laughs> I haven't. Okay, well, ignorant, like blissful ignorance. Anyways, we're going to fuse now. Yes, new. Yes, it's pretty bad. We're first of all going to fuse Katesif by fusing the knocker and the alp that we just got. Uh, Katesif is used to fuse the MVP of this run. Heck it. Nocturne HD. I will do Nocturne HD if I do Merciful. Oh man, I might do that too. I'm, I'm, doing, I'm doing that actually. Yeah, that... Also, what's up, Raid? 
I live on the floor. Okay, now we fuse that kid. Sorry. The, the only issue is I've been trying, the guy that runs that category is Korean and all of the games in Korean and like I don't know anything about Korean so it's kind of hard to write the notes on it. Just learn Korean, yeah. we've been through like, this. I, I know where I can find my Japanese resources for all the skill names, but I can't find Korean <laughs> resources for all the skill names in Dr. So, uh, difficult to write. Korean is even like easier because you don't have kanji, it's just Hangul or I think it, that's what it's called, the alphabet. So just learn, it's even easier, it takes you like an afternoon. And then you just gotta learn the rest of the language. This is how, this is how I'm going to go through life. I need to do something uh, for a speedrun, so I learn a life skill, and that's it. Yeah, we got Hecate now. So Hecate's great for speed gaming because he's fast, he has teleports, basically. So you get to teleport around. Uh, that's what we use him for, basically, to cut time walking. Uh, and you'll notice in this game, this game doesn't have a stoma like SMT1 does. Unfortunately, it has a stoma, but not like SMT. Yeah, one. it doesn't skip all encounters. It actually works properly, uh, and it yeah, skip only it skips things that are lower level than you. Yeah, so yeah, it's how it's supposed to work. Yeah, I hate that. I hate when Do you guys does its SMT job. one stoma or how they did it in the the later games? I mean, to be, I mean, honestly. Like, it makes sense to have it how the later games do it. Yeah. Like, having it just get rid of every single encounter with no, like, penalty on one cycle or anything is just absolutely broken. Especially SMT1, because that game you could live off only boss experience. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, you could just never, ever level up f from encounters. Like, if I get SMT1 casually, you're kind of hurting yourself if you fight too many random encounters because the, the gap between your level and the boss determines how much XP you get. So That's what I was saying to the people who were interested in playing it casually, that grinding is just not a thing that you should do in this game. No, not this game. The, um, SM not in this game either, but in, in SMT1. Like, yeah, for most of them, it's hard not to when you don't have this turbo. I mean, if you have high speed, you could run. Because on my casual, I had high speed. I ran from everything. Except I would like occasionally farm like magnetite or money, like talking to demons. Yeah. But like, if you have if you have high speed, you can run from everything. So, um, Hiroko was on. That's Hiroko, right? Yeah. Hiroko was on one HP there, but it's not scary. It's, it's minute, minute still. <laughs> that's like for as long as there's a minute, that's the way to do it. Is it's not scary because it's on manip, don't worry, yeah, chill. Yeah. Like, it, like so, everything's going to be okay. This run is like, you know, like, like FIFA soccer. This is all choreographed, so we know, we all know, <laughs> we know what's gonna happen. Everyone's already been paid, you know. Are you accusing that the entire federation of, of football is corrupt <laughs> and every match is fixed? We heard it here first, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> That w those were not my words. Anyways, we got a Hika, we got a Kate Sif, we got yes, we did just fuse a Kate Sif, and then we That's got all another. Us, well, no, it's not. Uh, <laughs> this area. Oh. Oh, there's one more. There's one more to to name. Should I name them what? This is uh, Aleph. Like, let's name it Mute. Uh, mute, has <laughs> mute? Mute gets to be Aleph? Mute is Aleph. Oh, no way. Alright, Mute gets to be Aleph. Yeah, it's the last one. You said no? Oh, fine. <laughs> I mean, they you said it now, I gotta have it. <laughs> he is technically a mute. I mean, he doesn't speak really in the game, right? Well, no? wow. Wow. Okay, sure, whatever. It'll be Mute. I think without context, it will look kind of weird. But this was your idea, not mine. Should I call him Mute RPG? Uh, it's probably not gonna fit, unless there's seven characters. Oh, can you spell All it wrong? Right. It would be even better. No, I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Mute RP. It would, it I feel like really, that sounds worse. You would really hate that if it was spelled wrong. Mute roleplay? Let's go. That's him. Okay. <laughs> mute roleplay? Muter? I, I will go with mute. Mute is better. Okay. Uh, there you go. Taking the time lost. That's the there. last one. Taking the time. Lost. I can't. Of course. 
Okay, that's the last one. So we went back to the madam, so you know, Hanada died. And this guy, Shiner, uh, he was looking for us. Uh, the madam is just, like, it's unfortunate that the scientist guy died, but you know, at least he's not dangerous anymore. And uh, Shiner was looking for us, he tells us that apparently we were a citizen of the, of the center all along. And he takes us back there because we used to be friends, apparently. Uh, so we go back there and the bishop, the main head of the Messiah church, which controls the center, lets us know that we are actually the Messiah. And we were born to do the things that the center needs to do because we're the Messiah. And Hiroko is sent to do other stuff. She's also a temple knight. Um, she's totally not kidnapped and arrested. She's just sent to have a little chat. And who could we found? It's ZQ, who happens to be Beth. She will join us, as she's our eternal par partner. And just like that, just after being told that we're the Messiah, we're already being sent on the quest. Apparently, in another part of the Tokyo Millennium, in Holy Town, which is a failed town that there was supposed to be where the center is, but, um, you know, didn't really work out. Uh, in that city, King Frost has frozen the entire thing over, so we need to go there and and like rescue the city. And at the same time, Basilisk, which is this weird bird, is trying to poison the entire city. So we need to go there and just stop all of them. Hmm, I wonder what status effect Basilisk gives people. Hmm. Well, if we're on Manip, it won't, it won't give any, so that's what we're hoping for. Yeah. So, Basilisk has a random chance of appearing. And it sucks, so Manip makes it better. <laughs> that's basically it. Yes. Manip just makes that's everything basically better. basically it. it. dramatically improves this category. I gotta learn the Manip. Did you learn the Manip stim? Yeah, right? Uh, not this one. I no. Only, I only did- I only run glitched. I don't run the glitch this category. See, I'm running glitch? No way. Yeah, I know, right? That never happens. Okay, now we get to the best part of the game, we put in this little code. I love it. Oh, damn. I thought you run both accounts. Every time I see that account, I think it's you. <laughs> no. In the, oh, hold on. I read that as any Nick's shippers, and I was about to have some words about yeah, this. Okay, yeah. I read that like that too. <laughs> <laughs> like, what is a Nick's shipper? Nick skippers. Anyway, we got to Holy Town. Look at this very beautiful palette because the whole thing is frozen. <laughs> what comes? What comes with uh, ice? Uh, Jack Frost. So, do you get Jack That's Frost? That's right. We are going to get. We do get yeah, Jack Frost yeah, in this run, know. and it's Manit. Everyone's favorite. How many Jack Frost emotes do I have? Like fifty. Oh, did my sub run off for Simon? Wow, some age. I think you did. <laughs> no, don't restart because I don't know if the alerts are going to like do something. Just go there and use points to unlock it. One sub to Scion, so the the the, um, the sound of <laughs> the, the sound alert will ring. Will ring. <laughs> I don't know if I'm there's a, an alert, <laughs> but I'd rather not <laughs> find out. Okay, so we have one more encounter. We're going to fight this one, and the follow up is going to be the very very nice. Those things on the floor Jack kind of like smiling faces. Are, Something I what? noticed. There's like, like little in the world map. It looks like there's smiley faces. <laughs> I'll have to wait and go back to the world map to see what you're talking about. Oh, Tim, Jack Frost. Okay. Okay. So, uh, okay. Let me refresh this. Okay, we got the Jack Frost. So here's the thing, on the next tile there's a chance that Basilisk will pop up, but on the current, TI, on the current RNG, level that, uh, RNG, RNG value that we are, um, 
Basilisk will pop up and will poison us, so I advance the RNG 1 value, and because I'm on the right moon cycle, thankfully, we fight it right away. And that's the beauty of Manip. We're going to Sword with both Mute and Z Kill, we're going to Rakukaja with Jack Frost, we're going to Tarukaja with Kate Sif, and we're going to attack. There he is. Giant chicken bird. Were you confused about what I was doing? No. Like the summoning the Jack Frost? No. You can't help press in this game. I just don't have any. I, I, made, them, I made the manip before we. Okay. So uh, I, just, I just wanted to say that it is possible that technically man, um, manip. The, the way that. It's technically possible to manip the game so you have zero encounters and only encounter bosses. Yes. Uh, by pressing the L button. It advances the RNG, so you can just sort of um, skip encounters that way. That only works, however, inside dungeons. It doesn't work clearly in the overworld. Yeah, well, true. I didn't know that. Because yeah. it works in if, and if doesn't have an overworld, so I should think about that. Yeah, if doesn't have an overworld, that's why. Okay, so at this point, I'm defeating all of these enemies because I need money for the next dungeon. Uh, I'm going to buy a big gun that will help us through most of the boss fights until we get a better sword. So, I'm trying to get as much money as possible. I'm trying to keep Manip for as long as possible. For now, we are on Manip. Here's another Jack Frost, we're going to kill this one. Rumble Razu, what game are you talking about? They look like smiling faces. You see the in the, in the world map there. Oh, they do look like smiling faces. I see it now. Right. Okay. It's because uh, King Frost is such a happy guy. Oh yeah, the smiling face. Yeah, I didn't even notice that. <laughs> Necro figures. Hey, Necro figures. Hey Sim, what kind of music do you like? Randomly? When we get a chance. I never hear you talk oh. about music. Oh no, you just never mind. You like okay, I just remembered. I like, like a lot of different things. Yeah, like adult contemporary. Yeah. I don't know what that is. I think whenever I think the only time I spoke with Sign about music, he was talking about like Toad's Mario Kart theme or something. <laughs> of course he is. It's true. <laughs> That's it. He listens it's to true. that on repeat. It's the only song he knows. Yeah, I go to sleep to that song. It's the only <laughs> thing that puts me to sleep. So we have entered the Great Church, which is where King Frost is located. Look at him. Or her, I don't know. Look at them. Look at that thing. Oh, let me refresh, I'm way behind. Uh. We're going to use the same strat, sword, sword, rakukaja, tarukaja, and attack. That's all there is to it. Giant Jack Frost. I love the scepter. I wish I had that scepter. <laughs> With a uh, smiley yeah. face? Players in chat. This is oh, let's do it. I'll cosplay as one of the Jack Frost being smashed. Wait, I'll, I'll cosplay as the crown. Oh, the there's, oh, I didn't even notice. There's a. Yeah. Oh, I didn't notice that. Sion's actually wearing the crown right now. You, can't, you guys can't see it. <laughs> I am. We can see the webcam. You guys. I have the. <laughs> I have the red bear suit on with the crown. It's pretty good. Okay, we're going to Trapport. This is where we saved at the center, so we can warp right back here. We're going to heal up at very conveniently. The same healer places are the same one as in SMT1. You got the Gaia, you got the Messiah in church, and you got the normal healer. Actually, we got more healers. There's you got, now you got the repair shop, and you yeah. got the normal healer. That's not a repair shop. And then you get the other one. Right? Anyways. Yeah, you got the ones like the, the ones in that other dungeon that I don't want to spoil. As soon as we arrive in the center, we're like congratulated from uh, congratulated about saving um, Holy Town, and then told that now there's other things going on in the factory, which is another city of the Millennium, because this big thing called the Battle Goose or Battle Geese. Beetle Geese is how you pronounce it, if you don't pronounce it correctly, then the correct pronunciation is Battle Goose. Um, so Battle Goose is this big thing that's like tormenting the workers that work in the mines. Uh, so we need to go there and defeat it. 
Have you mentioned the elevators yet? I have not mentioned the elevator. Uh, so uh, in this game, when you go to the elevator, you can technically do a glitch where you just sort of instantly move to the next floor. If you play this game casually, you, if you try to go into an elevator, it just uh, you have to wait for it to go down. But if you use a small trick, uh, you can just instantly get to the next floor. So I wish I knew that. The time. I wish I knew that in my casual playthrough, because there's a couple elevators that are really long in this game. Oh, yeah. yeah. There are some really long. You the elevators at the underground. It doesn't just... Yeah. yeah. So it's a really good trick. I would tell you how to do it, but honestly, I have forgotten, so... You just press B. You just oh, put yeah, the you... cursor on the floor and press B. It's the easiest thing. You can do it accidentally. Okay, one more code, and off we go to the factory. So here we're going to get the last two recruits, and that's like where the main part of the manip ends. But ideally, I'd still manip the next couple of boss fights for safety. It can be a bit stressful. Is the manip still on? Yes. Then why are you stressed out? I'm stressed out about messing it up. I like this. I like the guy's bell. This enemy's bell is pretty cool. It has a smiley face. I mean, that one guy with the chainsaw has a, has a smiley face uh, mask. Man, it's not cool cosplays. <laughs> okay, now we're going to get a Demi Nandi. So Demi Nandis are how are they're like humanoid demons, uh, which are being raised in the factory for food. So if you ever wondered if humans eat demons, yes, they do. I, I thought I'd share that piece. Would you eat a Demi Nandi? Uh, yes, I would. Would you not? Yes. Yeah, cloned beef. It looks tasty. Cloned beef is still beef. Of it's course. Demon beef. It's beef. No, it's demon beef. <laughs> It's beef! <laughs> I don't think I would. Who cares if it's a demon? I think I would. I'm sure it's like sterilized or something. It's one of the grievous demons. Good reference. Cool. See, see, this is why Mute is out of. Because he's into eating demons. He's a vegetarian. Don't listen to anything they say. Okay, well, never mind then. <laughs> It shouldn't be Aleph. Can't believe it's not a demon. Okay, so we arrived, we bookmarked the terminal just as usual. We're going to come back here many times. Yeah. But we got all of that money so we could go and now buy a cool gun. And this gun will carry the speed run for a while. First off, we need to sell a bunch of stuff and sell all this equipment. It's not this. Wow, Coco didn't ask me. Coco asks Sim and Sion, would you drink a demon? I don't like how that's phrased. Yeah, I like this guy's hat or girl uh, hat though. I'm not sure, but uh, the hat's really cool. Good way to avoid that question. Yeah. <laughs> cool hat it's on a, that character. It's a cool hat. I've never been to this store before, casually, or uh, in the spear run. So I didn't know how cool that hat was. Yeah, I don't remember that place either. I, I've only done one casual playthrough of this back in June. And I did neutral and I, I haven't gone back to it. I'll probably go back to it soon. Um, Cause uh, I wanna impress my friend Sion by beating his time or something. Yes, I'll, wait, you should. I'll wait till he moves on to another game. Like he- what, his, <laughs> To Lost by Wolfie. Yeah, and then I'll go back. So now we gotta uh, fight this Deminandi, which we use the gun and crush it. That's because Deminandi are just running around. That's one of the things that the, the center asked us to help out, like control the, the Deminandi population. And now we're going to go to the mines, so we can go and fight the battle goose. I want to mute. I kinda, it's not even hard. I kind of miss the daily grind trying to get a better time. No, if you beat my time in this, I'll take it personally. Because this one, I worked hard for it. I made the one hour manip. Uh, but it's not hard at all. What's your record again? Like three something? 
Uh, my time, uh, 3.51. It's not a record. Uh, one of the last boss fights that I won, I won't spoil, rather, um, uh, kind of messed up my See, I, I, so my I used to think that dying, but then I played the originals and I was like, wow. The, the original uh, Megami Tensei games are, are really awesome, and I don't think the remakes do it do a great job of actually being good remakes yeah i feel the same like when i like there's so much unique flavor in both megami Tensei one and two that was completely stripped out of kyaku but i think yeah. it's the i think it's the only one with the english oh, i think uh yeah. the originals well, have english translations too now right yeah, well the megami Tensei two one i don't know if it's out out but it's, it's, either, it's either about to be out or very soon because tomo's finished i haven't i haven't I've been, you know, I learning Japanese, so I kind of stopped caring about trans translation patches, to be honest. Oh, um, yeah. yeah. It's true. She's accusive. This is the last recruitment. It's also the longest one, so hopefully this goes well. Yeah, I mean, Kyaku is great. It's still, uh, you know, I wouldn't. Yeah. It's necessarily bad, but I just Kyaku, think the yeah. rituals are better. Kyaku is great. I, yeah, I agree. I'm not saying, like, oh, Kyaku sucks. I just think the rituals are cooler. It's Kusif again, but this time he's green. He was yellow and now Yeah, he's remember, green. remember blue, uh, not blue, uh, yellow. yellow Kusif? Yeah. <laughs> blue Kusif, we need a blue Kusif. Maybe a also, SMT5 will get liberal. The, the yellow Kusif in part one was like much more doggy, like happy looking, like a doggy on a pet. And then after that, they're like, nah, let's make him more like a demon. Well, there was an apocalypse, it kind of changes things. Maybe the dog is just changed and became Don't trust your dog after the apocalypse. It could turn yes. out like this. Dude, when I play this, I play with the English patch because I was a filthy Gaijin and the the <laughs> negotiations felt so weird and glitched. But then I started watching Scion's uh, like speedruns and I'm like, oh, it's the same in Japanese too. It's just the, <laughs> no, they're just like that. The, the, they're just like the negotiations that. Negotiations just feel so weird and like broken. Like one. Because you 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 could see multiple lines in, in a box, but for some reason that part you only get one line, and it's like really quick. Oh, it's really weird. This game is notorious for being very 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 glitchy. Like oh yeah, uh, we haven't touched on that. Yeah, or, original copies of this game came with like a like a a white slip with red text of every known glitch the developers knew. They were just like, oh, just ship the game, and whatever, just put the. Like, if you look at the glitch, the list, it's like, oh, don't do this or this with this demon, because this will happen. It's kind of... Oh, yeah. Kinda... Don't press Y in a battle, because it will softlock the game. Don't auto-recover, because it will softlock the game. Mm -hmm. Don't use summer recarm and then press uh, A many times, because it will softlock the game. Yeah. It's a bunch of things, okay. Sometimes when you cast, uh, Tsuka Kaja... Oh, no, are you kidding me? What? Oh, how did this happen again? Oh, oh how did this happen? Are you off minute? <sighs> yeah, so basically there's this weird glitch that happens sometimes. Where so this See you, you. this Sorry. Oh no. <laughs> um Okay, I don't know about this. Can I run away even? I like how we're, um, we're talking about glitches and it's like, oh, here's a glitch that can happen. Oof. So okay. That's oh, the best demon. Yes, I'm off Manip. That's the, the the short answer. The long answer is that uh, sometimes that fight you're supposed to run away first turn, and sometimes for some reason you won't. It's happened to me twice. It happened to me the other day when I was actually the other day meaning yesterday when I was zero rusting and I was like, that's weird. Hope it doesn't happen tomorrow. Well. <laughs> so. Uh, yes, it will. Good. Is everything gonna be okay? Be recovery. I don't know. No, because Manip is broken, though. No? I thought this was where Manip ended. No, Manip ends at Zane. Oh, okay. Well. So now we're just hoping that things will. Like, Zane can. Anyways, <laughs> it'll be fine. Okay. Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. Yeah, sometimes buffs in this game will do the opposite of what it's trying to do. Like, Tsukukaja might accidentally. Uh, make it so you get hit more. <laughs> it's just there's, there's so many bugs. It's impossible to list them all. There's been a thing when I when I was playing this game like last June. I remember two different people 
on Twitter sent me DMs saying, hey, um, what's this glitch? And they were both, like, if you level up or something, your next level will take, like, a million experience. And I'm like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I've never seen that. That's like, I think that's a visual glitch, though. I don't think that's like an actual glitch. Oh, it, so it, it'll really be like like the regular number, but it just shows a million? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, we didn't die at Battle Goose, though. So now... We'll see. It'll be fine. We're just we're just gonna have to do the rest of the of it, of it, you know, Minipolis. Hey, Sim, someone in chat saying that if music is better than 1 and 2, isn't that kind of... Isn't that kind of yikers? There's like one song in If that I like, I think is a good remix. It's like, uh, it's the center theme. I would say that the music in Acura is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, you get, you get a couple songs. And the PS1 version, most songs that people know as like the Acura music is from the PS1 version of If. It's not yeah, I know. Power Com. It's not the same. Best music is another rival, hell yeah. Can we time out, uh, can we time out that vegan? <laughs> yeah, some of the remixes in If, I just roll my eyes out. But there's a couple that I think are alright. Damn, I don't play this game. Like, I'm literally holding my card. Like, I made that comment about the little red sheet with the glitches, <laughs> and I got my card in my hands. I'm like, I should just play this. I should quit school. Go holding quit, your cards for like quit school, emotional support. Quit my job and play the game. Oh yeah, don't worry, we'll uh, get to hear the disco music soon though. Oh yeah. It'll happen. Eventually. We just need to get there. By the way, we uh so <laughs> about the video game. Um we went back to the center after defeating Battle Goose, they say like, oh thanks. Now, take a, a, a day off and go over to Arcadia, go meet Gimmo, I'm sure he'll be happy to see you again because, you know, our memories got wiped, these are all people that supposedly we knew, we just don't remember. Yeah, Mute's right. Sion told me one time, he said, hey, can you quit your job so you can get home and commentate? And I said, you know what, man, for you I'll do it. But I didn't do it. <laughs> Also, no, uh, I'm probably gonna leave in like 15 minutes because I, I have class in 30 minutes. Are you not even gonna see me die to Zane? Maybe. Hopefully. Maybe. I'll try to go fast. I'll ask my professor if we, so could, we... If we could stream this <laughs> to the class because it's in Japanese. It's, it, it would count as studying, yeah. wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. So here's Radio. Hello, Radio. He's showing his incredible job of creating this city called Arcadia. Good job, Radio. We're all proud of Good you. Good job, Radio. Looks just like him. Yeah, that's radio. It's true. That's radio. Oh, he even wears that too. I've seen it. <laughs> Plays the harp as he's in chat. Yeah. Shout out to Shiner making deals in chat. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> we head back to the center and they tell us now to go back to Valhalla because. A fake messiah is proclaiming to be the real messiah, and it's proclaiming that we are the fake messiah and wants to face us. So off we go to Valhalla uh, to face him. So this is the hardest part of the run, the next 20 minutes or longer. Who knows if it won't be longer? It will depend on how well it goes. So we'll see how how it goes. Oh yeah, even saving it'll be it'll be complicated. I have a backup save at this point too, in case things go terribly. Yeah, I think you always need backup saves when playing SMT and 2 in a marathon. Backup cards too, because these cards can be a little weird. <laughs> yep. I don't have a backup card, so... But it wouldn't be the first time that a card uh, glitches out on me. I mean, it just happened, so... So, we're going to do a fusion. One more. The very important one that is, we're going to fuse Unicorn by fusing Jack Frost with q -Sif. that's it. And Unicorn has a stone! Also 
has Akkaja, which would be good for the Zane fight. Yes. You mean the Shiner fight? The Shiner fight, sorry, oh, yeah. Shiner fight. So I really hope Shiner doesn't end this run. <laughs> no. Yeah, oh, Shiner, please. please. Uh, if Shiner kills him, a uh, mod, can I get um, a, a ban? A ban. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Like, just ban him until I finally beat him. Thanks. Ban him until I beat him. Yeah, then you can unban him again. So, will I get an earthquake? Yes, nice earthquake. Earthquake for luck. Is it important that you have an earthquake there? No, it's not. Okay. It's just a luck. It's basically like, um, those. You either get lucky or done. Those earthquakes are also manipulable. Well, kind of. Yes. Not, not really, but it's used in the glitch run. Uh, it's like the tiles in which you can get an earthquake are like set. It's not randomly in any tile. There are certain tiles where you can get an earthquake. And as soon as you go through, it advances the RNG. And if you are at a point in RNG that will uh, incite an earthquake, then you get you get the earthquake. If you aren't, then you don't get an earthquake, basically. And in my manip, I avoid all earthquake tiles. Well, the, also another problem is the the angels that you have to go against uh, to get the Zane. But that and Zane are the most scariest things. After that, you're pretty set. Don't spoil the angels. Oh, what's up, Zeno? So we're now going to fight Zeno. Uh, Zeno is the anti-messiah that's proclaiming we're not the messiah. So thanks, Zeno, for that. I appreciate it. Alright, this guy's pushover. No offense, Zeno. <laughs> this guy is... <laughs> However, Zeno has one secret attack uh, that almost kills us, but thankfully, Zekiel gets in the way Zekiel saved us. to protect us. What saves us. Indeed, we have to fight Zeno one more time. I'm going to use the bead that I got and attack him, and hopefully I don't die. A chance you can die here. You yeah, there's the... a little chance. I haven't, yeah. I haven't seen Grumble Raz in chat. Do they go to sleep? They're very lively. And so, okay, we defeated Zeno. That's it. Uh, and now we have the chance of killing Zeno or not, and we're going to say no. However, Zekio is officially dead. Thank you for saving us, Zekio. You are now dead. Uh, I appreciate your sacrifice, though. Just like real life. <laughs> Don't say that. You saved Rum, but oh, yeah, now you're dead. At what cost? At what cost? So who haven't we met Heat yet? We've met everybody, right? Mute. Uh, yeah, there's no one else we haven't met. When I played this, I named everybody after my real life friends, but the two women I named Yuna and Riku. <laughs> For no reason. I'm uh, I'm afraid of asking, but like, why? But maybe I shouldn't I think ask. it was chat, chat asked. And I, I think this was the first game ever. Well, this is the first RPG I ever played that I called myself like I call the main character after my real name because I never do that. It's weird. Yeah, I never do that. Luckily, my real name. Luckily, my real name is Hawk, so it kind of worked out. But still, <laughs> it worked out for a little bit until it changed to Alf. Yeah. yeah exactly. So now the center is very happy that we defeated the anti messiah or whatever they wanted to call um, Zeno. And as soon as we leave, this kid shows up and the kid gives us a letter that says Oh, a police come meet me at, at some city, I will tell you the truth about everything. Signed by Makata, the one scientist that we were looking for in the beginning of the game, remember? So we're going to Slum City now. Oh. 
my hometown, Slum City, Texas. Slum City, Texas. Just a sign on seven. I just I just saw on screen seven hour and a half estimate. Ooh. That's two two games. What a pro. This person lives in a, a time zone that is it's really late. Currently, you know, like probably two a.m. for for Scion right now. It's two a.m. or nine right now. It's, it's fine. Like, it's like two a.m. Wednesday where he lives. I think already. Wednesday. <laughs> it's Wednesday. How's your Tuesday song been so far? Oh, it was great. It was a great Tuesday. Thank you for asking. Yeah, so here's Makata. And Makata's like, Hey, I know I said I tell you the truth, but I kind of want to tell the truth to Hiroko too. And she was imprisoned by... Uh, she was imprisoned by the center. So if you could go rescue her, she's currently in this like underground prison. So good luck, go get her, because she's like... Nowhere to be seen. I don't have. I have no money. I have no. Money. Is that like? Is that like a thing? Like, like did you mess up? Did something go wrong? Well, kinda. Yeah. I mean, Katesif died against Battle Goose, and now I have no money. So what's gonna happen? Um, what's gonna happen is I will go back to the factory. I will defeat some guys to get money, and then like I'm going to leave Slum City. I won't heal now. I'll heal after. up Claire you show up like five minutes before I have to leave I don't want any spoilers so I gotta leave because this is law isn't this law yeah this is yeah, law yeah this guy's name is Hark Yeah, I have Japanese. If Hilfi's leaving, I have Japanese he doesn't class. want to see me die to Zane. Yeah. That's, that's what it is, actually. I have to take Japanese class so I could, so I could know how to beat this game faster than Zion. Yeah, that too. <laughs> Alright, so. This part's cool. I, I warped to the wrong place. I hope you like the warp animation, because you're going to have to see it twice. That's fine. You just. Make sure you keep saving because this is the scariest part of the run. Oh, yeah. Is there uh, a factory? Yeah. Oh, you're going back. To, oh, you're going to the factory first to get some money. Why do you need to the, the money factory. For? Yeah. I need the money to revive Kate. Oh, I thought you did, and then you ran out of money. My bad. Okay. And I, I still need money to then summon Kate because I don't have any money. Okay, I saved. I'll soft reset because I need this soma to be gone. This sucks dropping manip because really you the end of the run if you drop manip and if at least but actually in the, the if world record uh, i dropped the manip and it was fine so there are oh, some yeah. backups but in general like if you drop manip it's over yep oh here's a kate sif hello kate sif can you tell me a per uh, world record wasn't a perfect run man that gives me hope oh if is definitely beautiful Interested in that. Because I, I think Sion said he's doing that tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. Yes. Making plans for him. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I think so. can never decide on what to do, but thankfully, Filthy is here. That's funny because Sion said he was going to start Margin Tensei 1 on the Thursday. Oh, I'm, you're right, you're right, you're right. That, that, that's what he said. He definitely said that if he gets five followers right now, he's going to. <laughs> Five forward. <laughs> he's gonna run Bajin Tensei tomorrow. How long would that be? If, imagine, okay, so you know that they have the, the really, really long, like, lots of lore? Oh, sorry, really, really lots of lore? How long would the Bajin Tensei... I don't know. Oh, man. It would be an entire marathon to... <laughs> I would say to 20. That. 20 to 25 hour long run. Just call the marathon. I, w I want to preface by saying that I can't do it because I have an exam this week and I have to study for it. So I can't do Majin Tensei until I do my exam. But after that, then maybe I'll, I'll play some Majin Tensei. I don't know. Yeah, with, Who knows? If they did that, they'd have to call them a marathon. Really, really lots of it. <laughs> so for, really, really lots for, of for, okay, uh, for a little context, Majin Tensei is a really 
really long game. It's a tactical RPG, but the enemy turns take forever. It can literally take to upwards like five minutes sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yep. And there's like 60 maps or so. It's a really long game. Oh yeah. And uh, Sion said he was gonna speedrun it. Um, and I said, "There's no way you're doing that. You're gonna give up." I don't recall saying that. Because <laughs> we bet you were like, "Okay, so if I run Majin Tensei." Um, yeah, I know, I, I know, I know. Then I have to run... You'll do P5, PS3. Yeah, I have to run Persona 5 on a PS3. Uh, so that was the deal. Okay, that was it. Because it was the first route yeah. was facilitated by the cards 100%. Well, then it's perfect for Majin Tensei. Not only do the, the, the enemy turns take forever, they take forever to get to you too, because the maps are so large. It's just a giant. The music is great, yeah, though. I'm about to say, the music is great. I'm, I'm about to say, like, the maps are huge. It takes forever, but the the jams are there. Like, you're fuck. Oh, sorry. You're you're having a good time. Right. <laughs> it's slower. On Anyways, the... we're about to. Slower. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. You're fine on you. I was just, I was gonna be. Oh, we're about to enter the dangerous part. But then I remember that I haven't used the stoma, so I'm gonna use the stoma first. Uh, yeah. Now we're going to do the the scary fights scary section until we're past here like we come back here we're going to be in dangerous area so i'm going to summon katesif that i went to such great lengths to revive and hopefully it doesn't die again and look who's back it's zeno and we're about to fight him again and again he's also a pushover for the second time i don't know sometimes he does he kills you so i don't wanna oh, don't jinx it i called him uh, luigi because i like It does kind of look like Luigi. I'm going to use Sarkash for now. Also, I think this is... There's like, a, there's like one part... Because this game is pretty easy. Like, I, I my casual playthrough, like 90% of the, of the playthrough, I had no demons in my party. It was super easy. But there was one dungeon. This might be this one. The one where, the, like, an archangel is, like, uh, one of the random enemies? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would, like... Like the angels? Yeah, I, I think it's, like, a level 27 angel, and, like, he resists physical, and he wouldn't join. I was like, yeah. dude, this part's kind of hard. It's this one. So, even if I survive Zane, if I get one of the underground encounters or an angel, they can just kill me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. it's only when I'm back at Valhalla that I know I'm, I'm safe. So I just defeated Dalof, he dropped an item called the Wind Pillar, so I wonder if that will be important later. I'm sure it won't. Yes. And now we are in the underground, which is this like the underground, the way to think of it is like where the old world used to be. Oh, this part. I love this game, dude. Man, this whole revelation when you start like, oh what is this? And you see the names of like the districts, you're like, oh. Yeah. Yeah, oh I love this game, dude. It's a great game. Yeah. We haven't even got to the digital world yet. <laughs> I mean, the demon world. Right? One of my, this is for sure one of my yes. top 10 games of all time right here. Love it. Okay, so I'm going to heal up again. Thankfully, Katesif didn't die. I'm going to put input another code. Also, uh, I think I have to go... I have to, All right. yeah, I gotta go study Nihongo, sorry. Uh, thank Make sure to work to see me die against China. Mm. Yeah. But yeah, thank you for commentating. Yeah. Um, and I'll see you around. Yeah, thank you. see you around. Everyone take it easy. Everyone cheer on Sion for the next five hours or whatever. Uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, uh, take it easy. Love you guys. Bye. All right. See you, Bye. Sophie. Bye. Okay, this fight will be pretty much the same. This one's slightly not as dangerous as the other, so I'm going to Tarokaja right away and hopefully Katesif won't die. I'm going to do one more turn of this. And yeah, should just be able to attack. Gun attack. That's it. Nice. Yeah. Here comes the scary part. I've died to this part many oh, yeah. times. Oh yeah. There's a chance to get away from the angel random encounters. You kind of have to like either escape or talk to them in a certain You gotta way. talk to yeah, them. Yeah, you can talk to them. And way. even talking to them is like, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like the reason the manip was created was specifically for <laughs> this section. It's the reason why I extend. So here's the history of the manip. Let's let's give some lore on the manip. 
Um, the manip was created because I was really annoyed by the fact that high pixies wouldn't spawn. That's the first 10 minutes of the game. I was really annoyed about that. Oh, here we go. Temple Knight. Hopefully I can run away from this one. Um, okay, cool. Good so far. Yeah. So I made the manip to get a knocker and high pixie. And as soon as I have them manipped, um, I noticed that Alp also wouldn't spawn, so I manipped Alp. Then Katsif wouldn't spawn, so I manipped uh, Katsif. And then Jack Frost wouldn't spawn, so I manipped Jack Frost. And then like Qsif wouldn't spawn, so I manipped Qsif. Uh, so it went like that until we got to Zane because I kept dying to Zane. And here's Zane. This is Shiner, and he can kill me. Please don't kill me, Shiner. Be nice. I would appreciate it. Thank you in advance. So I'm going to use Tarukaja first. A lot of Medeus. Uh, I'm going to just defend with these. We just need him to not kill my demons, just like he did right now. And especially not kill Q uh, Q Katesif. If he kills Katesif, then we are in a complicated situation. I might even use one more Akaja. I need to keep using Medea, keep Arukaja, just keep going like that. I have a little bit of a delay, so it's even worse. <laughs> I'm like, oh no. Okay. Okay, now I'll just switch to two Medeas and gun attack. I'll say it is looking okay. Because I got two Tarukajas in. Okay, we're good! Shiner didn't kill us, which means that he doesn't get banned. Thank you, mods. You don't need to ban Shiner. This is so mean, Sal. Come on. <laughs> but. But we can still die on the way back, so let's not celebrate too much. Yeah, early. the angels so, still have a chance the... to spawn. Absolutely. So the reason why we even fought Zane is because he was just following the center's orders in keeping Hiroko imprisoned. So now that we found out that it was a center that uh, was keeping Hiroko imprisoned, we're kind of suspicious of their ma like of their no their true intentions. So we just save her, and she seemed to be brainwashed, like she didn't want to run away, like some kind of Stockholm Syndrome set. It looked like Stockholm Syndrome is what I mean. Uh, these guys should be okay, hopefully. Uh, so now we're going to go back to Slum City, because like Makata said, he was going to explain to us the truth. M but he, wanted, he only wanted to explain if we had Hiroko with us, so we're going back to Slum City. Do, re do those rare... A boss must just cause a problem. Uh, okay, this is. Um... Oh. Uh, no. Uh, like the fiends, they don't. Like, there's certain tiles where they can spawn, but before they, like, attack you, you have, like, a prompt asking you if you want to fight them. It pops up, like, oh, there seems to be a demon, like, a very rare demon over here. Do you want to fight them? That's why it shows up, and you can just say no. It actually happened to me yesterday. But it was pre end game. I could have fought them, but I ended up not doing it. Whoops. Okay, I'm going to just go to the guy over here. I'm going to heal up. I'm not going to revive anybody because we're soon going to get another demon that will have some recarm and we want to use it instead. And I actually have plenty of money. So I don't even have to worry about not having enough money to summon him or something. But first I need to survive. So let's make sure we survive. This is like the most dangerous area. This is the underground. The underground, like the entire underground gets the same... It's scary because um, you're on full moon. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, I didn't even notice that! Yeah, you were on full Whew. moon, that's scary. Dude. That's very scary. On full moon, we can't talk to those demons, and that's basically the only way we have of escaping them. This game's weird on full moon because actually, in some demons, you can recruit them on full moon. That's it's unlikely, but it, yeah, I don't know why. It can't happen. Like, it's kind of weird. So we find Shiner again. Who I don't know how he got here before we got here, but I don't know. And he to let us know. That you know, you know how we we're supposed to go to back to Fall Hollow to Slum City. Turns out that while we were gone in the underground, Valhalla got swallowed by Abaddon. The city got swallowed by Abaddon, I repeat. 
Uh, so I guess we can't go back to Valhalla, so we'll just go to Holy Town, which is uh, the next town over, the closest one. Yeah, he was very hungry. So off we go through the center. Gonna go to Holy Town. Nice earthquake. It's it's just gone. I could have showed what it looks like. It looks just like empty. Like there's nothing. It's just a floating point. There's nothing there. Did you get Cerberus back? I just caught him. Oh, okay. I forgot. To oh yeah, I forgot to mention that. So Cerberus ma managed to escape from Madame's mansion, and he remembered that we we're pretty strong, so he joined us, which is very cool because, like I was saying. Cerberus has Summer Recarm, so now I can just Summer Recarm if somebody dies. I don't have to be worrying about money and not having enough money to revive because reviving in this game is extremely expensive. Yeah, he has a red. I don't know, just it, the economy is just in shambles after the whole yeah, but we, the world we getting destroyed. Yeah, because there's not too many really scary fights until, until later on. So, do, in this category, do you skip the, the, <coughs> the no. gods? We don't skip anything. Like the. I think you're about uh, talking about the twelve gods. Yeah. We don't. Oh, okay. Yeah, that counts as a glitch. But the elevator thing. Does. That doesn't count. <laughs> Look, Misima makes the rules. If he uses it, I use it. That's how it works. So Zane, he realized that the center isn't always right because he he like when we tried to rescue Hiroko, he was like. You know, you're right, I don't see a reason why they should be imprisoning people like this, it's kind of dehumanizing. So now, after he saw Valhalla get swallowed, he realized that the center just saw that Valhalla didn't have a purpose anymore. And it was actually the center that ordered um, Abaddon to swallow up Valhalla. So now he's trying to inform the people of Holy Town that they should revolt themselves against the center, because if they don't, the Holy Town is the next place to get like destroyed. Meteor hitting Earth was very bad for the dinosaur economy. Indeed, indeed, it was. Oh, actually, I shouldn't have come here first. I gotta. Okay, I'm going to summon Cerberus now so I can use some Recarm. Which I'll, I'll showcase something very fun about this game. So I'm going to use some Recarm. I'm even gonna turn off Turbo. I'm going to revive Hi Ichka. You see where the cursor is? It's off screen. So, basically, every single time you use a revival spell in this game, the cursor goes crazy. And if you man if you click on where the cursor was, and like then press again, it will soft lock the game. And it it just doesn't work very well, let me tell you. So that's just one of the wondrous things about Shimigami Tensei 2. When we say that the game is glitchy, it's really glitchy. It happens all the time casually. Yeah, it happens every time you use uh, Recarm or Summer Recarm. Perfect game. Uh, who was Radio? Did we name someone? Uh, Radio's Gimmo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Radio's Gimmo. <laughs> oh, Gimmo is such a funny character. He's great. Anyways. Uh, so we went to the town. Here Zane has, like... Michael Jackson. Gathered. Forgot about this. Basically. Um, Zen has gathered a bunch of people who he's, you know, convincing to join him to try and revolt against the center. And now we're gonna go to the Great Church because the Great Church is a passage to the actual underground. Why do we go to the actual underground? To look for answers, let's put it like that. I don't remember the real reason, but I think it's to look for answers. And we're informed that there's a very big elevator that takes us to the real underground, not like the one that we take, though we took before to get to the uh, prisons, like the jail cells where Hiroko was. Like the real underground, there's an elevator through the great church in Holy Town that takes us there. So off we go. Oh, this is on console, yeah. This is all, this game yeah, this happens every time. Yeah.
So I just missed the moon cycle that I needed to enter. Uh, which is kind of unfortunate, it means I'll have to walk around a little bit over here. Yeah, it's important that you get the right moon cycle. Yeah. We want to get an item, a jewel to be specific, and you can only get jewels at full moon. So you open the chest and if it's not full moon, the jewel just won't be there. So we want to enter at 7 out of 8 ascending, uh, so that at, by the point we get to the chest, then um, it'll be full moon so we can get it. There are many versions of this game and they are all buggy. And they, there's, there's yep. a lot of different glitches on every version. They're, they've yet to been, they've yet to make a version that doesn't have at least like 10 different glitches. <laughs> they were fixed some, but it also created more. That's the thing. They, they have um, so the, the, they have a PS1 port of this game, uh, which is even more buggier than uh, the Super Famicom version. Oh, the yeah, the PSX has some interesting bugs, the GBA version has some interesting bugs. I suppose they're not ports really, are they? They're mostly remakes. They're remakes. Yeah, I didn't mean re-release. And it's... I guess a demake for the GBA, kind of? It's kind of fun fact about the like lower fun res. fact about the PS1 version. There's a, a glitch in the PS1 version where you, if you load into a uh, into the just into anything, like you load into a, um, a dungeon, you can open your PS2 disc tray, and it bugs the game, and you will teleport somewhere randomly in the void and. There's a speed run where you teleport uh, directly outside like the last dungeon in the game, and you just beat it in 30 minutes. It's kind of funny. And of those 30 minutes, like 10 minutes is the credit. Yes, yes, <laughs> the 10 minutes, that is the credit. The game has very long credits. Yeah, you'll get to see that. Okay, so I'm gonna get Katesif out, I'm going to get Cerberus out. And you're not gonna believe who we're going to fight again. That's right, it's Zeno. Zeno is back. And this time Zeno has some reflective armor, so we need to use servers to attack. And he killed Kate's first server. The hell Zeno. While we were cool. Kate's is kinda like the goblin in this game. He's just a yeah. really he's the uh, buff demon that just doesn't need to die and it's really low health. So at this point the manipulation would have ended anyway, so all of this is Oh yeah yeah. yeah. Unmanipulated in the, the actual manip version. ends at the same. Yeah. So you know, just in case anyone thought we were still on my neighbor, definitely not. <laughs> and I'm going to use one more summer recarm because Kate's have died. I'm yeah. going to return Cerberus because all of these demons consume a lot of. I didn't want to return it. Heck it. Um, uh, they consume a lot of magnetite, and I don't want to be too short of magnetite. Yeah, that's something that the minip also uh, helps on is magnetite because early in the game you can end up losing it, and if you have zero magnetite, you'll take damage every step. And the damage isn't too bad. This is where the elevator glitch is cool. Yeah, the damage isn't too bad, just, but it's actually yeah. uh, the uh, the it slows you down, so that's really bad for speedruns. Yeah, if we're out of magnetite, it's just better to return all demons and resummon them. Yeah. If you if Hecate, so there's a gl also a glitch I've had in this category when I when I ran it for a bit is if Hecate dies to having no magnetite, like you get a really weird graphical glitch. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't harm the game, it's just a graphical glitch. You just open the map to, to reset it, but it's kinda weird. I've also had a glitch in this game where I've gotten two of the same character in the party. Don't know how that happened, <laughs> just did. That was for glitch though, wasn't it? Uh, that was yeah, that was the glitch category, but it's not something intended at all. Oh yeah, I mean I imagine. Okay, so we are now on the true underground, and here we are in Shinjuku, which 
are known as old Shinjuku because it's actually the same city that it was in SMT1. And hook hook we found again, it's Zeno again. And this time Zeno has given up on trying to fight us and is instead trying a different approach. So he convinced this fairy guy to throw an hypnosis, hyp hypnosis powder at us because the strat was the hypnosis thing would hit us and we'd see this fairy and we'd fall in love with the fairy and we'd be so in love that we couldn't fight anymore but Hiroko protected us and it hit her and now she's in love with Dala, I mean Zeno she's in love with Zeno and now we have to go and rescue her we have to find a way of breaking the hypnosis so she can come back that's an actual part of this game there's a maid everyone likes maids This, dun this dungeon's pretty chill. That's one here. So first off, we're going to this store over here so we can talk to the other fairy that we're supposed to fall in love with. We're going to explain that there is a way of breaking the spell. Um, the one that has the antidote is the like the the puck, which is the fairy that threw the thing. Oh puck. Uh, <laughs> oh puck. Best dungeon coming up. Uh, but we should go talk to the king of the fairies, Oberon, uh, to see if he can help us out with the whole breaking of the hypnosis. As you can see, this is just a city inhabited by fairies. Have Goblin over there, MVP of SMT1. A high pixie. Oh yeah, because my my thing just wore off. My soma just wore off. Go back to. Also, I just want to say that the Goblin in, in this game is it's, it looks cool. But the it's a cool going story. back to the glitches, at least in the glitch category, you you can donate to the church and that despawns bosses. It, it, like you donate to this church nine times and it will despawn these nine bosses, so you don't have to fight them. It's very bizarre. And it's just one of the many things that is really wrong with this game. Some people are lucky though, they don't even encounter, encounter a single glitch uh, while playing this casually, but you'll most likely encounter some sort of soft lock or glitch uh, on a casual playthrough. Most likely multiple. Depending on your version. Okay, so Oberon just asked us to go after the puck, so we're gonna go, he's like hidden away in this dungeon. This is the best dungeon of the game. By far. Oh, yeah. If you, if you play this game great. casually, you're gonna hate, you would hate this dungeon. You hate it so much. So here's so how this goes. Where after this puck, he asks us if we, if we want to like, go along with him. If we say yes, he throws us to the beginning of the dungeon, like a prank. If we say no, we have to go after him. The objective is we want to entrap him until he has nowhere else to run away. So we just have to go around, say no, and then he throws something at us. Right now he just threw poison, so now we're poisoned. And yeah, and that's it. Just have to do this like 10 times. Yeah. Any advice to uh, people going into this game casually? Just unsummon all your demons here. So Puck kind of looks like um, Blink a little bit, right? <laughs> Link. He kind of does, actually. Oh yeah. Forgot to trace the warp. Yeah. Yeah. If you, I'm sure I'll do that. <laughs> if you talk to Puck uh, <laughs> on the same time that you walk, you can go through the wall here and do kind of crazy stuff. <laughs> There's like basically no way of explaining yeah. trace the warp <laughs> properly. <laughs> it's like it's so weird, and even when you see it happen, it's just if you do this thing. And then Puck shows up and you Triesto, uh, you get like warped out to another dungeon. And that's the glitch in glitched category. Very cool. The best category. Yeah, no. So don't worry, we only have to talk to him uh, like six more times. It's fine. I 
I do like how it's like it's like completely Japanese, and then you see mute, and then Zeno, and that's like all you can understand from it. Yeah, the, the random English kind of, uh, characters in there. That's why I told you you should have done this run on the English patch. No, are you kidding me? Want to explain English patch? Uh, and why nobody sure. runs these games in so, English? We are Japanese. Sion knows a little bit of Japanese. I know barely any. Uh, but we are running in the Japanese version. Mainly one, because it's the official version and Sion's playing on console. Uh, but two is that the unofficial English patches out for this game make the game like 15 to 20 minutes slower. Just from. This one's probably more. Yeah, this one's. Yeah, I mean, with this category, it'd be even more. Um, yeah, it just. It, the game just runs slower. Everything feels slower. Because I guess it takes more time to load up the text or something. But it's. And the same for SMT1, too. So it's just a lot longer. And it feels worse to play. And also on the unofficial English patches, you can't do the glitched run because the, the nip is on the first frame possible and you can't hit the same frame with the English patch, so that's mainly the reason why everyone runs this game in Japanese. Okay, so we finally trapped the puck. Um, he had the audacity of after annoying us throughout the entire dungeon, um, asking us to pay him to get the, the antidote back, which is ridiculous. So, uh, we actually, not only did we get the, the antidote, we also robbed him. So now we got 10k more money, which is pretty cool. I'm actually gonna go back and save because there's a possibility they will get some encounters that kill us. And we don't want to get that, so I'm going to just save over here, wait, save. And there we go. We have the antidote, we talk to Oberon, and he breaks the spell immediately, so now we can go and rescue Hiroko again. All over again. All over again. For the last time, kind of. So here's the fairy. And here's Hiroku, who's very horrified by the fact that she was in love with Zeno. Sorry, Zeno. Um, she comes back to us, and what we do is we, or rather, the fairy throws the, you know, hypnosis thing to Zeno, and Zeno falls in love with the fairy, who also had a crush on him. So now they're happily ever after. They just stay together, and Zeno doesn't annoy us anymore. There you go. That's a good way of dealing with both problems in one go. Sure. So now we can keep going. Yeah, they're one column lists. Uh, same for if too. So the menus are technically slower as well. <laughs> Radio, are you sure you want to say that? I mean, you're Gimo. Like, no offense, but you're Gimo. Okay, so now I just need to advance the moon cycle a little bit over here. Okay. Don't spoil Gimo's role in this game. <laughs> Anyways, we arrived in Asakusa. We're going to just kind of use this as like a, a place where we keep coming back to, which is very well positioned in the middle of the underground. And we're going to pass through here, down to the next dungeon. Because there's not much going on here, so we just go to the next one. Nice earthquake, to remind us that the earth can shake. The 
Earth can shake. Indeed, can shake. Oops. There you go, next dungeon. So this is Roppongi. Remember Roppongi? In SMT1, which is where Alice was? Unfortunately, no Alice this time. However, this city has been taken over by the mutants, which are a weird species that's not quite a demon, but they're not quite uh, humans either. And they're a nation species, apparently, um, that used to worship the, the old gods, the old Japanese gods. And we're going to just go through here and meet a guy named Hiruko who wants to reconstruct the Masakaro who's a... who's a, a, a Japanese god <laughs> he's one of the Japanese gods that were kind of destroyed um, Masakaro in specific was cut up into pieces and all of his par all of his body parts were spread about in the underground so he's going to request to us uh, that we reconstruct Masakado so that we can help the mutants like regain their true form and you know not be a shunned species over here. Okay, I don't know. I don't wanna jinx it, but I don't know how I haven't gotten any encounters because this is a place where you get Nekomaras and bike riders all the time and they're really annoying because you have to talk to them you can't run away from them but so far pretty lucky okay very very lucky so there you go here's hiruko yeah radio alice spawns in fungi I'm pretty sure she can spawn anywhere. Yeah, no, she can spawn ever, anywhere, actually. I think I've I've had her in like Holy Town. Yeah, I think she, she can spawn ever. I think it if again. No, I, yeah, she can spawn anywhere. She can spawn anywhere. Anyway, here's Hiruko. He's like explaining the lore of their species. I'm kind of just not. In the. All I need to understand is like Masakado got sealed. Please help reconstruct Masakado, and we say yes. This, yeah, this part is actually pretty scary too, uh, coming up here. Uh, I've, I've died coming up to this place before. Yeah, which is why I saved, but I should be okay now. Um, yeah, one more fusion. Maybe I should, should probably save before this. Because I can die to the next fight. Okay, I'm going to now fuse. That's Kate Sif. Goodbye, Kate. Oops, not this. Kate Sif. And Demi Nandi. Fuse Bicorn. Oh, uh, yeah, Bicorn. I forgot about this fusion. Another part of the lore of the Manip. I actually, in my attempts, even while Manip, but before I included the, the Qsif Manip, I kept. I haven't talked about Fusion Exit, I was just thinking about that actually. I kept forgetting to get Demi Nandi, so I just get stuck by this point of the run. Because I, I wouldn't have the demon to fuse by. Point. But yeah, this game has fusion accidents. And uh, if they happen, not very nice as you can imagine. Uh, so thankfully that didn't happen and we now fuse a very strong sword that we'll be using until the end of the game. Now we equip the big sword. There you go. We are uh, we are now going to get drunk. That's a part of the speedrun that needs to happen. Yep, there's something that needs to happen. Let's get drunk. Getting drunk raises your stats, but after a full cycle, you get a hangover. Going to just heal up. Now I'm going to save just in case the fight, like the next fight, decides to be terrible. 
Should be okay though. The rest of the run should be okay. Okay, I'm going to Triesto now, which will put us outside of Roppongi. And there you go, we're going to walk to the first shrine where we'll get the first part of the Masakado. Yeah, Masakado is always in some weird circumstances. So this is what we're going to. This is what we're going to do. There's four shrines in different parts of the underground. This is the first one that we need to go to and fight this guy. There is an English translation for this game. Yeah. An unofficial one. It's not an official uh, translation. This guy, it's Sarata Hiko or something. I forget the name. You, you should know. You're the one fighting it. Yeah, I never remember the names of these demons. So, oh. so there's the thing. You notice how much EXP we're getting? This is the max amount of EXP possible. Yeah. What happened? Is this is basically the point where we get overpowered, and after this, we'll be pretty okay. We get so many points that it overflows the max and you see how it's one no it's not one it's actually uh what's my exadecimal this would be 17 17 points we need to put all of them basically we'll put two into magic for uh mute and uh the rest speed and for heroku we put all of it into intelligence so we can unlock a lot of uh, spells So now we're pretty okay. After this point, uh, we we're like not under leveled compared to every fight, so we should be okay. We're going to the next shrine. It's my favorite part of the run. Next shrine. <laughs> <laughs> like when we get that that much XP, it's really funny. I am OP now. See. Oh, uh, it wasn't C. It was one. So it was it was one zero and then F, which is why I said seventeen. It overflowed past the max hexadecimal uh, value. What do you mean zero magic? All that he that Hiroko does is oh oh you 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 yeah never mind no yeah. You, you don't really use any magic. Where am I? I feel like I took a wrong turn. Yeah, I definitely did. Whoops. Where am I? Can't believe I'm getting lost in a dungeon. What is this? Okay, see, see how a uh, mute is asleep. That's because mute is now. Uh, that's his hangover effect. He's good now. Look, there's a reason for that, I'll explain later. It'll be a reason everybody will enjoy. That's all I'm saying. Okay, so in this dungeon we warped everywhere and I need to find this little guy, little demon. I'm just hoping to see where it will spawn. Okay, I actually need to advance the moon cycle a little bit. It like the position where he spawns changes with the moon, so I need to end up at a moon age where he spawns 
in these places. Oh boy. It's not getting any. Oh, there it is. And am I going for? I'm going for a lot. Favorite SMT Persona game? Uh, my favorite SMT game is currently this one, SMT2. Favorite Persona game? Probably Persona 2 IS. But it changes. It kind of changes which one I'm playing the most. I can never like keep a favorite one. I'm get too attached to whichever I'm playing. Like I'm not sure if SMT2 is my favorite one, but it's definitely my favorite one currently. So there you go. We got another part of the Master Cutter, and off we go. Is it now that I come over here? I can come over here and here. I think. Do I have this already? No, I don't. Never mind. I get this later. Oh yeah, I get to set the the other place, the hole. I never played Persona 1, actually. I need to play that. Oh, you do? That's, that's a good one. I like, the, I like Persona 1. Alright, we're back in Wapongi just so we can use... Actually, we can. I'm out of MP. Never mind, we gotta warp. Okay. Gotta warp to Asakusa. Instead of uh, using trap words, slightly slower. Chaos has um, three more fights than Law. Neutral has five more fights than Law. I think. Yeah. To go to Arcadia for next. Um, have to do that next. So um, we head over here in in Asakusa. We exit the Asakusa region, and now we find this guy uh, who's just digging a hole, and he asks for help. So we are going to help dig the hole. Enjoy the digging. It's not all bosses in both games. Uh, all bosses has never been routed for SMT2. Unfortunately. Maybe one day. It'd be very, uh, it's a very long run, for sure. Yeah. And there you go, we have we are done digging, and we have found a pillar. I wonder what it will be for. Oh, oops. Alright, next shrine. This is another one where we're going to go through a dungeon and try to find a, a god that's like hiding away. Nice Minecraft speedrun, that's it. That's what I truly am, a Minecraft speedrunner. So the characteristic of this dungeon is that it has invisible walls. Everybody loves invisible walls. I think we kind of know the way around, so hopefully I don't get lost. Yeah, essentially it's neutral, but uh, you just... Do neutral has also not been routed. <laughs> yeah, you neutral for this game has not been routed. I will route it eventually. Both games, both SMT1 and SMT2 only had lore routed because it was the fastest until Sion came along and was like, Hey, I want to do Chaos and Neutral. A truly bad influence on everybody. Yeah. Okay, where's the god? What's up, god? Oh, never mind. Radio. There is. Has. I guess it, maybe a J Japanese runner has done it, and I don't know.
Oh, you mean for SMT1? Yeah, for SMT1. Oh, for SMT1 there had been other runs, yes. Yeah, the only other run, there was no Chaos runs, but there was neutral for SMT1. I think there was one Chaos run on Nico. Maybe. But it was like... There's there's actually runs of an RPG Maker remake of SMT1 on Nico video. <laughs> I haven't played that, but I think that's kind of cool, I guess. Maybe I need to hunt that down and maybe we can play it sometime. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, this is the last shrine, kind of. There's actually another one, but it's in a completely different area. This is the best one because you have uh, motion sickness. <laughs> yeah, motion sickness, yep. You just get. You know, gotta love moving force. In case you've forgotten what, you're do what we're doing, by the way, which I imagine you might, because we've been doing this for a while, we're hunting down the parts of the Masakado. Right now, uh, we have three of them. We need two more, like a leg and a head, I think. Something like that. I've actually died in this dungeon before, I think. It's kind of scary. How did you die in this dungeon? Died in like every dungeon. That's why I stopped running this game. <laughs> That's a great copy of pasta. There you go, that's the last one. Now we get another part of the Masakaru. Almost done with that. Almost done. The good thing about this one dungeon is that we can trap ward out. For the other ones, for some reason, you can't trap ward. I'm going to use a stone again, I'm going to heal up. So, how much of the run do you think is left? You're quite ahead of SMR. <laughs> a good chunk. Mm. Uh, I don't know if I'm ahead of SMR. I don't have a timer. Like an hour? No, over an hour. I guess so, because we haven't even over entered the, the Kai yet. Don't spoil uh, it. <laughs> don't spoil it. I'm sorry. I mean, it's kind of obvious that we're going to Makai, but you know. Uh, no, there's still a good chunk. There's still. Uh, we still have. A good. I mean, we still need to go to the factory and do the whole things in the factory oh, before yeah, we even true. go to Makai. Man, I forgot how fast. And we still need to get all the pillars. Okay. Um. A lot of, so yeah. A lot of juicy juiciness to come. Oh yeah. So right now I'm going to go through Arcadia, uh, and I'm going to go to the Valhalla passage because I need to go to the other entrance to the other ground to. Um, to get to another shrine. Oops. And the reason why we don't do this early is because the shrine just won't open up before um, before we talk to Hiroko and start the quest for all the Masakado parts. I don't think anyone ever finished the remake of uh, SMT1 in RPG. It was a, it was always a beta. Check on that. 
I haven't seen much about it in a long time. I mean, it's still quite a big game, trying to remake the whole thing. Yeah, for sure. Okay, this is the last shrine in here. We open this one and it's just a Buddha that's stoned and we use a this stone, we unstone it and there you go. You get the last part. Actually no, there's one more. <laughs> I just remember there's another one, never mind. There's another one. I always forget about this one. Okay, now we're trapped. Now we gotta go to Shinjuku. Now we're going to do the opposite path that we did to get here, which is we're going to go through Shinjuku to the Great Elevator in the Great Church. We're going to take it, uh, so we can go back to the Great Church, which is, which is faster than just going through Holy Town. And you're going to talk to this guy who has the Masakado's head. He just has it. There he is. He asks us if you want it. We say yeah. He asks for 20k and we say no. So we threaten him. And there you go. That's the good way to getting your things that you don't want to pay for. You just threaten the people. And now we have now we actually have all the parts. Finally. So we're gonna go to the Heractic Mansion and fuse them away. There you go. So you can actually see the head. <laughs> I, I just noticed this yesterday. You can actually see the head over there. I don't need the money. I'm good. It's kind of funny. I didn't, I didn't notice that. And there you go, this is a Masakado. But he's looking kinda... Bad. That's because... We're still missing... His soul. Hiro Hiroko has been holding his soul... In the hopes that somebody would reconstruct the body. So now we go back to Roppongi... To get the soul and like... Actually make... Masakado... Return to its original form. He looks dry. That is a good description. Okay, guys. A very dry man. This, there was a lot of backtracking. Kind of why I like SMT1 a little bit more than SMT2. This, this middle section sort of the game, is, there's a lot to it. It's a lot of going back and forth. Wouldn't you agree, Sion? I would agree. I would agree. <laughs> Just a lot. This is a lot. It's a much bigger and much longer game than SMT One. Fucked up. Uh, whoops. So what happened? Did you buy something accidentally? <laughs> whoops. I 
kind of traded the wrong items. So now I need to go grab an extra pearl. I happen to know where there one where there is one which is right here. Casually? Yeah, okay, I can understand. I, I can see that casually, I guess. Um, not taking like SMT ones as Stomer into account. Could I be SMT one way faster than I be SMT two? Like, I don't know if you did, Sion. <laughs> might be. I might just be the only only one, but SMT2 took me a much longer. Uh, I don't remember. Wait, where's the thing? It's right here, I think. Okay, there's a backup pearl here, cool. Cuz... Oh, there we go. So, I was going to the rags and we trade a bunch of jewels for demons, and I traded the wrong ones, so I wouldn't have been able to get Hundine, which we need for one of the fusions. Yeah, it's crucial. Thank god you knew where the backup one was. Almost tells me that oh, this yeah. has happened before. Has this happened before? I don't think it has, but I, like, we get one of the pearls on Manip, so I knew I had that. So usually we don't grab this pearl, but we used to get grab this pearl before Manip, so I knew it was here. Okay, so now let me actually read turquoise and pearl. Undyne, okay, cool. See? Just so easy to fix. Nothing to worry about. All good. Run saved. On to recovering the soul. Yeah, run saved. If not, I would have had to go on a wiki and see where all the jewels are. Uh, I went and got a pearl in this dungeon, which normally we don't get. So there we go, we are back at Hiroko. And the soul of the Masakado is returning to its body, and look at that! The clothes even changed. Yep. And he's, very, he's very thankful to be recovered and just asks us to go and take him to the place where the other Japanese gods were entrapped. So that's where we're going now. Yeah, I mean, you basically just set the speed run right there. Get yeah, Kushinada and win game. So how are you feeling, Sam? The marathon, five hours, almost yeah, five hours in. I'm good. Feeling, good. feeling okay. Yeah, not tired at all. The coffee's helping. My back kind of hurts, but that's about it. Make sure your posture is good. Yes, I have a a pillow on my back. <laughs> that's about it. So that is this is the entrance to the the jail of the Japanese gods, and Masakaro helps uh, asks us to help. Uh, freedom but we don't because it's not necessary so whatever we're we're out of here thank you Hiroko uh, thank you for the pillar this is why we do the entire thing uh, the Masakado gives us one of the pillars thank you Masakado and goodbye this was cool we're going to put one of the pillars in one of the altars just so we don't have to come around here next time and that's it we are out of here, I'm going to a Soma again. Look at me remembering to a Soma, it's like I'm an actual real speedrunner. And not forgetting and then getting an encounter and only then remembering to a Soma. Yeah. I'm so proud of myself. I miss it, in the, I think in the later games. Where like it would tell you when it wears off. <laughs> Cause it doesn't tell you when it wears off here and it's so easy to forget. So, now that you're done with this, we are going to go back to Holy Town. See the situation. It's been a while since we've seen Zane, 
knowing when things are going on, so let's come here, let's save. Don't even need to save, but can never save too much in in the marathon run. Gonna go over here. Hello, Shiner. Good to see you again. So, letting people know about the center and their evil doings. And now, we're gonna go to the Great Church because we're gonna do something that, you know, casual you wouldn't know. But we know for a fact that we need to go to Makai through a different entrance, uh, through the entrance of the Great Church. Uh, so, remember in the beginning of the game when we defeated Hanada and he used these dolls to open a portal to Makai? That he was trying to use to summon demons because he actually used the wrong doll. So instead of you know creating a door to Makai where you could enter and leave, instead he should just summoned one random demon that killed him. But we kept those dolls. So now we're going to use those to create an entrance to Makai so we can go there and get one of the spirits that will help us in the next part of the game. Off we go inside, walking through Holy Town. So, and why are all the or the buildings orange in this game? Why do they all have to be orange and yellow? Um, uh, after the apocalypse, they could only find orange and yellow bricks, so they use those. But the interior is always a different color. That's because they painted the interior. Genius. <laughs> That's a good answer. <laughs> Anyways, this guy is very frustrated because he's also trying to open the door to the Makai. He can't figure it out because he only has one of the doll, one of the dolls. We have another four of them, so he take the one doll that he has, which happens to be the last correct doll that we were missing. So now we can actually open the door to Makai that we can go through, which is nice and convenient. It's not even the, the real Makai, it's just the temporary Makai. Oh, yeah, the temporary. There you go. Have this co very convenient looking room where you can put the dolls. First doll in the altar. Second doll in the altar. Third one. And this was the one that uh, Hanada put and almost got him... No, literally got him killed. So it didn't really work out. So we put the correct one. And there you go. We got it. We got it. An entrance. Welcome to Makai. So this spirit over here is looking for his long lost lover who's been imprisoned by the center to sing and brainwash every worker of the factory to work themselves to death. I wonder where we've heard this. It's almost like the Messiah Church was also working their workers to death before the millennium. I'm very surprised they kept doing that. You would have you would have thought that they you know turn good. Hmm. Because that's normally what happens, right? People turn good, especially when it comes to worker exploitation. But anyways, uh, now we know that the siren is in the factory brainwashing everybody so we go to the factory and try to deal with that situation. But I wonder where the siren is. Hmm, we have to go and figure that out. Uh, 
Did you miss uh, the factory? It's been a while since we've been here. I think we go back and forth in the other dungeons a lot more than oh, the factory. Uh, the factory. Well, why did they make it so that you have to go up and down it so many times? It's not <laughs> this is like the only map in the game that I memorized because you have to do it so much. <laughs> So we're gonna go down the mines, but instead of going down to where Battle Goose was the other time, uh, we're going to this underground prison. The Messiah sure has a lot of underground prisons, don't they? Kind of goes against their very pure, safe image of kindness and goodness. Hmm. But anyways, there's another underground prison. Apparently they're just arresting people like crazy. And... You're not gonna guess who we're going to find over here. That's right, it's our friend Shiner, it's been so long since we've last seen him. How are you doing, buddy? He's also trying to figure out why people are getting arrested, and... Worst of all, when you try to rescue them, they refuse to come out. They have the same Stockholm Syndrome thing that Hiro Hiroko had when we rescued her way early in the game. And that's because, just like we found out, there's the siren that's brainwashing people and apparently she's over at a tower so we need to go to the tower I think... did I stoma? I hope I stoma oh I'm coming up on the on the cycle actually I need to, I need, I'll need to resummon unicorn so now did you all notice that there was a big tower over here? Probably not. Because the game does a very good job on just not addressing it at all. So now, we're going to ascend the tower to try and rescue the siren. But, uh, I need my maps over here because I don't know the layout. There's a lot of floors on this tower. It's a very big tower. Phew, what a workout, so many stairs. And now we finally got to the last floor, which is the 13th floor. This is the one where we can actually get encounters. And our friend Zane is going to be right over here, but I know that as soon as I talk to him, I'm going to get sent to that fight, so I'm going to summon everybody. I forget I'm going to use the stone again. It's new moon. There you are. How are you doing, Shiner? You're not looking so good. Kinda looking beat up. So Belfagor over here is the caretaker of this tower, kind of. He makes sure that everybody that comes over here um, that doesn't disturb the siren because they're kind of abusing the siren. So now we have to take care of him. Now. 
That is a demon on the toilet, yes. There you go. Fun fact about this fight. For some reason, um, Hiroko's max HP gets locked to 90 even though it was maximum 118 before this fight and i don't know why that happens but it just happens every time and he makes the following like the next fights a lot harder so that's very great very nice of the the game to ha act like that so now that balfagor is defeated we can head to the siren room and there she is looking so sad thankfully but we brought over her lover from Makai and there you go she she shut up so nobody else would get brainwashed that was nice get Hecate back and we trap works one more time. You're going to be so excited about what we're about to do again. I'm not even gonna guess what it was. First of all, I'm going to return Undyne because I don't need it anymore. Um, after that though, we are going to descend the factory mines again. Isn't that cool? Hope you've all memorized the layout because I sure have. What, what, how many times is this now? This is the third time, which is not even that many, compared to how many times we go through Holy Town, like to the way to the Great Church. Um, <laughs> two times too many. Oops. And this time we're actually going to be like down to the bottom where Battle Goose was. Where the Manip got killed. But it all worked out in the end. That's all that matters. Call the dog, he's in a better place. Whoops. Where am I? I've never gotten lost here. Well, I made it, it's fine. <laughs> There you go, there's a very thankful worker over here that gives us one of the pillars. And we are out of here. So we're back in Hoi Town. As soon as we arrive, we talk to the television over here and we find out that the center is calling for Shiner to go back to the center because if he doesn't, they're going to kill everybody in Hoi Town. So Shiner is a good guy, he doesn't want anybody to die. I wonder if I can make it. Hopefully. 
so he says that he's going back to Holy Town and settling things with the elders of the center. No, that's so unfortunate. So I need to enter <laughs> at full moon, and it was full moon, but unfortunately, I'm gonna have to advance in the cycle. This time loss. Yeah, Shiner does what's best for the people. Yep. <laughs> That's true. We'll definitely see this that by the end of this uh, this speedrun for sure. He'll only do what's best for the people. He won't kill anybody for sure. Anyways, we enter a full moon. First thing we do is we go to the bar so we can get drunk again. Getting drunk is an essential part of this speedrun. If you're not drinking right now, what are you doing? You should be drinking. By the way, I wonder who this person, this blonde man over here, that's not you. Uh, I wonder who this blonde man is. He kind of looked like uh, Louis Cypher. A little bit, I, I think so. I'm not quite sure though. Hmm. Mm. I wonder who he is. What? Well, anyways. Who's this Louis you speak of? So we head to the junk shop. <laughs> I'm going to buy one gold pill just in case. You can never have too many gold pills. And as we leave, the shopkeeper gives us another pillar. How convenient. So trap words. And would you look at that? It's full moon. And you know what that means? What does that mean, Tim? Do you know what that means? Uh, means you get turned into a werewolf? No, it doesn't. Uh. Uh, yeah, close. before I tell what it means, I need to go Fuse Freya, though. So we're going to Fuse Freya. Who's a high school girl? Louis Cypher is a high school girl? Yeah, maybe. Okay, we got Freya. Cool. Does it mean boss time? No, it means something so much better. It means it's disco time. You see, at every full moon, a dancing competition is held at the disco, and the prize this time is a pillar. So we need to participate. There you go, everybody's dancing furiously. And it is time for us to hop into the competition. You see, because we put two points into magic and we got drunk, which raised us our stats, we have enough magic stats to win the competition. Let's dancing, everybody! Let's dancing. And there you go, we won! Congratulations! Off we go. Good job, Sock. Unfortunately, yeah, our, our dancing... <laughs> Thank you! I was very proud of myself. Let's go to Arcadia. Alright, let's save here. So we got the pillar, but that's not what's important, because Zane has Zane. I mean Shiner. Uh, Shiner said he was going to face the elders by himself, and we can't allow that. So we need to go back to the center and see if we can help him out. Back to the center. Oops. 
So now we're going to finally ascend the tower. May have forgotten about a stone. But I'm going to use a stone just in case. Yeah, that's what I end up doing. It's just always using it, <laughs> no matter what. I'm so scared of forgetting about it. It's really hard to keep track of. Especially Actually, I was just summoning at New Moon, I think. So I'm going to a stone again. <laughs> there you go. Sam's favorite fight coming up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely. So the guards over there were saying that Shiner was up ahead. He's up to no good again. Nice earthquake. Yeah, radio call, radio knows. Yeah, he knows. So this first elder tells us that uh, the other elders are up for no good and we should go and stop them. And all of a sudden this wall just pops out of the wall and decides to ask us some philosophical questions like, um, would you save your mom? I forget what they are actually. It's like something to do with your mother, something to do with some punishments. Um, anyways, wall. Well, Cool. Just let us through, please. Yes, thank you. Alright, goodbye. We need to see if Shiner's doing okay. <laughs> An encounter right before the last style. Yeah, so Shiner got turned into stone, so he's not doing very well. I'm going to summon Cerberus, I'm going to summon Freya, and off we go. And it seems like the Elders, uh, they're not acting very, you know, they kind of turned our buddy into stone, so we're going to fight them. And it turns out that the Elders are the very old Archangels. Look, would you look at that? So now we get we have the privilege of facing both Raphael and Yurio, my best friend Yurio, at the same time. Let's see how this goes. I have died here before. I have- I've certainly died here before, I can just preface this by, by saying that. Very RNG fight. I just kinda hope that they- they play nice. And it's manageable after you kill one, it's just both of them together, it's pretty scary, so hopefully they don't heal themselves too much. Oof. I'm having to do every turn manually. Oops, yeah. not this. It's already a pretty slow fight. Uh, it's, it's not good. Uh, that's one? Okay, Yurio. Yurio. My good friend Yurio. Don't do this to me, bro. We're friends. There you go! There you go! Very nice, Yurio. Okay, so we're going to max speed for uh, Mute, we're going to max intelligence for Hiroko, and then we finally change the point assignments. We're going to put, start putting points into strength so we get beefier, and we're going to start putting points into vitality so Hiroko doesn't die as often. But there's one more elder, it's Michael. He was just chilling, watching the other elders dying over there, doing his own thing. He decided to finally intervene.
this one is not as scary because it's just micro. Yeah, it isn't. It's just one. Just micro. Yeah. Which is like the opposite of SMT1 where Michael is a very scary fight. Here he's just like, whatever. Whatever, Michael, you do your thing. There seems to be one Archangel missing. I wonder where he is. Hmm. Mm. Thinking emoji. What boy would that be? Hmm. I think the name starts with a G. Yeah, it's God. <laughs> Talking about God, guess who decided to show up? That's right, it's God, kinda. Hello, God. He's asleep. Sleep. Oh, shh. Uh, hello, God. Kind of chill, God, a little bit. Can can we chill? There we are. We're about to kill God. Oh, wow, Baroko. Freya's about to die, whoops. Don't die, Freya. There you go, we killed God! Yay, yeah, GG's people. All <laughs> no, no. in a day's worth. Turns out that was a fake God. Now we can't tell them that, they don't know you there. We, they don't know, like... A mute thinks that this was a real god. It's like, oh, cool, we killed God. That's that's fine. That's that's awesome. I mean, the game doesn't end. Like, I mean. yeah, the game doesn't end though. Yeah. I wonder what that could possibly mean. Anyway, the elders are dead. The false god that was being praised by the the elders are dead. And look who the other elder is. It's Gabriel. And Gabriel explains to us that the other, like the other archangels, they were so set on bringing about the Thousand Year Kingdom that they got lost in their way and started praising a false god instead of praising the real god. Gabriel, however, always only followed the real god's orders, um, which is why he wasn't in on their plan and didn't approve of, you know, stoning the Shiner and all. So Shiner is now the leader of the center, but as soon as we finish all this, we find out that something's happening in Holy Town because there's always something happening in Holy Town. So we gotta go there and investigate, see what's happening. Just a, a big energy source seems to be popping out of the ground, kind of. So off we go. Now Hiroko has Traports and the Stoma. So Hackett, you've done most of your job in this run, thank you for your efforts. But now we kinda don't need you anymore. We will need you at one point, I'll say I'll say that. For the most part we don't need you. If you're playing this casually, make sure that you spam I think it's B or A during these uh, terminal sequences. I didn't know that, uh, and then I did my first. I think I learned this girl, or I did my first speed run not knowing that. So I lost like 10 seconds every time that you went through the terminal. Oh, yeah, like, the animation is pretty long. Yeah, I didn't realize the animation was skippable at all. Nice bomb. It actually consumes RNG, so when you're going through those transfers, you want to. Um, like press on the first frame to or uh, if you don't you will consume too much RNG. Yeah turbo turbo is very handy in these games. I don't know if you mentioned that I'm using turbo but turbo is allowed for JRTA so definitely definitely recommended if you want to save your wrists but only from all the mashing. Y X L and R. No Y, no Y. X. Y breaks the game. <laughs> Has to be no, X. I'm just saying all of those are oh. allowed for turbo. You can't turbo. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The up button, like in SMT1. <laughs> it ruins the game. Don't do that. 
Okay, I'm trying to see when the hangover effects pass because I want to use the stoma. But there's still hangover. Well, it should be okay, whatever. Yeah, I think you're fine. So as soon as we get here, we see this drill thing popping out of the ground. And, you know, you can see it for yourself. There's a whole cutscene. Wonder that wonder what that could be. Nice encounter. Damn, I didn't last at all. <laughs> I was hoping that I'd last a little longer because I'm trying to see if I can get the close effects to go away. I might just summon hack it. Because I can't use trap words. While I'm close. Yeah, close sat status is essentially like a silence. You can't use magic. Alright, we are off to do our last fusion. Wait, not this. We can fuse Cerberus, Unicorn, and Ichka for Naragiri. That's it. That's the last fusion. Well, that's fusion that you do. Sure, yes. If you're counting the other fusion. See, my logic was that the elevators weren't hit full, even fusion cutscenes weren't hit full. Why would the terminal see? <laughs> <laughs> because the game is just unpredictable like that. You never know. That's true. So, <laughs> we watched the thing happening, the weird drill, uh, and there's an elder in Roppongi that told us, oh, I feel that there will be a giant drill drilling up Toy Town at one point, come talk to me whenever that happens, and that seems to have happened, so we're gonna go and talk to him, see what happens. I didn't save, I should have saved that in Roppongi, but... I'll just walk back, it's fine. Oh, that's the wrong floor, whoops. Here he is. And he explains to us that the weird drill is actually the demon king Moloch. It's his tail that just drilled up from Makai to the real world and created that, that weird thing. It's just his tail. Not that it's any reassurance, but you know, at least we know what it is. Uh, and he gives us the last pillar, so we have all the pillars that we need. Well, what's the way back? I think it's like... Here, I'm not used to doing this on like the other way around. Yes, yeah, those, okay. those pillars that we've been collecting for like most of the game. <laughs> Finally, gonna put those to use. As you see, the center tells us that if we if we need to settle, if we need to. Finally, put the world to peace. 
we need to finally enter the realm that we haven't been to yet, Makai. Yeah. And the, the one entrance to Makai is through the portal that uses the pillars. You gotta put all the pillars in the altars. And that opens the door, kind of. It's not really a door. The portal. Yeah. The portal will be the best description. So finally, all of those pillars are being put to, to good use. That's the final one. And now a big head pops up. To put the pillar on the head. There it is. There's a head. We put the last pillar, the pillar that we got from Asakado, on the head. And there you go. Off to Makai. This is the best song in the game. So it's so good to finally get to hear it. And look who it is! It's Steven, but in real life he's not just in the program or something. Good to see you again, Steven. He activates this portal so he can save and like do stuff. Thank you, Steven. I'm going to save over here, it's kind of important. to the stoma oh and the sending cycle of course it's a sending cycle so we want to traverse through Makai and our first challenge will be to defeat Hecate which can only be defeated at new moon so we need to advance the moon cycle so we can enter the cross path over there. A little passage thing. I hate this boss. <laughs> Yo, they, they, Why? It's it's free. It, it can instant kill you. That never happens. Oh, in glitched it does. <laughs> There's nothing like jinxing your your next step. This song is such a banger. I'm going to summon our demons, got Freya, got Naragiri. Here's the first fight. So it's new moon, so we can fight it. Uh, this fight lasts for like two turns. All we need to happen is the first turn can't be moved on. If it's moved on, we die. If it's not moved on, we leave. Okay, so it'll be three turns, but as long as none of them are moved on, we're fine. Easy. See? Easy fight. Nobody ever dies. So in order to go to the next part of Makai, which is Tifre, we need to collect two keys which are held by uh, two of the generals, I guess you could call them. First general is Diamat. Um, pretty sure has charm, so hopefully no charm. That'll be pretty cool. If charm, dangerous. Okay. 
Easy. Okay. That's one down. Do you move faster when you mash the D-pad? No. No need for that. In, in two. Two, you just move fast all the time. Yeah, thank god that's only a thing in SMT1. <laughs> oh yeah, that reminds me. Hey Radio, how, how is your wrist doing? Poor guy hurt his wrist and then never recovered. <laughs> it's true. SMT1 is brutal. Still recovering. Great song. All right. So kind of just like Hecate, this fight can only be fought at full moon. This is one of the ones that make me that you know make me glad that this game is in Japanese because the dialogue in this part of the game isn't very PG. Uh, so yeah, uh, we're going to fight Master Therion. I'm pretty sure he also has charm, so please don't charm me. Thank you. Points into strength, points into vitality. Slowly but surely getting stronger, and we finally get the second key, meaning we can advance to Tifreth. I'd say at this point, this is kind of like the uh, one hour left point. Maybe a little bit later on. The run. Yeah, maybe even less. There's not a lot left. Oh yeah, I don't think counting the credits. Oh yeah, the credits. <laughs> the credits are quite something. <laughs> Alright, we got to TFREF. We're going to save here because there's going to be some 
uh, war exposition. I sure hope I remember what they say because I kind of don't right now. What's this to do with like the resurrection thing? Uh, not yet, not yet. Resurrection is after. Uh, no, kind of actually. So we try to enter the next dungeon, and Gimmo, who says themselves to be a server of Lucifer, who's like the the big guy. It's like the leader, not the leader, like the regent, the monarch of Makai. It says that Gimo is taking us to me, Lucifer, who you're not gonna believe it's actually Louis Cypher. What Louis Cypher was Louis it was uh, Lucifer all along? That's crazy. Anyways, what's up, Lucifer? Looking beautiful as always. Um, he explains to us that he's been feeling that Satan, which is God's eternal weapon of judgment, is about to revive and he would thought that possible we could beat satan but after meeting us personally he doesn't feel like we are because basically satan has two parts you got seth which is the demon part and you got a human part that's like a very strong human so he thought we could be satan but no doesn't seem to be but lucifer says that he wants to go and defeat satan and for that when satan inevitably uh, revives that is uh, and for that he asks for our help but doesn't want to rush us, so we could go back and decide. And now Gimmo very nicely put us, puts us in a completely different place, which is not where we were, so thank you Gimmo. I love it when I'm somewhere, and then I'm just taking somewhere completely different, like I, I haven't been traversing the Makai for the last 20 minutes. Thank you Gimmo. It's kind of like when someone enters your room and the door's closed, and then they leave and they don't close the door, like the door was closed, close the door. Thank you for leaving us there Gimmo. So anyways, Gabriel shows up and takes us to Eden, which is where Zane, is, I mean Shiner is. Um, and Shiner explains that he wants to help the people and that Lucifer is actually planning of destroying people because he's against humans and he only wants to preserve demon kind. So he asks for our help. And you know, we, we know Shiner, he's been helping us, so we say yes. We say yes mostly because this is a law speedrun, so we gotta say yes. But you know, we know Shiner, he's never, he would never want anything bad for people, right? So we say yes, and right now we are locked into a law. It's not only the quickest, it's also the safest. I can't stress enough how chaos is not safe. It is not safe. So we are locked into law as of now. We're gonna go back to where we were. This is why we save in T3F. Because if we hadn't saved, then, you know, we'd just be here forever. And look, is this Louis Cypher? But it's there, you know, a redhead. Who is this person? Why is Astroth there? Did you come back? Like, do you want to get revenge for when I kicked your ass in SMT1? So, you know, yeah, he's mad. I don't remember why. I think he he's like, no, there's no way you could be the half of Satan or the Messiah. You're just some dude. I'm going to defeat you to prove that. Turns out we're a little more than just some dude. Oh, whoops, not charm. Oh, the charm wore out. Okay, cool. I'm supposed to move. GG's, goodbye Astro. And now, Astro's like, Oh, you know what, you're actually pretty strong. Maybe you could be strong enough to uh, return me to my original form, which is like two demons, it's Ishtar and the other. Uh, what's the other one? It should say there. I only saw Ishtar. Well, never mind. And But because he was mean to us, he doesn't get turned back into whatever. Maybe he should think about his actions, like not accuse people of being weak and such. So anyways, um, Lucifer was right about the whole... I did get into incense, yes, I got that drop. Um, 
it might be a star date. Yes, it might be. I don't remember, but that sounds familiar. Lucifer was right about the whole Satan being possibly getting revived soon, because Seth, which is the demon part of Satan, has awakened after a, a long slumber and has left its temple and is, you know, now searching for his human house, so that should be exciting. Oh well, we got other things to do. So we're going to advance through our Makai exploration. And as soon as we try to enter this place, we get sucked into a hole, this weird, you know, another thing. And would you look at that, we are inside the demon. really gross texture on the wall. It's great. They reuse it in uh, SMTF, I believe, this texture. It reuse yeah. a lot of stuff in NF. It's yes. definitely one of the textures. Okay, I need to drink some water because the info dump is soon. Are you ready for the the info dump? So we are inside Abaddon. Remember when Abaddon uh, swallowed up Valhalla? Yeah, but remember more, most importantly that Mikado once talked to us when we got here with the Roku and we were supposed to go back to some city and then Abaddon got slows. Yeah, Mikado is still here. He was still waiting for us. And now that we have Hiroko, he's ready to tell us the truth. And here is the truth. So, Makara and Hanada were both scientists for the center, and the center wanted to create a messiah to bring about the Thousand Year Kingdom. Uh, but because the messiah never came, they decided to create the body and hope that God would provide the soul of the messiah. And we are the messiah that was created, uh, you know, through top, uh, a state-of-the-art technology of cloning. But not only are we the messiah, uh, all of the people that we've met so far are also fake human, fake quote unquote. They're also like clone humans that were created just to assist in our fight. So um, the elf was supposed to be anti messiah that, that was like an obstacle that we were supposed to uh, defeat. Beth uh, was supposed to be uh, the our eternal partner that was made to help us out the entire time. Um, uh, Shy, uh, you know, Zane Shiner was supposed to, to be our bodyguard and Gimmel was just there. <laughs> I don't remember what Gimel was supposed to be. Uh, but us, we were supposed to be special because we were supposed to be the Messiah. So we weren't just created like artificially like the others. Uh, we were actually birthed. So we, like the egg was put into a woman and that woman is Hiroko. So Hiroko is our mother. So after we were birthed, we were put into a pod that would age us faster and then we became the Messiah. But Makata realized that the center was going to use that for like nefarious uh, purposes uh, and decided to uh, erase our memories and just throw us into Valhalla so the center could never get us back. But the center, uh, <laughs> the center realized his plans very quickly and he couldn't even erase Hiroko's memories completely so he had to just run away. So we were actually the baby that Hiroko had been looking for the entire time. Did I miss anything? Oh, and uh, he got, and then um, Makata got swallowed by Abaddon. He's been trying to hold on the entire time, but now that he got to tell us the truth, he gave us the Mac Presser, which will make us be able to materialize Abaddon's soul or a heart, not soul. 
uh, that will fight right now and then he died. So yeah, that was it for them. Hope you enjoyed it. I certainly enjoyed it. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, Hiroko is his daughter. <laughs> I can't believe I missed that. Yeah, Hiroko is Makata's daughter, yes. Quite the twist. Boss always just freaks me out at the start. Because they have all this, like that. Um thing with all the, the holes close together. I don't like it. Oh yeah yeah, trypophobia or something. Yeah, a hero also got her memories erased. Everybody get this gets their memories erased. And now Abaddon tells us that it was actually the center that ordered it to swallow up Valhalla. But oh well, Abaddon is destroyed, we were spit out, and we can now continue on with the dungeon action in the map. Okay. I think this category is better than Glitch just because I get to do the info dump, which is so funny. Glitch is better because the it's... info faster. No, 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 no. But you don't get to experience all of these beautiful dungeons. Walked right into the NPC. And that's time for one of my favorite parts of the game, actually. I really like this section. Do you? I think it's super cool that we, we find like what? Um, 12? 12 different, 12 bosses, it's pretty cool. But before then, we need to do something else. Oh yes. I'm going to save, because we need to trap over here after. I'm gonna go back to everybody's favorite place, Arcadia. I was about to say, it goes for that part in Glitch too, you don't skip that. <laughs> you could still get the info dump. Yeah, that's true, that is true. You, you do get the info dump. But it makes even less sense, because you just... <laughs> you don't go through, like, any of the two hours before then. What are you talking about? Law is totally the good side. I mean, we're siding with Zane, that always does the good for his people. Oh yeah, Zane's very good. I mean, <laughs> you think Shiner would ever hurt anybody? He never killed any of my runs, that's for sure. Anyways, back. To the center, we're going to ru like we're going to climb the whole tower. Whoops! Again. So the next couple bosses coming up, if, if it was a glitch to run, you'd actually skip them. Yes. Well, you'd only skip 9 of the 12, but there are 12 bosses coming up. It sounds like a lot, but they go by fast. It's still a lot though, but they do go by fast. <laughs>
All right, so we climbed the entire tower so we could get to Eden, which is uh, the center's paradise, right at the top of the tower. And a lot of people are hanging around here, people that were rescued by Zane. I mean, Shiner. And now we get to meet Shiner. Hello, how are you doing, my friend? Why are you in this weird circle place? And Shiner says, Oh, I just remembered my purpose in life. You see, I'm going to reunite myself with my other elf. And we're like, what? What do you mean you're going to reunite yourself with your other half? And then Shiner says, Oh, you see, I'm actually Satan. He's actually Satan. You ever find out that your, uh, the person you've been traveling with is actually your mother and your best friend is actually Satan in the same day? Quite the day. Well, now we're going to fight 12 bosses. Yeah, Satan's pretty OP and is the, one of the reasons why lore is also much safer than uh, Chaos. Satan owns. Satan is incredibly strong. It's He's incredibly strong. He's supposed to be strong because he's, you know, God's eternal weapon of judgment or whatever. But he's so strong. How old is Elf? Like six years old or something. <laughs> like probably even less. A couple months old. So the first thing we're going to be doing is buying um, items. These items are very important for the speedrun because this is basically the way that we defeat the last boss fights. We're going to buy a bunch of rosaries, which are automatically revival items. Yeah, you don't have these in SMT1, unfortunately. So these items, yeah, essentially, when you're. It only does your uh, um, human characters, right? Uh, yes, I think so. Yeah, so it's basically an item, so when your human characters die, they just get instantly rezzed in the fight. Uh, and we're just gonna buy a bunch of those. We're gonna need a lot of them. But it doesn't... Does it work with, uh... It doesn't work with instant kill spells, though, right? There's something it doesn't work with. I don't think he works with instant skills, yes. Yeah, I think you can still get, uh, move up and die, but die by any other means. We'll just get instantly rezzed and be ready for the next turn. Because there is the, the last boss of this particular area that we're in can have a chance to uh, use instant death on you. Yeah. There's a slight chance that you can die. So Satan over there is using a spell called Death Bounce. You might be familiar with it if you've played any SMT games or any Persona games. And it's an extremely strong physical skill that just wipes the floor with everything. Death Bounce is pretty great. It costs a high amount of HP, but uh, we just keep, keep them topped up with uh, yeah. uh, healing. It's all good. I kind of do miss uh, the, this style of like uh, six parties and there's two rows. Sorry, six party members and there's two rows. Yeah, instead of four. Yeah. yeah, I do kind of miss that. And that that you input all of your commands before the turn actually happens. Mm -hmm. I, I, do, I do miss that. I mean, wouldn't exactly work with the press turns. Yeah, no, I, I guess press turns are pretty cool. Yeah, so. Press turns is a very unique, uh, like, battle system. But this is also pretty cool. I mean, it could have worked in, like, um. Could have worked in like, Strange Shirt or something. Uh, SMT4 has Press Yeah, ones. I haven't played that one. Strange Journey is the same as this, but four party member, yeah, I think. Instead of six. Yeah. I like the idea of having a back row and a front row. I don't know. And having more demons in your party is always cool. Six. 
Six is more than four, indeed. <laughs> it's better. Six is better than four. You get more demons. Yes, six is a bigger number than four, therefore Sorry, better. I'm <laughs> Yeah, every time I play an SMT game, I'm like, oh no, how am I going to fully enjoy this game? They don't have the 12 generals. <laughs> the one. Not the 12 generals. Persona 5 Royal, man, it was pretty good, but just the 12 generals. No, <laughs> no 12 generals. 0 out of 10. Yeah. So this is the one exceptional um, fight where we actually use an instant kill spell and it just instantly kills. And that's it. Uh, because they, re Z1 like, this one repels... This one repels physical, so we can't use death bone or whatever. Yeah. They would kill him. So how many have we gone through now? I told you they go by through fast. Like you get through these guys. Really uh, fast. we have, including this one, we have five left. Okay. It'd be cool for them to. I don't know. Depending on how S and T five is, we'd love to see either S and T one or S and T two just be remade. I think it'd be really cool. I would have preferred that. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. You wouldn't have I don't know. Remake, like an actual full remake. Not like a remaster, like Nocturne, but like a full remake. I don't know. It's kind of unnecessary. I mean, there's so many versions of this game. As long as they localize them. It's not even out in English. There's only an official patch. I mean. They just localize the English. Dude, every time they try to remake these games, they make them worse. True, it has it has been remade, but I want another remake. <laughs> Maybe Why? One that actually <laughs> They're going works to make them properly. worse. No, I I wouldn't trust them. No. I just to localize these versions. No, I wouldn't. It has been remade so many times. They No, they haven't remade it. They no. they remade <laughs> no, they haven't. They remade it for iOS, they remade it for PSX, they remade it for GBA. What? If you count SMT1, you got an, a Mega CD version, you got a PC Engine version, you got an SFC version, you got a, an iOS version, you got a GBA version, okay, you got okay, a PSX okay. version. So like, How many versions do you need? I want a, a newer version. <laughs> Cause I SMT2? Well, yeah, SMT2. Funny you say. Wait a second. Funny you say that SMT2 Virtual Boy port. SMT2 has been ported to the Virtual Boy every time. Every time. It's just never been localized. It's on the 3DS. It's on the the Wii. It's on the Wii U. It's it's, it's now on the Switch online service. They just never localized them. Let me go heal up. Do a 2022 SNES release, yeah. I mean, people won't be upset about that. They'll, they'll Pe buy it. People would buy yeah, it. People would buy it. Oh yeah, it says Virtual Boy. My bad. Yeah, <laughs> I read that as Virtual Console. Yeah, you know what? Maybe Virtual Boy would work right alongside with the uh, Jack Bros. I just want, I like. I really like the characters in this game. I like their designs. I'd like to see them in uh, 3D, shell shaded kind of style. Even though the pixel art I... is great, uh, the pixel art is great. But I also like to see their, them take a crack at this game in like a 3D shell shaded. But style. see, I wouldn't like this game if it was if it wasn't a first person dungeon crawler. I just like first person dungeon crawlers better. This was a very fast fight, by the way. This fight doesn't yeah, usually go by that fast. There's the 12 bosses that we were talking about, they're all dead now. Oh yeah, that's all. GG's. See, that would be great if they also localize them with SMC5, but I don't think... I just don't think Atlas is going to do it. I, I just don't think they'll do it. And if they did... I mean... Would they keep it on Switch? It's kind of a waste. 
Like, you think they just put it on PC as well. They're starting to put all of their IPs on PC. But anyways... I'm always hopeful for a, an English version, but... You know. might be controversial but maybe when they remake it they could uh -oh. tone down the, the counter rate just a little bit just just a smidge just a little nah, bit that would ruin it. Counter I you know, need I free follow-up encounters just a little bit less. <laughs> you need free follow-up encounters okay i guess i'm just not a true collection on fan. switch uh, not on switch on steam would be incredible just um if one two collection be great you can leave if out i mean it doesn't really need to no <laughs> i mean what collection. people <laughs> yeah radio i knew you'd mention it yeah no worries i did i did it for you um people like if better like they know of if better than other games just because they like people know it as quote unquote Persona Zero it has nothing to do with Persona. It's like a completely different style of game. But I understand why people say it. It's like more character focused, I guess. It's, set in a, it's a great game too. It's, it's, it's set in a hot, yeah. I mean, okay. <laughs> it's a it's good a game. game. That. It's a rushed game, but it's a good game nonetheless. It's a game. If it's okay, I guess. It's a, it's a good game. Play if. After I playing mean, one, I, mean, and... I have played if I have the world record in the game. So I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to the oh, people. Okay. I know you have world record. All right. I just yeah, want, no, I just you played. You <laughs> you never played the game, but you have world record anyways. Where are we now, Sion? In the, in the <laughs> where are we? Okay, so we continue on inside Makai. We're on the way to Catherine Castle, which is the castle in which Lucifer is. And now we're going through like the other, like the, the last dungeon needed to go through. So we get there. I wonder who's guarding this very interesting dungeon. Hmm. Everyone's favorite demon. Everyone's favorite demon. Okay, so like, DDS is great, but it doesn't. Uh, a remaster. Okay, said so remaster, not remake. I suppose a DDS remaster would be fine, especially yeah. considering they're getting rid of the PSN uh, store. Yes, definitely. Which, by the way, sucks majorly. I'm still mad about that that they're getting rid of the store. It's so bad for speedrunning. So many games rely on that store for the um, the fastest version of their game, and the game's physical copies are also really expensive. So here's Mara. Nothing to see here, just a very normal demon. actually demon paralyzes you. Yeah, I just had to. It always paralyzes you, like at the beginning of the, the fight. But you can avoid that, right? You can, if you have like 15 magic or in, you avoid the paralyze. Yes. Yes, it's one of those. You can't avoid, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, it still gets owned. Uh, for some reason, Mars is really acting up, and has consumed. Um, some of my rosaries, so thank you, Mara. I have to buy some more. For... Buy some more. Nah, it's fine, it's I fine. Buy, I'll be fine. Buy some more. I have a ton of them. You can buy... I'll check how many I have. I have to go, like, all the way back no, if no, I want to buy, buy them. I have to buy them at uh, the castle. No, I don't think you can. Mm -hmm. Can I? You can. I don't think you can. I can check. So the, go to the right. It's pretty pretty sure... The store. Thing. Pretty sure it's, like, a chaos one. Uh, radio one, though. Let's wait for it. Radio! To the at wiki. I mean, I might as well find out. I'm like 10 steps away from it. So we got past Mara, so we are at the door of the Kefir Castle. Basically. It's right there. Okay, then. Beautiful castle.
So, because we're law lines, they don't open the door, but Satan just breaks open the door. That's how I also deal with my problems. Uh, I'll check. I'm pretty sure it's I'm pretty sure it's chaos. I might I might be thinking of a different. Uh, it's chaos. Okay, I told you. Okay, right. See. Sorry, my bad. Totally remember buying something here though. Let me see how many I have. Uh, have one, nine, nine, four, five, twenty-three. That should be fine. Twenty-three should be fine. I don't know. Like I've lost loads before. Uh, it's fine. No, wait, wait. I'll just get like an insanely good fire. Yeah, don't just, worry. There you go. Have I used a stone? I don't think I've used a stone yet. Anyway, this is the final dungeon of the game. As you can see, the music is very fitting. Definitely doesn't sound like we're in like the first dungeon of the game. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't feel like going like to the other side. Besides, I have to buy Nyorai statues instead of rosaries, which I don't want to. Uh, these games, SMT1, SMT2, they're actually on the Japanese PSN store. Uh, the PSX yes. versions are actually pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, the music's worse, but they are still pretty cool. But there, if is also on there, and. God, there's so, there is a lot of SMT on the. If PSX is very expensive, so you're going to, if you're going to buy one of them, buy the if. Well, game, I was gonna that say that Persona 2 Eternal Punishment is on the PSN. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and I'm not even expensive. I wasn't even thinking of the Persona ones. There's a whole... Yeah, the Persona ones are even more expensive. There's a lot of good games on the PSN store, and it's gonna be really sad that they're going because they're very expensive. Yeah. Uh, for physical copies. I like the, the tiles uh, and the walls in this dungeon. It looks really cool. Yeah, I recommend getting Persona 2 EP on. on the... I don't know if uh, IS. Oh yeah, Xenogiz is on there too. Xenogiz is much less expensive, right? I think. I... Let me check. The last time I checked, Xenogears was uh, not near the price of... Uh... Oh, it's going up, but yeah, it's still not as pricey as uh, Persona 2 Eternal Punishment. Okay, final boss fight. And Persona 1. Here's Lucifer. He's kind of upset that we betrayed him and didn't go along with him and we sided with Satan because Satan is just God's uh, weapon of judgment. He just kind of does what's ordered and Lucifer not too into that. So now we get to fight him and look at him. Doesn't he look cool? Alright, so let's start this. Here's how, here's how the fight goes. We're going to death bound him. We're going to try not get charmed. If we get charmed, that's the worst thing that can happen. So please don't charm me too much, Satan. Hecate is there. He's kind of just participating. Go Hecate. Cool for CERN. Also, the Rido games are on the PSN too. Yes, they are also expensive. pretty expensive. So many SMT games on PSN. Nope. Is that kid gonna die? There he goes, bye Hecate. We actually need Hecate to die, so thank you Hecate for your uh, service. I would just try not to get sharked. Yeah, Xenogus is expensive, but I was saying it's that Persona 2 Eternal Punishment is even more expensive than uh, Xenogus. Yes. I 
And then there's Tono. Oh, 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 oh. What happened? Okay. Um, Mute is charmed. Hello, Mute. Okay, I'm gonna have to use one of the angel wings. Okay. Don't know how many uh, rosaries that was, but hopefully not too many. You should be fine on rosaries. Yes. Surely. I didn't, I didn't know okay, GG's. what was reprinted uh, printed in 2008. Uh, total punishment. Well, I mean, the, 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 <laughs> the Rider games got reprinted, right, as well? And they're really expensive yeah, right now. Yeah, that did improve. Yeah. Okay, so this, this part of the... Oh, this is not the last boss fight, by the way. I think it's just because... <laughs> this part of the... But let me explain this part. This part of the lore is really important, so... Lucifer, um, very upset. He's like, "Oh, you're going to regret following war, uh, following the God's orders, because you know this is not going to end up well." He's speaking to us, the Messiah. Now Satan is like, "Oh, that damn Lucifer! He's activating the Kuzuru anyways." So Lucifer's plan was to blow up the Overworld uh, by using the Kuzuru, which is like a, a a demon weapon that will just blow it up. But Satan, he has an ultimate strategy. To do with the Kuzuru, all right. This is like big. This is like the best short, like the best tactics to deal with this a huge threat to humanity that everybody, everybody's ever thought of. So he warps us out of there. He takes us to the Megiddo Arc, which is this, this like place that he built with Gabriel to make sure that uh, part of humanity survived. You know, the Megiddo Arc right there is like now rising from the Millennium. And the humans that were rescued by Satan are being sent. You can see the Kuziru over there. And now he's going to deal with this well, deal with the Kuziru, the biggest threat to humanity right now. The Satan way. So he says As God's eternal weapon, I kinda have to follow his judgment. And I knew to us, he says this. I knew you wouldn't exactly approve of my method, so I sorry I kinda lied to you, mute, says Satan Shiner. Uh, so my method of dealing with the Kuzuru and dealing with the biggest threat to humanity is using Megiddo Arc's other function, which is to blow up the earth. So you see, if there's no earth to kill, then Kuziri can kill the earth, you know? So yeah, everybody died. Uh, goodbye, Gimo. Goodbye, Zeno. Goodbye, Radio. Goodbye, Radio. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, G <laughs> good, good going, Satan. Everybody's dead. Go in, China. <laughs> Thanks, China. I knew we could trust you that you would never harm anybody. But see, there's one more thing, because Satan, he says that he's, he is God's eternal weapon of judgment, right? He's going to judge everybody. And so, in his logic, he has someone, just one more person left to judge, that he still needs to judge. And that person, quote unquote, is God himself. Look at that, our final boss fight, we're finally here. The real god this time, not the false one. Yeah, the, the real one. You can tell he's real because he's yellow. <laughs> exactly. He has expressions. He's not asleep. <laughs> he also makes so great ex facial expressions. <laughs> want to explain the strat for this fight? It's pretty great. Sorry, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't remember. <laughs> you don't remember the Chroma strats? Oh, Necroma, yes. Who do you nick promo? Jack Frost? Jack Frost? <laughs> Heck it! <laughs> oh my god, Jack Frost! I think you, I think you do Jack Frost in <laughs> We don't even have a Jack Frost! Jack Frost is if! Oh! It's been uh, almost like a year. Come on. It's been a minute. I'm sorry, it's been a year.
All right, so we have the chromid, which means so why do we have the chroma? Um, so uh, Yahweh has a, an instant kill spell called God's Judgment or whatever I don't remember what it's called, and it will always hit the character that has the le the lower intelligence stats. And because Hecate is like level 12 or something, it will obviously have the lowest um, intelligence stat. So, we just necroma it and that threat is put out of the way. And then the rest of the strategy is to just use rosaries, use as many rosaries as we can, that's why we bought so many of them. And he'll keep attacking and we'll keep attacking him. At the same time, he's using a lot of Megadol and that doesn't make me feel too comfortable, I'm not gonna lie. So for as long as we have rosaries, we'll keep autoing, we'll keep attacking him, and hopefully we kill him before he kills us. Yeah, essentially can put the controller down here and just, just hope. Just... I have 13, that should be okay. 13 rosaries. Yeah, so you got 13 deaths <laughs> before it's over. Yes. <clears throat> And we're also healing up Satan because he can't be healed up by the rosaries, so he needs to be full health so he can u keep using Death Bomb. See, I knew the reason we used the Chroma was to, uh, for something, but I couldn't remember the specifics of uh, how it worked. But you remembered. <laughs> I oh, just yeah. remember we use it and it's to prevent an attack or something. I think it's the same thing with Hazem. Yeah, I think it is too. Because uh, the PS1 speedrun if requires that you get the save data from a game that gives you Necroma. Uh, so I think it is the same. So yeah, I just put the controller down and I'm just praying, praying. We just, that, uh, we, we just hope that he dies before I die. I almost don't want to look to see if I have enough no, don't rosaries. Look, don't look. Just gonna have to... <laughs> Deal with it? Okay. But if you look, then you just... What's the, what's the difference? You're still gonna die. There's no recovering. I mean, that's true. <clears throat> you still have maybe... I don't like, know. Under 10. He is using a lot of Megadolon. Usually he doesn't use Megadolon that much. He could probably have under 10 now. Oh, definitely. Actually, go and check. Check, check how much you got. I have no, I have to believe firmly. Okay, okay, we'll believe. We could count them, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Come on. A little bit nerve wracking. Come on. Come on, just die already. It's taking so long. This fight is always nerve wracking. Uh oh. Oh no! What? No! <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Who dies to Yahweh? <laughs> Nobody dies to Yahweh! <laughs> what did I say? No way! <laughs> sure I said that you didn't have enough rosaries. And I told you. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, no. oh, what time is it? Hey, how are you on time? Uh, you, got, like, uh, you got pretty good, actually. Uh, it's 6.46. Oh my right? god, that's hilarious. <laughs> you got like, uh, you got at least 30 minutes. So you got half an hour. Let's go, we gotta do it all over again. Guess where we saved? Mara. <laughs> that's okay, it's not too far. That's, too far. that's so funny. <laughs> I need to go buy more rosaries though. Yeah, or you can get lucky again, take your chances like you did this time. Yeah, sure. Sure. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Uh, Told you very let me Ill. think, let me think. If, if glitched, you have much less. And it's because you have better equipment and better weapons. But 20 oh, what's the closest? Uh, you have to... Gotta go to Tifreth. Yeah. I'm gonna walk back here. I mean, the, oh god, at the that's beginning hilarious. of where the 12 gods are, I guess. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm gonna do it all again. All over. Oh my god, 
had so many fights. There's so much. Do you have a safety save for the boss maybe you could use? There are any. This is the last place we can save. It's in Mara. God, that's funny. Yeah, it, yeah, that's what happened. We ran out of rosaries. 21 was not enough, apparently. It, he must have been really close. I would have loved to see. He used Megidolon a bunch of times. He usually doesn't. He just spammed that. He was so close. <laughs> like, I bet he was like a couple more turns. We must have like been close. one or two turns away. <laughs> that's really unfair. Uh, yes, I ran out. I did say it God, wasn't looking that's great. Serious. Mara from luck. The first time glitch with I always get so lucky. See, I knew something was up because I got too lucky at all bosses. I didn't die, so I was like, hmm. Yeah, this is not how usually this goes. To be fair, it's just been a really good. Like, no, you haven't died at all. That was the first death. <laughs> which is very unlikely. I had to die at the worst place. It's not the worst place. It's just the end of the Of game. course, it's the worst place. It's the worst <laughs> place. After this whole, like, whole thing again. You just have to kill. What do you say? You just have to kill Mara. I have to kill Mara. I have to kill Lucifer. I have to go for the entire scene again. I'm lost. Where am I? I have to go for this entire dungeon again. <laughs> I have to go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Anyways, Chad. Um. What? Oh my god. What is this? Oh, all right. Every single time where we go through one of these rooms where the twelve gods are, we have to go for like this them telling it them telling us that there aren't any gods there like thank you game i wouldn't have assumed that there wouldn't be any gods here so thank you for letting me know because i would have known all right uh while we're talking about about ps3 games let's talk about that because i have a lot to do before i go back to kathers yeah well buy a <laughs> bunch of ps games with while well, you still can yes absolutely do the I mean, really, the only things you're going to be buying are PS2 Classics and PS1 Classic. Uh, yeah, I mean... But as for, for SMT, there is pretty much every Persona game. There is uh, Nocturne. The, pretty much every SMT game except for the handheld ones, too. Like, there's so much on there. Uh, but on the Japanese PSN store, specifically, there is... Uh, Devil Children is on there, and SMT 1, 2, and IF. Hell yeah, Devil Children. You gotta buy Devil Children. If you don't buy Devil Children, what are you doing, honestly? And then... There's... Oh, um, and then on the... NA store. Only on the NA store, I think. Some of them might be on the EU store, too. There is, uh... Nocturne. Uh, Rider 1, Rider 2, DDS 1, DDS 2... Persona 3, Persona 4, uh, and then like all the PSP Personas as well, and of, co of course Eternal Punishment is the main one, definitely want to get that. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I died, I can't believe. That's so ridiculous. I keep having to pull up the map because I'm not used to doing this the other way around. But I saved at Mara's, which, you know, thankfully, but I saved at Mara's, so uh, I have to make all the way back because you can't even transfer there. Like, if Filthy was here, I'd take this time to talk about Digimon. <laughs> so instead... Yeah, it's true. I hadn't, I haven't had a, I hadn't had a, a moment of this never happened before. So of course they had to pull one at, you know, the Yahweh fight. What did I learn today? Don't make fun of God. Or listen to Sim because he told you that you didn't have enough rosaries and you said you were fine. Mm hmm. I was fine. I was fine. See, he here's what happened though. I'm going to buy so many rosaries. I'm going to get my eternal revenge. Um, activate the Mara, like Mara, consumed the rosaries, and then Lucifer was fine. But then she just used too much Megadolon. So I I didn't expect that. I wasn't supposed to expect that. Expect the unexpected. Shut up. <laughs> 
It's okay. We're st you're still gonna be underestimate, I would say, right? Hell if I know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have a timer. Oh, well, I don't know. Okay, so. That's what it's it's whatever. It's fine. The timer now is six five two. So you have still thirty minutes. I mean, I don't know. The credits are very long. You might have. I might not be underestimated. Cut the credits. No one wants. No one, We're not gonna cut the no credits. One wants, no, we gotta. You gotta watch the credits. Why are you so insistent on these credits? <laughs> we gotta watch the credits. It's part of the experience. Okay. Is, all, is dying to the last boss also a part of the experience? <laughs> Shut up! I'm still not over it. I'm still hurt. Yeah, if you have a Switch online, I think it's called the subscription, then you can play yes. SSC 1 and 2 for free. In Japanese, though. Yeah. It's a good opportunity to learn your Japanese in case you're into that. SMT1 uh, is pretty good for us, uh, learning Japanese because it's all with the Kana. Yeah, if you want to practice your reading Hirogana and Katakana, perfect game. Yeah, when, half the, when you're not getting destroyed by encounters, perfect game. Yes. <laughs> yeah, very good. I didn't change can it, can it. No, item off. change can't help us anymore. We could show off item change. Why would I want to show off item change? I don't even know how to do that. Uh, I'll teach you. <clears throat> sure, sure, sure. I don't know if it's called <sighs> radial, but I found... I pretty much uh, finished item change for if. And on Yumi, it like barely saves any time. <laughs> Because you have to go, like, the only really way to, to do item change, you can do item change literally before the first boss, uh, after the school. Because with if, you can fill your inventory with bullets that are really cheap, and you can just start item changing, and it's you can basically get, you can really quickly get 255 Hinokagatsuchis in your inventory. If before the first boss after the school. Yeah, because you don't want just one Hinokage Tsushi. You, you want to have 255 yeah. just in case. You sell, you can sell them. But <coughs> if you spend all the time to get all the incense to raise your stats and everything, it just isn't that, fa uh, isn't that fast at all. Because it takes forever to do. It's pretty cool. It would be very fast for Akira with Manip. Yes, it would be accurate to call this divine intervention. I feel like this is like karma. I don't know. I got too comfortable. Remember what I was saying the entire run in SMT1? Like, these games, if you get too comfortable, they remind you that you shouldn't get too comfortable. It happens. <laughs> no worries, radio. Everything for you. So, back to the Mara fight, I guess. Back to Mara fight. Maybe this time he won't consume groceries, even though it doesn't matter how many do you have this time? <laughs> like, I don't know, like 50. Okay, definitely. <laughs> there's no way. There's no way that you can die. Your equipment was correct and everything, right? You had everything correct. Yeah, of course. Okay. It, we don't change equipment. It's just, I don't. It's just, it just spammed Maggie Duel on. I don't know. I'm still upset. Yeah, maybe you should go back and get some more. I'm not sure if that's gonna be enough. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Have you seen how um, the PS1 run kills? Uh, God. No, I've never seen any anything from the PS1 version. Need to watch that. <laughs> All right, here we go. See, I just did this on purpose because I knew everybody wants to see Mario again. So, uh, no need to thank me.
Alright, that's Mara again. Hope you enjoyed getting to see this beautiful, beautiful creature again. I sure did. And back to Kefir Castle. Should still have time. I can't believe I died. So should still have time for credits. Credits are what? Radial nodes, right? You know, 12? It's 10 minutes. 10? Just 10 straight? That'd be time for It's like 10 minutes, yeah. It should be fine. Even for a little, like, overestimate, I'm sure it won't be too much of a problem. Just get to hear this cool dungeon music again. Oh, hell yeah. Best music. Oh no, it's the old guy. These guys are scary. Not in here, like, not in this run. In this run, you can kind of run away from everything. You have max speed, so... If this Did you ever beat a run of if? Yeah. Where? Why is your time not on the leaderboard? It is. Oh. I guess I, I, guess <laughs> I didn't. Verify. No, no, no. We just we were like, we verified it. We verified like instantly. Even fixed the time because I didn't know when to stop the timer. I got a 139. Okay, once more. <laughs> Fight Beelzebub real quick. It's gonna pull up there. You know, if I knew what it was, I'd actually do it. But I have no idea what it is. So. Can't. Okay, we're here again. What's up, Was Huge? Great to see you again. I was definitely hoping to see you again. I had a good lose for five last time, so I wonder how this one will go. I just feel like you can't get two good lose for fights back to back, so we'll see. We'll see. Kunda, you do your death bound. I need to use Pompatra. Where's Pompatra? I don't have Pompatra, never mind. So you just die once in SCT1. I died to Doman. Oh. <laughs> of course. Classic Doman death. That's the I think that's the first Doman death in the marathon. No, I died to the. Like the other time I did all bosses, I died. But yeah, surprisingly, it's actually not that common to die to Doman. You'd think it'd be more often, given how many times you die doing a dent. Uh, how are you feeling? It's now, what, 5am for you? 
5 a.m. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, of course. It's about time we got a cheeky charm going. Goodbye, Freya. I'm feeling like I would have liked not to have died to um, to Yahweh, and I did. That's how I'm feeling. Don't you have some recon, actually? Yes. I feel like it's so close to being over, and then. Nope. Yep. Like, finally, I could sleep. The game was like, no. You must suffer a little yep. bit more. Oh, yeah. But it's fine. I'm actually feeling pretty awake, probably because of the coffee that I drank at 1 a.m. or however I don't remember what time it was. Poor sleep schedule. Oh yeah. I had to resummon Freya because he killed Freya. Because if you don't. He just starts attacking Hiroko like crazy, and that will consume a lot of rosaries, and I'm not up for that again. Okay, cool. And in Chaos, right, you don't have a rosary equivalent? No, in Chaos... <sighs> what do you do in Chaos? In Chaos, you use Neurai statues. Neurai statues work. They also work for neutral. They're in fact neutral items, but they work for chaos as well. I think they work for every alliance. Yeah. You could have just used Nurai statues. You could have just bought those. Right? Because you said there was a neutral. Oh, no. Chaos. No, but neutral was like on the other side. Chaos, there aren't any items like these. Okay, so now we got the Kazirius and we got us going to the Megiddo arc, and then the earth blows up. We've been through this, you know how it goes. And then we get to finally get our revenge. And boy, am I looking forward to our revenge. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. He legit was like, when he asked us to join him, when he was still Shiner and not Satan Shiner, uh, he was like, Lucifer is such a bad guy, you can't join him because he wants to erase the, like, the overworld. He wants to uh, release the Kuzuru to blow up Tokyo Millennium. We can't allow him to do that. We have to put a stop to him. And he turns into Satan and he's like, You know, I know exactly the best way to stop him. I'm going to blow up the entire Earth, killing not only Tokyo Millennium, but also the Underground and also Makai. Just erase everything. Everything gets blown up. Only the select few that got put into the Megiddo Arc get to survive. Everybody else, dead. Demon kind dead. Exactly. Only I get to blow up the earth, you don't get to blow up the earth. Let's count rosaries. We got 9, 9, 9, 9, 9. 9 times 5 is 40. Is it 40? I don't remember. It's kind of late. Is it 45? What? Yes, it's 45. 45 plus 6, 51. You ever, you ever get so tired that you forget basic maths? 
Yes, that happens sometimes. I forget basic math even when I'm awake. <laughs> like this, doesn't matter how tired I am. So here's our best friend, who did not force us to redo. Twenty minutes of the run. So it's what, forty, fifty-one. You have fifty-one rosaries. Yeah, fifty-one rosaries. Okay. There's no way he uses more than thirty. Uh, like he kills you more than thirty times. That would be good. There's no possible way that this fight could go wrong like, for all this time. Hopefully. No, I can I can see a way of it going wrong, to be honest. But <laughs> let's, uh, let's... you never know. Yes, this is the last boss. It's, this is the second time we're facing the last this boss. Is the second time, yeah. We had a twenty-minute <laughs> setback. Setback. Yeah. And if you kill him quick enough, we still have time for t the credits in the estimate, which is really cool. Okay, and now we just enjoy the show. Enjoy the cool facial expressions. Want to count rosaries? We're at 51. So we got 49. <laughs> you counting them? <laughs> Forty-eight. No, I think you're at forty-seven now. Forty-seven now. Yep. He died. What? Huh? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> How did he die so fast? <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> he just died instantly. GG. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, thanks, game. Moonface, could it be really? That's crazy. It makes it that much faster. If I knew it'd make it that much faster, I I don't do that in like glitchless. What did you do? Apparently, I'm at the correct moon phase where Satan is just incredibly strong. I'm gonna start doing that for like wow. any percent. That was really fast. That was that was so fast. Okay, so round okay, so <laughs> make sure we fight. What moon was it? New moon. Make sure you fight Lucifer New moon. on. Uh, sorry, God on. Lucifer. But I feel like Lucifer is like work like <laughs> stronger. So I don't know which. I don't know which is best to fight Lucifer at a good. You died and you complain and it's too fast and you complain, son. Come on. That was so fast. Yeah, that was really. That was so fast. That was. That, I'm still like shook. Anyways, so we defeated God and now Satan was like, okay, uh, I've done my job of judging everybody and killing everything, so I can't leave anymore. I've done my job. So Shiner also died. Shiner returned to the earth. Um. And the runner never satisfied, indeed. If it goes too well, I'm upset. If it goes if it goes badly, I'm upset. It's uh, and so it's now our job as the survivors to go back to Earth that's been blown up and reconstruct society and that's SMT2 GG's and now we're going to watch the credits. Time's over. Though. I think I don't have to take any more Time's over? No, not time's over. You need to watch credits. The time stopped. They stopped the timer. I guess we're... You can't stop the timer. We have to watch credits. Ah, sorry, no one. Look, JRTA is the thing of the past. It's JRTA. <laughs> the estimate includes JRTA. So we gotta okay, watch okay. it. So these credits uh, are really bad because the song sucks. Um, compared to... I think the song's bad. Yeah, this is why... <laughs> This is when. you got it. <laughs> is the past? No! He sounds so sad. Why do you like these credits so much? They're, they're 11 minutes long. And they're. Because. 
This because you want to watch the actual <laughs> reject GRT embrace sanity. No, never, never. Are these credits really that bad? They're eleven minutes long, bro. The if ones are worse. They're they're like. It's true. I think the if ones are even worse. The if ones just feel like they don't end. They're so long. All right, so let's wrap it up then. Um, so. Final thoughts and shoutouts, let's see. Um, again, thank you. Thank you, really, really lots of war for having me. I'm really happy that I got to do these back to back. I'm happy that the manip worked most of it and, you know, I didn't have to improvise too much. Only had to go and, uh, you know, get some extra money and all. Um, if you're interested in starting, you know, in speedrunning SMT1 or SMT2, go up to the uh, speedrun.com page, join the Discord. Uh, it's, you know, we're always very helpful. Um, always like helping out people who are starting to learn the game, especially because most of these games have to play them in Japanese. And so it can be a bit stressful but i promise it's not that bad and you can start learning them first in english so it's it's fine uh thank you sim for co-commentating uh thank you filthy who's not here anymore but thank you wherever you are for also helping with commentary for a while uh thank you everybody for the help after i died to yaoi i was not expecting that kind of panicked for a second but it worked out in the end Maybe I shouldn't have bought 50 rosaries, maybe I should have only bought a handful. Uh, <laughs> uh, let me just think if there's anything else that I need to say. Um, shout out to Miss Sima, who made this route. Again, always shout out to Miss Sima because he's like the, the heart and soul of old uh, SMT speedrunning. Shout out to Radio, who's in chat, who... Also made very good notes for glitched. There's also a, a glitch category of this game, so if you want to learn that instead, it's a lot shorter of a run than have as much things to memorize. And do I have anything else to say? Don't think so. That's a wrap. Yeah, Sim, you have any shout outs? <clears throat> no, you Hello, everyone. Uh, this is Zell, guy who runs the show for the most part. Um, I just want to say thank you so much, everyone, uh, for all of the everything this week. The first week for really, really long time went really, really well. I guess we're not even on the first week. It's right, like day 10. Um, I, it's like crazy. Uh, how much support I've had, and it's pretty cool. Um, sorry about all of the... I haven't really talked much on the stream, because I've been stressed with all of the drops and stuff, and all of the things that have come up. Um, I do apologize uh, for that. Um, I'm actually feeling okay, though, for the most part, which is usually not how I feel on day 10. Um, yeah, no, the support is huge. As the bonus command says, we'll be doing a FF14, 2.0 to 5.5. Uh, 
Um, possibly. It depends. Uh, five point, definitely to four point five five, but five, five point, and maybe to five point like three. I don't know if I'll do five point five five just because it'll feel like a cliffhanger. Um, I will do a point five five run at some point, like once the patch comes out in late May. Um, so that that'll be cool to to celebrate the end of Shadowbringers expansion. Um. Again, if we somehow hit 300 subs, which would be three times as much as we normally do, uh, as we've as we've had in past, uh, I will do a Persona 5 run in June, most likely. I'll take a week off of work. I will do a FF. Or I'll do a Persona 5 Royal all cutscenes run. Um, I will sleep. Don't worry, I'm not doing a 70-hour game. It'll probably take four days, four or five days at minimum. Um, but it is my favorite game, and so I'll just grab the route and go. Um, then, yeah, and if for some reason we did a huge amount of subs, the final thing in the bonus is a joke. I, I must say that out loud. The 500 subs then, that is a joke. Yeah, Royal has a route. Royal has multiple routes. Um, there's glitches, but I'll not use those. But there's a route till, uh, till the end of Persona 5, so I'll just steal somebody's route. Um, it'll be mostly casual, so it'd be mainly just looking for demon routed. Oh, for 14? Yeah, there's a route. I have a route. Uh, for, well, I mean, it's just following the quest line, but there's a little bit more to it than that. Tiny bit more to it than just following the quest line. But yes, there. I have done a 4. I am the world record holder in 2.0 to 4.55, and I'm also the Stormblood world record holder. Um, so. Um. Yeah, though well, I haven't submitted either time, because I'm lazy. Um, but yeah, I, I want to thank everyone for all the support, but yeah, I, I must make it very clear, the 500 subs is not, it, it's it's a joke, but it's not a joke. I don't expect to hit it, but I also, like, I don't expect to hit it, period, and, but if I do, I am serious about doing it. It's just, it's, it would be five times as many subs as this channel has ever had. It would be more than our average viewer count. <laughs> so, that would be... Uh, yeah, so, I mean... I want to do more with the channel, but... I can only do so much. Uh, we do have a professional layout. It's commissioned. Those will be for really, really long as on 5 and on. Um, if everything goes well, it'll be by Rezafos. If people know of Rezafos, he is, works for Warp World, and he is uh, also a independent... Um, layout and artist uh, designer so yeah. uh, thank you again for all the support this time one quick kind of procedural announcement for future marathons is um, these 21 day marathons there's not actually enough active runners to run these games who have enough runs to do 21 days it's too much so in future marathons will be 15 or 16 days long uh, as they were before really really long thought four um, but I will leave availability on Onidus open for like a few days after, so if we do have the runs and the people, I'll make it a little bit longer, but I won't be scheduling 21 days. 21 days is just too much. 15 days is perfect. Um, there just isn't enough runners, so. Um, we'll be getting a really interesting overnight run. It's going to be Bayonetta. Uh, I actually have to double check the schedule that is at your cutscenes. Yeah, so we're getting Bayonetta, all the cutscenes in Bayonetta, it should be a very comfortable morning run. If anyone has any questions, I am trying to kill time for the next runner. Oh, wow. Well, thank you very much, Sir Vetch. Do I have a personal channel or just this one? I do, though I do not 
stream on it regularly right now. There is a chance that once I've moved into my own place, um, I'll feel more comfortable streaming again. Um, but it would be Zell and then four underscores after it. Uh, but I really don't speedrun much on there. It's primarily just doing marathon runs. What's my favorite battle system? Um, tie between uh, command-based action games like Final Fantasy VII Remake um, and um, Rin, the, the the like things like the like at turn turn as you know. The answer is turn-based games with an active element to it, like Lost Odyssey with the Rins. With the Rins. That's my favorite battle system. Uh, in an RPG, at least. Uh, turn-based games with small actions. Um, and then probably ATB, and then... I don't know what you call it, but the battle system in Final Fantasy X... Uh, I haven't played much Lost Odyssey, Lost Remnant. The last time I played it was like way, 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 way back. Uh, I'd have to uh, replay it. I actually have a PS5 now. Maybe I should download the PS4 version of Lost Remnant and play it on my PS5. No, FFX says like uh, priority turn-based. Whatever you call those priority turn-based systems, uh, where your actions affect your like speed and turn order, and you and and it shows it uh, like on like on a bar like thin so like Final Fantasy X has that a couple other RPGs have that that's what that's like my second favorite battle system no that's my favorite battle system sorry um, I really like the strategic element of knowing the order of everyone's move uh, like the order of the turns and being able to like stat speed to get more turns etc like I really like those systems I like those modified turn based systems um, I like them a little bit better than no 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 not ATB um, but like the, the turn-based ones that kind of have an ETB system. Yeah, Trials and Kiss K. The Trials and Kiss K system is, is the same. Final Fantasy X, Trials, uh, Kiss K. Uh, I really like that battle system. Uh, the only reason I can't get into Trials of the Sky is because I'm 30, my time is limited, and those games are too long, and um, there's no voice acting. So I'm gonna eventually, the next time it's on sale, I'm buying Cold Steel 1. And I'm skipping to Cold Steel 1. <laughs> I'm just going to skip to Cold Steel 1. I've heard that's a fine thing to do. Read a summary of Sky. Skip to Cold Steel 1. Uh, read a summary of uh, Azure. Skip. I... No. That wouldn't... No. It would, I'm, I need I need the English voice acting. Um, for many reasons. I just... It's nice to have. I... It, I am 30, I have to get a lot done in my day, it's nice to listen to voice acting. Uh, I really... It's so that I can do other things while I play, while I'm in cutscenes. <laughs> so I can get other things done. You have no idea how many messages I have to send out for months before. Um, looks good. Okay, so for... Um, I'm just gonna quickly drop and bring back up the stream. Um, so refresh 